Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of a Sunday Brood War stream. It's going to be a good one, that's for sure. It is earlier than usual because it is daylight savings, but I already said that in chat. But if you're late, maybe you didn't see it. And last night I was casting some StarCraft 2 live featuring Stats, who is incredible. He is back from the military, and that's why I got less than six hours of sleep last night. So we will see how we do today. All right, man. So let's go ahead and see what the replays are here today. Viewer submitted for 2024, March the 10th. Excellent. So we've got replays. Hooray! Sent to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War. Nemo Numa's here. We've got RJB, Jack, Vincent, Psycho Nuts, Omar, and Trevor in the house. Some of these long time, long time channel members. Very excited to see everybody here today. RJB here early, man. Do you want to start this off with a Motive versus Queen replay sent to me by RJB? Maybe. Maybe we do. What else do we have here? Artosis versus a Protoss player. Somebody sent this in and said it's like a 105 APM Protoss against Artosis. Should be interesting. We've got a 3v3 featuring Nibbler. Nibble, nibble. Nibble, 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 nibble. Also, Urakami. Oh, we like Urakami. He's kind of fun to watch for sure. F Rank TVT featuring Potato Terran. WK Cross. Oh, and Nibbler. WK Cross and Nibbler in the same replay, and it's an hour long. Are you kidding me? What is this? Christmas? And then a ZVZ featuring, ah, Kriegar and Loser on Neo Dark Origin. Awesome. Don't have a ton of reps today, but that's okay because one of them's a friggin' hour long. I think we'll be fine, RJB. I don't think we're gonna run out of content here. No. Why is camera so hard to get right here, guys? I am not expert on the camera adjustments. Is that better? I guess it's better. I don't know. Yeah, so here's a four minute ZVZ. We're gonna start off with this. Just get a warm up. Like most people aren't here yet because I did start an hour earlier because of daylight savings. But let's see what we get. The Nibbler one is the same one. Oh, maybe, maybe it is. I didn't look at the number, the details there, but let's red versus blue this because green versus green is dumb. Neo Dark Origin, top left, gonna be a blue Zerg. It is tough Kriegar, we know this guy. And in the bottom right, it's loser. He was a red Zerg player. Two player map, New Dark Origin. Overlord are going to scout out, cross spawn, because that's where the enemy is as per usual. And let's check out pool timings in this ZVZ, right? Kind of, uh, kind of a weird thing to think about sometimes, but the player who gets their pool down later is usually the one who is ahead and has an advantage because they have a better economy and they get, get out links to defend against an early pool. And the early pool guy has a worse economy, right? Wonder how he got that name. Must be an old account, right? I don't know. It's a good question. Why is this? I don't want this. Now it's too far. Eh. Now it's too high. Eh. Now it's good. I don't know. I think now it's good. Anyway, here's the pool timing. There we go. No, it was a what? Did he go six pool, five pool, something like that. On the other side, no pool here yet from Tough Kriegar. Now the camera's good. Yeah, I think it's good too. Thank you, Psychonauts, for the feedback on that one. All right. Overlords gonna meet each other in the middle. Drone scouting is loser. Plus he's going pool first. Why are you drone scouting, dude? Unless this is a sunken rush in addition to the links, which I actually kind of support. Let's see. Is Overlord going to see this? Going to see this? Totally sees this. Overlord sees this drone coming in and says, hmm. hmm. What? Macro hatch into pool? I don't know about that. Oh, boy. All right. This has got to be sunken. So, Ling's rushing across the map here. Extractor trick to get up to 10 available supply. Six drones. Six Ling's. And this has to be a sunken. This drone's like, oh, no, you don't. You're not going to sit on my creep and throw up a creep colony. But then he totally is. Okay, look, creep colony. There you go. This is a pull the drones moment, sir. Let's see what we get here. What's up, Queen Amelia? Okay, there we go. Two drones 
pulled. That's good. I would like to see three drones here. I really would. Oh, we got a cancel on it. There were three drones pulled. Oh, I don't know. He's like, okay, maybe we, we... Yeah, so now that the lings are here, they can cover the sunken as it... Okay, there we go. So creep colony coming up. That did buy some time. Spawning pool finishes. Oh, getting some hits off. Lings versus drones. Drones are good fighters against unupgraded lings here. That sunken coming up would be massive. Sunken, sunken, sunken. Not enough resources for a sunken. Where's your minerals? There we go. Uh, it's tough when you only have five drones back there. Look at this body blocking by these drones. Yeah, sure, drones are dying. So that sunken's alive. That sunken's taking hits. It's up. Can they hit each other? No, they're out of range of each other here. Ooh, nice kill there. So, what are we attacking? The main hatch? I like the play. I like it a lot. More lings coming in here from a loser. <laughs> loser. Name that movie. What do we got, man? Sunken Fire. Is he killing this one now? Why is he changing targets? I don't know. Oh, God, I lost the lings that popped out. That sunken positioning is good. Does he keep switching targets? No, well, looks like it's this one for now. Jump on that sunken. He jumps on it. 2017, 11, 12 HP. Get the sunken down. Sunken down. Okay. Big deal, but he lost a lot of lings for it. Now the lings of Tough Kriegar are here, and they snipe this sunken. All right, no static defense, no offensive, de offensive, what is it, static offense? And loser taps out. Whoa, loser taps. I don't know. Is that a recoverable position, RJB? What do we think? It's like eight to five workers. It was five, six drones here, maybe for loser. No more than that. He's down on the link count for sure. He's down on the economy for sure, too. The macro hatch means more available larva. Plus, there's gas. So, well, theoretically, there's gas. I don't know. What do we think? What's up, Toy Cop? Good hold, though, for sure. It is Ace Ventura. Nicely done, Psycho Nuts. RJB says not recoverable. Good GG from loser. All right. Good deal. Nicely done. Nicely done, Tough Krieger. Holding off an early pool with a sunken rush to... Excellent stuff, 4,000 to 3,000 total points here. Both pretty similar numbers of units, but tough, outproduced, outkilled, lost fewer units. Buildings raised, one sunken apiece, and more resources because of the higher drone count, despite having to pull some of those drones. Awesome. Really, really good stuff. Okay, so this is... No, the Nibbler replay is different from the Nibbler WK Cross replay. So that's good. That's good to know. We didn't just repeat that one. Let's go. <laughs> okay, tell you what. Let's do this guy, Horikami PVZ, on Citadel. And then we'll do a TVT with Potato Terran. And then we'll move into some of the higher level stuff. That should be fun. Well, Toy Cop, drink a lot of water. Get some hydration in there. Get rid of that headache. We'll be ready to rock. Top left of Citadel. It's a blue Protoss player barcode. In the bottom right, it is a Zerg player. He's red. He's Hurakami. We know this guy. He's played games with us in the live game portion of the stream. He is an excellent, excellent Zerg player. We like him quite a bit. And on, hmm, on the subject of the stream crashes we've been having, we had four of them last week. Maybe three, but it felt like four. I talked to tech support and they were like, well, uh, you can't be sending 1440p data to Twitch and to YouTube at the same time. It freaks everything out. Twitch especially has no idea what to do with 1440p amount of, like, uh, amount of data. And I was like, hmm, okay. So they said, go ahead, let's test doing 1080p to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time and see if we have problems. So we'll see if we have problems. Usually we don't have problems until like the first hour, the hour mark of the stream. So who knows what we're gonna see here today. If we still have stream crashes, I'm, I'm gonna switch to a different restreaming service. I think that's gonna be the play. All right, Urakami shows up, says, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, is that a, is that a Nexus first? That was a Nexus first, man. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Guess who went? Pool before hatch. Urakami did. 
Ooh, this could be problematic. Hurry, make a zealot. Hurry, make a zealot. Good drone scouting, too. Do I got I think this is actually a Bisu barcode. All right, Lings are here. You want to go after the Nexus? It takes a while for Lings to take down a Nexus. They don't have upgrades. Which you don't have upgrades at the three-minute mark of a game, that's for sure. But, okay, they're going to hack away here. Some probes are coming down. A Zealot is coming down. Uh, yeah, I mean, with these probes, they're extra little zappy-zap DPS here. I don't know if these Lings want to engage, but hey, they're like, we'll take a couple of probes down. Sure. We'll take another. This is actually pretty... All right. Probe, 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 down, down, down. I like it. He's like, I can't win against these Zealots, but I can target individual probes down and get that worker count down a little bit. Also, take it a third base to compensate for the fast Nexus 2 here as Hurakami. I love it. Ooh, another probe down. I mean, he's losing Lings for sure, and I think they're all dead now. Yep, they're all very dead now. I don't know about sending more Lings after this. Don't feel good about it. I mean, yeah, there are three zealots out. I mean, it was a nexus into two gate here from the barcode player, which is interesting. It's an interesting combination of greed and aggression. And he's sending the zealots across. See, now Hurakami has to compensate by making lings and hurting his own drone count. Three zealots at the stage of the game is going to be tough for Hurakami with all the lings that he made and everything. Hmm. Overlord scouts in, sees absolutely no pylons in the natural base, as Toy Cop is talking about. No concept, no ability to put cannons there or anything. But if you're the one who is the aggressor, if you're the one who knocks... Well, I guess there's a pylon coming up. Now, the zealots are coming home? Ah, uh, no, no about that, guys. What are you doing? You're just worried about a giant link flood showing up when you're away, I guess. What's up, Nibbler? Seriously, this is... I don't know if Horikami can survive this. This is six zealots. Six of them against... I mean, it's like 12 lings, but six zealots kills 12 lings every day and twice on Sunday. And today is Sunday. There are no sunkens up. The overlords are like, if these zealots move out, look at them just playing defensively, though. Uh, uh, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, what's up, Mike? Glad you're enjoying the mini cheese compilation that I posted yesterday. I think it's a ton of fun. I think it's fantastic. Hope, glad you're enjoying it. Hope a lot of people are enjoying it. Man, I am just a tiny bit under the weather here. So hopefully that doesn't get worse as the stream goes on. Stargate coming up from Le Barcode. Yeah, and you're worried about the backstab. I totally get it. But maybe once you have a can yeah, once you have a cannon up behind your wall, which is not a wall. Now he's moving out, which Overlord is going to see because it's going home because their Corsair is on the way, and it is a Hydra response here from Hurakami. Not going Spire. Lair's not even done yet, no less. No second gas either. Kind of sunken up here because the zealot count is enough to warrant some kind of static defense. And we'll see what we get. Kyle, thanks for the 30-month resub <laughs> at the Hydralisk level. Woo. That is some hot stuff, Kyle. Happy Sunday, dude. Hope you're having a good one. All right. Hydraling sunken. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather they fight with the sunken a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if that was an intentional fallback or not, but it works. Yeah, Hydra, Ling, Sunken, pretty strong if you don't have Lurkers yet. Which means the Zealots probably don't have speed yet either, so trade-offs, and Hordokami holds the attack. It's tough. I mean, I feel like an earlier attack would have been better, but yes, you're terrified of getting run by... Is he just... He's over-making cannons. That is an over-make. For sure. This is eight Hydralisks. This isn't like 16 Hydralisks. This is eight Hydras. You don't... He's making more cannons? Man. No, I don't broadcast live every day. I broadcast live once a week. 
on Sundays. I post VODs every day, though. What's up, Hayden McCoy? Okay, well, uh, Panic Cannon's coming up here for Barcode. He is not feeling confident about what he's capable of doing here. Has he made any Corsairs at all? He went Stargate. I guess he saw the Hydra response and said, mm, I'm just kidding, he has a Corsair. He's got one Corsair, fine. For scouting purposes, I like it. Maybe kill an Overlord if you're given enough personal one-on-one -on -one time with said Overlord, I guess. That'd be fine, too. What's up, Chris D? I know. Daylight savings. Hate it. I got less than six hours of sleep last night. I'm kind of... Whew. Kind of feeling that right now. Oh, I'm glad you liked the videos. Okay, so four gateway dies, but that's just a matter of fact. If your enemy opens up Hydra's and you have a gateway in your wall, it's going to die. There's really no saving it, and it's fine. You have more gateways back inside your main base, right? Two more gateways warping in right now, as it is. I know, I might need like extra Coke Zero to stay alive today. How's it going, Chicho? I mean, look, is it enough cannons to keep these hydras at bay? Yes. So could I get too mad about it? Not really. We're not watching Soma versus Bisu or anything here. Evolution Chamber, Lurker Aspects, Researching. Yeah, I think there was some talk about a congressional bill to get rid of daylight savings time a couple years ago, but I don't know. Congress never does anything good for us, you know? I like how Barcode's bored, so he's just attacking these eggs with the cannons. I'm glad you watch my videos every day. Very good. Storm coming in. All right, here we go. Hydras versus the storm. Tale as old as time. Song as old as rhyme. Yeah, lucky noob. They're trying out in the EU too, but I don't know. Some of the arguments I've heard against getting rid of daylight savings time is that it will create more dark morning hours for kids going to school. And like kids walking to school in the dark is a dangerous thing. More kids die in darker morning hours than in lighter morning hours. Getting hit by cars and stuff. Yeah, entropy. I think we're going to hear about ending daylight saving times every year until we're dead at this point. Spire coming in. He's like, you know, the Corsair count isn't big. He's going to get two Overlord kills. Not too bad for a one Corsair. Yeah, if you push back school start times too late, though, then it screws up parent, school, work, schedules. I don't know. I don't know. I hear you. I feel like it totally should be doable. I would definitely vote. If I was given a vote to choose to get rid of daylight savings time, I would say yes. 100%. Third Nexus on the way from the barcode at about 11 minutes, which is definitely late, but hey, it's a lower level player. He's got about 100 APM. He's got his High Templar. He's got his Storm. He's got his Dragoons. He says, let's go before we start seeing Dark Storm and Plague out. Although, Origami is like, hmm. Who needs a queen's nest? Who needs a hive? We've got macro hatches. We have hydras. We have lurkers. We have lings. We're getting a fourth base at a minerals only location. Everything's fine. Scourge. Hanging out top here. Maybe looking for drops. I like that position too. The, my favorite race. I think those are... I don't know if they're Chinese or Japanese characters. I'm not good at differentiating, but my favorite race is Zerg. Go Zerg, go. I'm always silently rooting for the Zerg in situations like this. Go Hurakami. The fact that he's not getting Plague or Dark Swarm bothers me. Man, like, I'm not going to try not to spoil anything ASL here. I did watch a bunch of it last week. I'm going to just tell you, a Zerg did this. A Zerg went Hydra Lurkerling. Against a Protoss for 20 minutes and lost. And I was like, dude. Seriously. 
It's just Dragoon Zealot Lurker is insanely. Ah, oh, the probes! Oh my gosh! Okay, never mind. That was fine. Murakami just killed like 12 probes because of that Lurker positioning coming around this backside, catching Barcode by surprise, and the probe transfer could not have been at a worse time. That was nuts. The worker count is 53 to 47. It's just, yeah, Dragoon Zealot High Templar is so good here. Yep, notice those Hydras dying. Not really taking a lot of Protoss units with them, did they? No, these Dropper Lords, these have to be Dropper Lords. What are you doing over here, boys? Maybe not. I don't see any army in their general vicinity. Hordakami doesn't want to use them, it seems. Is he hiding them in the middle of the map? Seems like kind of a weird choice, but okay. Hydras are at 0, zero upgrades, and the Protoss is at 1-1, one, one, so that makes this even worse. Yeah, Ventral Sax is on the way from Hordakami. I don't know. It's setting up for some kind of future plan, I guess. Another base coming up from Barcode. Fourth base at 14 minutes. Kind of leaves this base to die. What the heck, man? You were holding this position. Hey, Alva. Happy Sunday indeed. Yeah, see, when they're... Yes. I mean... Uh, lurkers trying to buy some time here. To get some good quality time with these Hydras to maybe take down the Nexus. But they go for the guaranteed damage with the probes. I love it. Where are your obs? You need ob speed, man. Faster obs today. Ton of probes going down. I mean, this is how you do it. This is why you leave one, two, three High Templar inside this base. So when the Hydras come up this ramp, they all get stormed to death. Ooh, good storms, but High Templar is getting sniped out too. Another High Templar has got a storm available. Use your storm, High Templar Harry. Not happening. Owl of Lankar, thanks for subbing. What's up? My gosh, not using a storm. We didn't need the storm, Barcode says. Shut up, Falcon. Everything's okay. 55 to 40 workers in favor of the Zerg. These overlords are over here. These hydras are coming over. Ventral Sax is just about done. And a Queen's Nest. Hooray! Falcon's favorite part of every PVZ is when there's a Queen's Nest on the way. It's, it's working, right? It's working here for Hurakami against a player that will leave a base undefended almost entirely. Ooh, see, now there's a High Templar back here. Great. Much harder for Hydras just to bust in there and kill that thing. Mad Doctor in the house. Barcode is not Bisu. I don't think Barcode is Mini either. This is just a ladder game with Hurakami. And uh, Hurakami is not an S rank pro player, so probably not playing against anybody professional at this stage. More and more zealots. How are the upgrades doing? Two armor, one attack for the ground units here. Hiders are at 1-1. One, one. So, they're coming through. Nobody's working on any further upgrades at this stage of the game, and a hive is on the way from Hordakami. Falcon, huge fan of drops. We know how much he loves his drops, and here they come. What's up, Chad? Sneak, 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 and expanding behind it. Big, huge fan, dude. Drop your enemy. Look at this. He's going to push here, expand here, and drop here. A lower level Protoss can't handle all of this smoke at the same time. Not even close. Oh, DT. Ooh, we're not bringing detection with us. Ooh, DT on the ramp is pretty good stuff. But yo, that drops. High Templar reaction time, negative one. Dude, storm, 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 storm. He doesn't know. He's worried about this stuff. He's worried about these lurkers, which he's walking onto. Did Hurakami snipe an obs? Wait, the storms did eventually come out. Ah, we missed it. But uh, there's nope, nothing to defend this base anymore, and there are like two hydras left. That's pretty good. Dude, these lurkers, man. Where did your obs go? More obs. There we go. There's the obs football. Okay. All the dragoons are dead. Lurkers are not getting up this ramp. There's DTs and there are cannons there. But uh, these probes having a bad time. Five kills. Six kills apiece. Every time Barcode gets that probe count up to deal with what the Zerg player is dealing. He just loses more probes. Defiler mound on the way. You know how much that makes uh, everybody happy 
including Falcon especially, but man, didn't get the Nexus, that's okay. Probe deaths at this stage of the game are pretty fantastic. More and more Hydras. Orikami is working on 2-2 upgrades now. Barcode, more OBS. These lurkers are causing problems for him. There we go. DT Observer Combination. That's how we do it. That's how you clear out lurkers for sure. Like it a lot. Hey, Mr. Flamer Rocks, happy Sunday. Macro hatching. I mean, Urukami likes his macro hatches. One of the reasons I like him. And drops, too. All right, the filer mound is up. Consume really just needs to be an immediate upgrade once your defiler mound is done. If you make a defiler mound and your consume never happens, you're probably doing it wrong. This DT is having a great time. He's got five kills. He's heading down south, scouting additional bases. He's invisible. Nobody can hurt him. Calvin's in the house. Noah Drum Club's DTs. They're cool, man. And they're good. They're good units for sure. A small group of barcode heading down this way. He's finally working on a plus two attack, but he's late on that. And I don't know if Horikami can bust up this. Not with DTs on the ramp, cannons, and high Templar. Oh, okay, Horikami's refusing to bring detection with him today. Where is he? Where's our guy? He's right here. Having a fantastic time, man. Three kills on him. Mm. Yep, Urakami's like, not busting up there, not even close. He's running. Where are you running? help whatever it doesn't matter there's no dark swarm here the dragoons are training well zealots are training well there's no plague i don't know if i've seen consume come through this production tab yet and that is really concerning as a zerg fan get on out good storm on that last lurker and there you go see there's high templar there's dts there's cannons there's a ramp you gotta got up that is defendable a defensible position here. Urukami still finally started consume. There we go. So good base count here. 55 drones is fine, but look at the macro of barcode. He has lost a lot of probes today, but he's still at 63 workers at 20 minutes. That is some admirable commitment to probing here today. His upgrades are late, sure. Maybe he doesn't have the best storms in the world. That's true. Maybe he's not going reavers when he totally should at the 20 minute mark. That's also forgivable. His probe count. He probably has too many probes at this base. He should probably expend again. And Hurakami should expend again, too, honestly. He's got a drone down here like he's threatening to. DT kind of hanging out this area, making sure that's not easy to expand to, at least for Hurakami. That'd be interesting, Psychonuts. Little Diablo StarCraft crossover. Could be good. Oh, this guy. Denial. Wait. Denial. Denial. Yeah. Two drones down. Eight kills on this Dark Templar. He's having a great time. DTs are having a great time in this game. I Templar needs to storm this now. Maybe not. Maybe if the Hydras are chased away by cannons, you don't have to storm it. That's fine, I guess. We've got different factions in chat cheering against barcodes. Some of them, ah, detection. Some of them are cheering for barcode. Protoss fans and non-Protoss fans alike out here. That is a lot of gateway stuff, man. It is basically a backstop barcode. He is, that uh, plus two attack is just about done. Plus three armor finishing up here is really nice. Finally getting observer movement speed. Yeah, he's needed that for a while. A couple times, he's been racing to get detection to a location, and it's really, really late. Now, ah, what's up? Farewell. Long time, long time, long time sub farewell. Mm. All right, man. Big engagement. No dark storm. No plague here. Ooh, did he just storm his own obs, or was that sniped by Hurakami? Can't tell. Can't quite tell. Another engagement does get up here. Finally, a Nexus is going to die. Hurakami 
He's had a hard time sniping Nexuses today. He's been great at killing probes. Nexuses have not died. Yeah, I think Barcode lost his one OBS that was with this army, and as a result, he's got to fall back. But the Lurker didn't come with. These Hydras are all dead. Yeah, uh, more OBS, dude. He is making more OBS, which is nice. But seriously, pros will have like three or four OBS with an army. Maybe not clumped up necessarily, but just in the general area. So that losing one OBS is not the end of the world for you. High Templar wanders in. Doesn't quite have energy for a storm. Wanders out. Now has energy for a storm. Gets the storm off. That's pretty good. That was pretty much an instantaneous storm once he got 75 energy. That was fantastic. Oh, Simon says Urakami is 1720 MMR. Almost B rank. Nice. So a high C rank Zerg. Pretty good. At this day and age of Brood War, C rank is no joke. 140 to 140 supply, being about even supply here as a Zerg player is not good. Plus, he's refusing to go any defilers. Where are his obs? He was making obs. Where are they? There we go. Two obs are here. Excellent, excellent. Neither player is close to maxed out. Mineral counts are low. Players are spending well, not expanding incredibly well. Top right base coming in up here for the uh, barcode. Another expansion down left here from Hurakami. And not replacing this base, considering it. Uh, yeah, Al, uh, uh, Al of a no. They did not change anything about the pathing or the stats, or anything about the game. All they change are the visuals in the remaster. Everything's as clunky as it ever was, and the hardcore, long-time Brewdor fans could not be happier about that. They're okay with it. To them, it's just part of the game, man. If Reavers weren't as clunky as they are, they'd be way overpowered. Finally, Urakami decides to get Plague and some Adrenal Glands. Again, he's had a high for like five or six minutes, so... Hmm little bit late. I think maybe he thought he could end the game and he's got some defilers. Holy smokes. Let's go. This might be the beginning of the end for the Protoss. Protoss who does not believe Reavers are the answer to anything at all. Going gateway storm, gateway storm all the live long day. What's up Alexander? That's true. They did debug Valk missiles. So Valkyries are moderately more viable than they were for the first you know, 20 years of Starcraft. We do see them more often now than we did before the remaster. So that's nice. But that was a debug. I'm not sure that Dragoon pathing is a bug. Your mileage may vary on that concept, though. It very well could be considered a bug by some of you. Plague! Big plague. This is where things get easier for Hurakami. It plagued this stuff. It dies faster. I'm not sure how much simpler this needs to be. Overlord consumed. Ooh, Defiler dies, but gets another pretty sick plague off there. Watching all the HP go down on a bunch of these Dragoons. This is a good game, Hurakami. Thanks for sending it in. This is great. And again, this isn't Soul Key versus Mini or anything, but I'm liking it. This is players who know what they're doing. Maybe some of their timings are late. Maybe some of their decisions are a little bit weird. Maybe their execution isn't perfect. Good snipe on those high Templar. 3-3 against 3-2 here. Adreno Lings in the house. Should we guess the attack upgrade set for Zerglings? Yes. What do we think it is? Got to find a Zergling first. There we go. One attack. Eh, thought it'd be zero. Fargo goes for an Arbiter Tribunal instead of Reavers in this position. I don't know if he wants to stasis these Hydras or if he wants to recall on top of the Zerg, but he's got some plans, I guess. Mm, this is just Furukami at 61 drones. Just trying to flood Hydras, but he's not sending in the Hydras fast enough. It's another sick plague. Another really good plague here from Horikami. 
Getting it on the Zealots is preferable, but Dragoons taking a Plague to the face is always good for Zerg too. I'm never going to say no to that. Is expanding bottom left. Arbiter Tribunal is up for the barcode player, but he's not making any Arbiters, nor is he getting them any upgrades. I think players have ideas, but they're so concerned about the micro and the battles out on the map that it makes sense. Uh, yeah, Corey Allen, you're right. You don't have to research Parasite. You got a Queen's Nest anyway. Just Queens are not cheap, I guess. Queens are a bunch of gas. And so making one Queen, that could be an upgrade, I guess, is the idea people have. And, I don't know, if you parasite something, it's pretty easy for the enemy to kill it and get rid of the parasite. Although, if you parasite an enemy High Templar, for example, that is not something they want to get rid of, you know? It's a good point, Corey. I don't know. That's the fun thing about StarCraft, is that the meta is always evolving. Strategies come in, come out, come out. We see new ones evolved. We see new maps providing new strategies. There was a match from ASL just this last week where I think it was TY. Hey, the first Dark Swarm of the day. But Zealots and DTs are in there. Your Dark Swarm is not as good as you'd like it to be, which is why I would have rather seen a plague against this. Yeah, listen to all those lurkers just die. 170 to 130 supply. There is a plague in here too, so you can have your cake and eat it too, man. Yeah, TY, StarCraft 2 player who has converted to Brood War. Went for a crazy build that Tastosis had never seen before on one of those maps where you both spawn on the right side. I'm trying to it's not Butter. It's the newer one. I forget the name of it. Uh, it's. I did not get enough sleep last night. I'm not going to remember it. High Templar dying. Just bad pathing there on that poor High Templar. But, yeah. Hydra's alone, not going to fight particularly well here, but man, this base, this bottom left base for the Zerg is great. This top right base is incredible for the Protoss too, though. Blitz Y, Simon. Thank you, that's the one. Yeah, so TY did this thing on Blitz Y. That it's a build that they had never, ever, ever seen before, and a lot of it was map dependent. A lot of it was just you couldn't do this on another map. Again, I don't want to spoil ASL for you guys who haven't watched it yet, but seriously, go watch the Tatosis VODs out on Afrika's YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. Ultra's on the way. Recall on the way. Okay, this is fun. Finally, some Arbiter production, too. Plague up. What's up, Jose? Okay, Cracklings in the house here. They still don't have the greatest upgrades, but plus one Cracklings better than zero non-Cracklings, I always say. Urakami's got the detection. Snipe the odds. Snipe the overlords. The DTs are getting some work done deep in here. Man, DTs combined with Zealots are getting some work done. This is a fantastic back and forth. This is some great storm. This is some great DT Zealot stuff. Archon's just more desperation more than anything else. What's up, Richard? Me too. 128 to 163 supply. Protoss is up. But he's really on the back foot here. This is the. F there are two bases that haven't been taken yet. They're minerals only, so they're not high value targets, I would say. Yeah, fair enough, Toy Cop. T.Y., you did used to be known as Baby in the Kespa era. Really, really great player all the time. He was considered one of the four Terran horsemen in StarCraft II. So, back in Brood War, what a legend, man. What a legend. Hey, Richard. Yeah, so remember all the problems I had streaming last week and the disconnects and it was terrible? And it was a horrible experience for everybody. I talked to the Streamlabs OBS support people and they were like, just do 1080p for both. Twitch and YouTube, and it should fix your problem. So, Ultralisks chomping on your stuff, man. But there are DTs. Nice plague. And Archons. Yeah, fight with the cannons. Fight with the Archons. Fight with the DTs. Dude, there's no detection here. DTs will hack through Ultras, especially if they don't have Chitinous Plating yet. They've got Anabolic Synthesis, which is the second time in the last 24 hours I've seen a Zerg player go for Ultra Speed before Ultra Armor. Which is weird. Burrow? Oh, Burrow was on the way for a second. I think that might have been an accident from Horikami. So, yeah, Richard. I don't know. Um, 
I'll investigate maybe finding a, di finding a different restream option that allows me to go 1440p out here on YouTube and then like 720, 1080 out on Twitch. I just forgot. I don't. I didn't have the Twitch chat up today. I've not been talking to my Twitch peoples. Come on, Twitch. Sorry, anybody on Twitch I've been ignoring. Recall! Accidentally saw that recall. That's fun. <laughs> Woo! Completely crushing this base. Ultralisks inside the Dark Swarm attack in this situation. No, there's GTs in there, man. Urakami GG's out, and he sends in a loss in a fantastic, fantastic game. GG, man, with a recall to put the hammer down. Oh, man, that was fantastic. What a game. What a game. Yeah, I think this base was probably dead, too. Not a big army. We're down 100 supply. We're out of position to do anything to save this. I guess there's a few Hydras, which actually wouldn't be too bad here. But yeah, 44 drones, thanks to losing all of those dudes. Ah, ah, what a great game. And again, hats off to Hurakami. If you're going to send me replays on a fairly consistent basis, mix in a loss every once in a while. Hurakami knows how to do that. And just super, super props to him, man. So yeah, Plague, Dark Swarm, Recall is exactly what that ending play was am i on twitch is twitch working twitch is working great again sorry everybody on twitch if i wasn't reading your chats it i got like five and a half hours of sleep last night and your falcon needs his eight and a half or he is not doing well but we're good we're here we're having a great time 235 to 140 apm apm is not everything is it yeah, the outproduction here is good, but the outkill is even bigger here for a barcode. Da -da -da. Resources. Too close. Too close for comfort here. Only about a 5,000 resource difference in favor of Hurakami in 33 minutes. Needed more bases faster. Needed to kill more Nexuses if he was going to do this thing. So GG, man. Protoss is invincible. <laughs> ah, good stuff. All right. Next up. What do we have? Are you, I promised we were going to do this. Potato Terran TVT on Radeon. Let's do it. We got to get some Terran representation. We did ZBZ. We did PVZ. Now we're going to do TVT. So we got all three races represented here in the first 45 minutes. And this is Omar. Correct, Psychodots. Good call out. Let's leave purple. Top right going to be purple Terran. It's Potato Terran. Also known as Omar here on the channel. And in the bottom left, it's Jado. APM spamming his potato Terran at 300. 60 APM here from Jado. So TVT's traditionally tank lines, right? Tank lines, vulture aggression, ooh. For you TVT fans, I've got a flash versus sharp TVT coming out this week. Oh, <laughs> it is good. It is really, really good. And it's Flash, so you guys are going to watch it anyway, because it's Flash. Jack says, hit that like button, and he's not wrong. Good man, Jack. Hit that like button, indeed. Okay, both players going for barracks first, and gas. Nobody's skimping. Nobody's going for a command center first play. They respect their opponents, for sure. 40 APM fans rise up. That's right. 40 APM is how the OGs play this stuff. Yeah, so far, 45 likes in the first 50 minutes is an excellent pace. Good job, everybody, so far. Appreciate everyone who's at the like button to this point. SCV scouting around. Steve the SCV and his enemy, Evil Goatee Steve the SCV. Factory and... Factory, great. So a lot of respect. Both players not expanding until they got Factory up. It's pretty scary to try to expand in a TVT if you don't have Vultures yet. Because if you don't have Vultures and your enemy has Vultures, you pretty much just die. I guess maybe you could get a bunker up. Man, the run-by potential of Vultures is nuts. So just, you know, safer, safer, safer. Do it this way. Nice jukes from Jado getting in here with his 60 APM. Gets the scout off, sees there's nothing untoward happening here. SCV can die. 
Nice, Simon. Yeah, I will get to that Artosis game next, probably. Probably. I like this. Scouting out with your barracks. Your enemy's not going to have a ton of anti-air at this stage of the game. Jado says, oh, screw vultures. I'm getting siege tanks and marines, and we might just push here. I like it. Yeah, enemy vulture shows up, but you've got a siege tank and a bunch of marines, and uh, enemy vultures like, uh, don't know about that, man. Yeah, toy cop. He did. I don't, I don't know. I'm not ruling out Flash coming back, I guess my opinion on it. Alright, Siege take up here from Potato Terran. But, Siege mode is done for Jado. Ow, and it's not done for Potato Terran. Okay, shot off on that enemy tank would be sick. I don't know, busting up into this bunker though. Two Marines inside the bunker. Siege mode! Tank needs to be firing on enemy tank if possible. Oh no, another tank shows up. Okay, good. Enemy tank takes some shots there. Marines chase it down. They get the tank. Then they stay in range of the bunker. There's no need to do that. Jado, just wait. Okay. Look at this SCV up here repairing too. That's sick. This dude inside. He is. He's got two hit points. He had to unseen to deal with that guy. Uh, Potato turn might just be dead. I don't... How do you deal with this? I mean, I guess he's got an expansion, which is nice. Floating barracks can't really win a base race, unfortunately. Uh, Unsiege this tank. Yeah, man. SCVs are here to fight siege tanks. Bring this tank into the battle. It'd be good. Oh, he's microing his tanks as well. Like an absolute boss here. Oh, man, this is some pretty good micro out of Jado. His APM is spiking as he has stuff to do. Man, vultures keep dying. That is a, These are six kill siege tanks, man. Worker count is plummeting for Potato Terran. Fall back. Let this siege tank ruin these SCVs, man. Don't let them get friendly fire splash on your tanks, though. Oh, this guy gets the full surround. The hug of death is here. Siege tanks. Worker count for Potato Terran is bad. Spider Mine's getting laid. Ugh, another tank dies. 10 kill Siege Tank. 11 kill Siege Tank. 12 kill Siege Tank. And Spider Mine's gonna kill this guy. See you later, Siege Tank. Bam. 14 to 7 workers. But Potato Terran does have a second command center. There isn't one for Jado. His ability to rebuild his economy is okay. Plus, there are spider mines, and Jado doesn't have detection. That was nuts. That was absolutely crazy. That hold from Omar was impressive. Yeah, get spider mines out, deal with enemy siege tanks. On some level, anyway. Jado decides it is time to expand. I cannot disagree with him on that front. We're SCVing up, making two at a time. Good job, Potato Terran. Good job, Omar. And you need detection. So I don't know if you want to get an academy up. I don't know if you want to try to get a starport out. You need something to deal with these spider mines. I guess you could send marines in there just to trigger them. They're pretty cheap. Pretty effective. Potato Terran putting his SCVs to work. He's now back up to 14 SCVs. Good job, good job. Nice recovery. So it's going to be extra factories here from Jado. Really? I just... His complete lack of desire to deal with these vultures and these spider mines is concerning me. I don't think those spider mines even hit anything. That was a pretty terrible engagement for sure. There you go. See Marine triggering a spider mine? Fine. Acceptable. Send the Marine up. No, don't lose the tank. Oh my gosh. Is he... He's doing the Dragoon thing, where you trigger the spider mines and kill them before they hit you. Siege tank range is such you can pull that off. Look at that spider mine not triggering. <laughs> ooh, ooh. This is so tricky. Ooh. No, that's a hit. That's a hit. Two siege tanks show up again. SEVs must fight for themselves. Potato Terran's SEV micro is pretty good. Look at him bring him past the tanks. 
get us around. Gato's sitting on 600 minerals and 700 gas and not producing anything right now. Once again, spider mines are going to have to win the day here. And <laughs> they sure do. Did they kill all of the vultures? Yes. Did they kill the tanks too? Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Totally fine. Holy cow. That was fantastic. That was really, really good. <laughs> Spider-Man connection again. Spider-Man connection. Again! And <laughs> Vulture goes down with it. So look at this. It's two Vultures versus what? A Marine? More Vultures? Jado's like, alright, fine. More Vultures. Vultures are the play here. I love this aggressive barracks just floating out down here. Having a really, really fun time scouting out. Sees the second base. Still, Jado's like, nah, man, I can handle spider mines. Who needs detection? And I mean, sure, you've only lost like seven siege tanks of spider mines today, but who needs detection? Vulture versus Vulture is out now. Fine, everything's fine, nothing is ruined. What are we looking at? 36 to 37 supply, 20, 21 to 30 workers. Potato Terran's economy is better. He's finally throwing up a third, fourth, and a fifth factory. It is three factories for Jado. Your vultures don't trigger enemy spider mines. That is so dangerous, man. So, so, so dangerous. Moving across the map again. Jado really likes moving across with small armies. Did he accidentally attack his own vulture there for no reason? I feel like he might have done that. It's tricky. Two vultures back home are defeated by two vultures and a siege tank, though. Potato doing a better job at least spending. His production tab has been more active today. Jado... Again, with about 80 APM, maybe he doesn't quite have the APM to keep up particularly here. What's up, 419141? Happy Sunday. Welcome to the stream. Suga! Yeah, man. Snow. Looks like snow is holding back before ASL. Yes, I did watch Snow's games in group stage in ASL. He's an absolute monster. Ooh, Siege Tank down. Good target firing there by Potato Terran with his own Siege Tank. Getting chased, getting chased. Vulture count heavier, scarier. So I love laying spider mines in the middle of other spider mines from the enemy. It's very entertaining stuff. Get that Siege Tank. Get him. Spider mine burrows. Nice target firing on those spider mines by Omar, though. Excellent, excellent stuff. More units. I love just sprinkling in a marine every once in a while from Jado. Why not? Why not just show a marine? Additional... Oh, then double starport on the follow-up for Potato Terran. Maybe he's trying to go Wraith to counter all of these vultures and tanks, maybe hoping there aren't any goliaths coming out on their arm. Jado's kind of stuck on this tech, but I mean, so far I'd say it's been working for him. Well, first time we've heard a siege mode sound in a while. Yeah, these vultures trying to snipe down that siege tank. Hard to do. Siege tank again takes it out. Man, siege tank spider mines. The lack of desire to bring any detection to this fight at all for Jado is a little bit concerning, man. Spider mines popping up all the time. Jump scares, dude. Definitely jump scares. What do we got? Spider mines again. 
Did that vulture die for it? Yes. Spider mine pat or mineral patches here. 30, 300, 500. It's okay. Mineral patches are going to run out in a couple minutes here in the mains. Natural base is obviously a bit healthier here for both players. Yeah, 84 to 41 supply in favor of Potato Terran here. Wraiths are being produced. Wraith awaiting launch orders. On the way for Potato Terran. No scanning because there are no commsats. No floating barracks in to see what's going on in the enemy base. He's just going to be completely countered by Wraiths here. Trying to sneak up a third base in the bottom right for Jado. I definitely, definitely am on board with that. Yeah, man. If Jado just had more siege tanks, I feel like this would go well for him. But he just kind of keeps trickling them in, trickling them in here, one or two at a time, and then they're fairly easily handleable by these vultures. Potato Terran gets a vulture run by right into the mineral line of Jado. He's gonna go to town on this thing, and that's it. Jado taps out. Vultures get in here, wipe out his worker count. He knows he's too low in economy to afford that kind of damage. He can't break Potato Terran's front door. There are wraiths on the way. I don't think he had any idea about the wraiths at all. And he taps. GG Omar. Nicely done. F rank TVT for sure. That was fun. That was really fun. So end of the day, just out producing, getting out killed, but out producing by enough to overcome this killed stat. Structures raised 0 to 1. And then total spent here. Outspending by 4,300 resources was Potato Terran. What's up, Delane? <laughs> yeah, the StarCraft, man. Sometimes, sometimes people don't know what it is anymore. But hey, we're here. Sunday stream is always here for you. Thanks for hitting that like button. Thanks everyone who's done it so far. We've got more likes to go. All right, this is an Artosis replay sent in by Simon. Artosis against a, well, a Protoss player. Top left, going to be Artosis. And the bottom right, going to be Shuyazi 5. 140 APM versus Artosis is spamming 500 APM here. Curious to see what Artosis is going to do here. If we're going to get any rage, quite possibly. Ugh, it's always on the menu. When Artosis is involved. Hey, what up, what up? Suga 100 bit Sunday stream hype for sure. What's up, dude? All right, so we're not getting... This isn't quite the tippy-tippy top of StarCraft, but this is getting higher. We're going to start with the lower levels and continue going higher today. How's that sound? Oh, Psychonuts! Psychonuts. Got the menu. Nice. Yes, Mark, it is Daylight Savings. You nailed it. Anya Taylor-Joy! Oh my gosh, I love her in that movie. I love her in that movie. Yeah, I, I should rewatch the menu. It's been a while. Like Falcon Paladin recommends the menu. Great movie from last year. Really good. He also recommends Dune Part Two. Saw Dune Part Two a couple times last week. Really, really good. Also, Denny Villeneuve, man, maybe the best director alive. And yes, Kyle, she is. Expansion on the way from Artosis. Protoss getting his Nexus up. Cybercore Dragoon's safety has been achieved. Bunker at the front here for Artosis just for extra safety. And working on Spider Mines as his first upgrade here at the Machine Shop. Simon reached B rank. GG, man. That's fantastic. Way to go. B rank is an incredibly impressive achievement these days on the ladder. Parker in the house. Leroy Jenkins. Dave C is here, too. What's up, Dave? 
Alright, so far, nothing too weird in this game. Extra factories, academy up, comsat purposes, and scouting the Protoss and seeing what they're doing. The answer is, it's just OBS, it's Dragoons, it's a second base, you've got vision on potential third bases, Artosis does, which is Krabian. Liking it a lot. What's up, Dead Infested? I think I agree with your rankings, Suga. Vultures get a bit of, oh, a bit of a sneak. This is a nice vulture attack. Got two kills, got three kills. Come on, Dragoons, respond. Respond to this. Oh, nice, Jack. Thanks for advertising my work on the EU server. Can you cast something from there? What do you... From the EU server? I mean, I cast stuff from European players who've been playing on the EU server. Is that what you mean? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, apparently this replay was from the Artosis uh, Twitch stream a couple, like a week ago. Cool, good stuff. So recent game here from Artosis, which means he probably should get a third base. There was an era where Artosis would really just kind of two base this matchup every single time. And then the meta shifted and said, dude, you got to get a third base. It's way, way, way better. And then Artosis is like, okay, I'll get a third base, guys. And then he started doing it sometimes. He just sits there in an arc. Yeah, truth, truth, truth. So, I mean, really nice. This map has a pretty nice third base you can take. Artos is not interested in doing that quite yet. Nice little probe transfer down here to the third. Nice vulture attack timing. And he's more active with his vultures than he used to be too, which is also a thumbs up. Also very, very thumbs up. So more factories, more factories. Two base, two base, two base, two base, two base. At some point, third base. Take that, eggs. Oh, air weapons on the way from Shuiza. And Stargate. Ready? There it is. Okay, so it is going to be carriers here. Or, I don't know, maybe mass scout. Maybe Shuyazi is a snow smurf. Uh, but with 100 APM, that's probably not the case. What's up, critter? What's up, nibbler? Looks like Artosis is setting up to go for a third base soon. Not right now, mind you, but soon, TM. Yeah, man, that air weapon's upgrade. What did he just scan? What did he just scan? He just scanned. Oh, he didn't scan this, the Stargate over here, though. He did scan this stuff, but these are gateways. That's a key. He, he's, he's scouting gateway here, man. Yeah, I don't think Artosis knows what's coming. He, there you go. Third base coming up at nine minutes. Cool, cool, cool. We're down with that. Plasma shield, leg enhancements, air weapons. There is your fleet beacon. I'm going to try to listen for scans and see if Artosis is going to scout this or not. How's it going? Ooh, that's a fun name. There's a scan. He sees the Nexus timing. That's a great scout. That really is. And he sees that base too, but he hasn't seen this little area yet. Vultures again being active among these probes. Sure, they're all going to die, but killing workers is awesome. It's 62 to 51 workers in favor of Artosis right now. This base fairly well defended. We probably wall it off with pylons there.
Bum, ba -dum. Okay, this is good. Three basing Brotoss, four basing Shuyazi. Goliaths are being added. I don't think this is a response to Carrier from Artosis. Once you know Carriers are on the way, you want to start pumping Goliaths, maybe at like a five at a time rate here. Let's get up to three, another scan. Hey, there we go. He did it. He scanned the Carriers. Okay, okay. I, again, I'm pretty sure he didn't know about the Mattel just this very moment, but he has fired up Caron Boost. Once again, that could just be for Arbiters, though. And yeah, Chumbus, we've got the Fleet Bacon in the house. And here comes Shuyazi. He's like, I just got scanned out. Let's push out a little bit. Artosis has enough to deal with this ground, right? Because this is not 100% carrier, right? This is hybrid stuff. This is zealots with speed. This is dragoons with carrier support, not mass carrier. So you do want some siege tanks. You do want some vultures in the mix here, but you also want a ton of Goliaths. You just want to know how many carriers your enemy is going for, right? Three at a time seems like a lot of carriers. Another Stargate coming in. Four at a time is going to be potential here too. Yeah, the expanding here from Shuyazi is great. Another scan sees... This is good. This is a good follow-up scan. Sees more Stargate. Right? Says, all right, all right, all right, all right. At some point, I think we're just going pure Goliath, seven at a time. Working on further upgrades. Plus one's already done. Plus two's really nice. Plus three is essential here. Against all of the army of these carriers, too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So, carrier capacity getting researched. Uh, no workers trigger mines, Alexander. That was a balanced choice made many, 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 many years ago because if workers triggered mines, we just see vulture drops all the time. You put one spider mine in a mineral field and everybody dies, and that's GG. Vultures would be way too good. Yeah, see, Toy Cop says. Toy Cop knows. Storms on the way from Shuyaza, too. I like it. So it's not just Carrier. It's a mix of High Templars, Zealots, Dragoons, Carriers. Artosis is like, I can mix, too. I can hybrid. I've got tanks. I've got a couple Marines in here. Just why not? Extra DPS is fine. Okay. Falling back. Trying to delay. Trying to delay. Trying to delay. scans just out front there artosis says let's get in there before it gets too scary but it's i mean it's a maxed out artosis army shuyazi's 177 supply siege tanks sieging up at this third base love that love this position here Carriers come in, they're going to clear it out, and then Artosis is making the Protoss player worry about this attack towards the front as well. So this is just some good, good chaos right now. Target firing those tanks needs to be the priority. The Vultures and the Goliaths, much less of a problem. So there we go. Getting rid of the tanks that are in range of that. There, good target firing, then range of that Nexus. Shutting it down. But then the Goliaths just wander in. These probes are all dying. The carriers don't want to engage necessarily with this many Goliaths. Upgrades on the carriers are... Give me an upgrade. 2-1 to attack there. Next is down. Good attack from Artie here. He's expanding. Bottom left, 2. Gotta love that from him. Yeah, all right. Then Siege Tanks just wrecking away this natural base, too. Artosis is looking good. Let's see if the Carrier Micro can keep this Protoss player alive for the next five minutes. It's not looking good, though. Wow. Yeah, Dead's like, I don't know. I don't see how the Protoss wins this at all. High grounding is helping. Hard to get body shots off on these Carriers when they're inside the Dark Swarm. Scans help with that, but good Carrier Micro falling back before the scan reveals them. So two bases down on this first push. This base might just die too. Yeah, Artosis beautifully mixing his composition, expanding again behind this. 
It's 193 to 116 supply, and I think Artosis has just crushed his way to victory here, man. This is amazing. Yeah, I do. Yep, I'm with Dead. I don't see how this is recoverable for the Protoss at all. He hasn't, I mean, Protoss hasn't retaken his natural, hasn't retaken his third. This is it. This is GG. That was just really well executed from Artosis. Terran gets a win. Yeah, Jack. I mean, have him send the replays in to falconpaladin at gmail.com. Subject, Brood War. We'll get him on the Sunday stream. I cast plenty of European players on the Sunday stream, including Toy Cop. Right? Including Lucky Noob. Including tons of people. All right. So this game's over. I don't know how this game is continuing. I really don't. You're not winning a base race in this situation. Honestly, if Artosa just walked down here and killed all this stuff, the carriers can do whatever the F they want. They're not getting anything done. They're not winning this game. But Artosis chases him out here. He wants to deal with the carriers directly. Yeah, I mean, seriously. At this stage, sure. Let your let some of these units chase these guys. But, like, the rest... Send your tanks down here and just start killing this stuff. This is a bad choice. This is a really bad choice. Chasing, 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 chasing here. What's up? Save your sword. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Send units down here. Put the hammer down. Dude. It doesn't matter if this base dies. You have so many more bases. It's a little more concerning if you lose your entire main. I'll give you that. Okay, okay, he finally did it. He sends some tanks. This is exactly what he should have done like three minutes ago. Yep, siege up some of the tanks. Keep the rest of them unseaged. Make sure this base never comes back. And yeah, if he wants to base race you, so be it. Let the Goliaths go after Interceptor. is going to run out of money eventually. The ability to reproduce Interceptors is going to be absolutely shut down. Live games will start in about an hour and a half-ish. Save your sword. Thanks to the daylight savings time, changing everything up. Sure, another base dies from already. It's still 160 to 84 total supply. There are no probes left for Shu Yazi. He has no income at all. Goliath upgrades are plus two. That plus three never happened. Was that denied? The armories get sniped. Oh, but the armories got sniped. That's not good. And then Shu Yazi cruising down left. It's like, well, wiped out a lot of bases. Let's go for broke here. Let's take all of them out. I love. Oh, the DTs. Oh my gosh, the DTs cleaning up the tank problems. <gasps> There's no way Shuyazi is kind of alive at this stage. There's no way. But he is. But he's kind of alive at this stage. SCV count plummeting for Artosis. You can't get worse than zero, though. Every interceptor that dies is a major win for Artosis because there is no income for Shuyazi right now. Ugh. Carrier Micro is pretty good. There are 11 carriers here with three two two upgrades. These are not plus three Goliaths, which is helping Shuyazi here quite a bit. It's like one carrier per Goliath right now. That is not good. What's up, PJ? This rep is disturbing, he says. What? Yeah. 
The fact that it's this close in supply after Artosos was up a hundred supply today. I really think he should have just gone for the base race. I think he wins the base race. I think him chasing these carriers around like a dog chasing his own tail. Oh my gosh. He's trying to get into race. But there's carriers parked on your starport, sir. Dude, I cannot imagine the Artosis Rage at this point. I can't. I'm sure it is incandescent. I mean, they're not cloaked race, lucky noob, mind you. But yeah, there's obs any. Look at him just let these guys... Oh, he canceled them all. Artosis canceled. Look, he's got more bases. See, he has income. Yeah, this is good. This is exactly what he needs to be doing. Expand here. Re-expand here. The wraiths are out. Don't know how they got all the way. I guess he's been making them here. I don't think he has cloak anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, this game. This game. Shuyazi. Zero probes. 11 carriers and a dream. He lost one. He's down to 10. Trying to use this high ground position. Trying to use good carrier micro. Invisible again. Sure you guys are not supply blocked anymore. He just lost a carrier. He is... He's making interceptors from time to time. He's down to a hundred total minerals. Some of his obs are getting sniped. Oh, did he snipe the obs? He sniped the obs. And now the wraiths are tearing into these carriers. Hey, hey, hey. He did get cloak. All right. New obs comes in. Where are the obs going? Defend. Defend the carriers. Wraiths are nine, but they are taking carriers with them, man. There used to be 11, and now there are only seven. Oh, that was big. That was really big. But, dude, this base dying, too. This game is nuts. This game is crazy. Artosis has no cash left. He has 71 minerals remaining. He's trying to build more wraiths. And by that, I mean wraith. Because he doesn't have enough money to build more than one wraith. This base dying. This base dead. This base dead. There is no way. There is no way. Hey, what's up, Miss Frizzle? <laughs> this has been a zero probe Protoss for like 10 minutes now. He lost all of his probes an eternity ago. And he's just been alive with these carriers and these obs. Not as healthy a carrier group as it was, but it's still pretty. Pretty formidable. Oh, oh, missile turret. Might actually kill one of these dudes. Wraiths come in again. There are obs. Is there enough? God, the carrier micro, though. Just high grounding it all the live long day. He's up in supply, 47 to 32 now. The carrier's getting direct body shots. Another one goes down. There's only six carriers remaining, but there are also only eight Goliaths, which isn't a good ratio. Oh, good body shots, good body shots, good body shots. Yazi getting a little bit greedy here. Another carrier dies. But it's 35 to 10 supply. One siege tank from Artosis. Trying to take down all the remaining buildings of the Protoss here. That uh, Does Artosis have any command centers remaining? I don't think he does. He's got four SCVs, no CCs, no ability to make another CC because he's so broke. What's up, nice roll? What's up, Settler? Um, that's it. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Artosis, man. Come on! That carrier micro was really good! Obviously, Shu Yazi didn't play a perfect game by any stretch, but that carrier micro, mmm, that was good carrier micro, man. Oh! Dude, Shu Yazi had zero probes for the last 10 to 12 minutes of this game, and he wins. He loses his natural, his third, his fourth. All he's got are 11 carriers and a dream. He sends them off on a magical journey, topside. Killing bases, getting into the main base, sniping command center, denying upgrades, comes down the left side, killing artosis bases. Good micro the whole time, high grounding, going, just kiting these Goliaths, right? They're chasing, they're chasing. Yeah, Artosis should have just taken his entire army and A moved him down here to this corner. I think if he does that, he wins. I think he kills all these buildings well before the carriers kill all of the pro all of the Terran buildings. Plus, if I don't think Shuyazi wanted to defend. You don't want to defend against a giant Goliath army because you get backed into a corner and get picked off. You're way better out on the map, which is why he went out on the map. And it worked, man. It totally worked. Oh, that was awesome. That was a great win. That was a fantastic win for Shuyazi. Mistakes were made on both sides. That's StarCraft, though, man. Nobody plays perfect. Nobody plays perfect. APM 105 for Shuyazi today. 271 for Artosis again. APM is not everything. Protoss can play slower than both Terran and Zerg. Produced similar numbers of units. Shuyazi killed more, which helps. But, I mean, if you outspend your opponent by 9,000 resources in 26 minutes, it should work out for you, but sometimes it doesn't. There's no guarantee. There is no guarantee, man. That was amazing. What a great match. All right, let's go Motive Queen here. Then we'll get into the Nibbler stuff. And I think that might be it for the live games today. So this is RJB Replay of the Week. Check him out. Dun -dun. Reconnected? No. Connect. Let's make sure we can do commands on Twitch. We can. And we can do commands on YouTube too. RJB says check Discord. Okay. Uh, Alright, cool. Light versus mini. Bonk. Sounds good, dude. All right, so this one is Motive. God, just completely spaced to the other player. It's Motive and Queen on Neo Dark Origin. You had a map here earlier, too. Thanks for hitting the like button, everyone. I think we're at, yeah, 69 likes. Nice. We're trying to get to 150 for the stream goal today. I feel like it's been a couple weeks since we've had that, so it'd be nice to hit it today. Top left, it is Motive Protossin. And in the bottom right, it is Queen. <clears throat> RJB is King of the World. Is that RJB's disc? Nope, that is my Discord, but RJB's YouTube channel is linked, both on Twitch and on the YouTube, be sure to check him out. You guys know who RJB is. If this is unless this is your first time here. If this is your first time to the stream. Happy Sunday, everyone. Wet Tuga, thanks for the like. Alright, so two elite players here. This is PBZ at its best. Motive and Queen APMs are high. Two player map, they know where the enemy is. Terror the Overlord moving out as he is wont to do. It is a gateway opening from Motive. Zealots are in the future here with the overpooling queen. It's going to be a good answer to the Zealots and be fairly macro-oriented as well. So good choice here against the gate opening, which he didn't know was a gate opening, mind you. 
Is he going to just... Yeah, just going to take the base over here with the probe blocking his attempt to take his natural. Not a big deal. We see that a lot in StarCraft 2, but less common, I would say, in the Brood War, generally. Bum, 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 bum. Sounds good, Corey. Thanks for subbing to RJB. All right. Third hatch in here. Zealot shows up. Overlord parked. Sees the expansion timing. Knows no dragoons are here to kill me yet. Zealot probe. Classic harassment shenanigans. Got to get any kills. That's the question for me. Yeah, he gets a drone. He gets two drones. He gets three drones. And that's it. So, I don't know. Three drones for a zealot is actually pretty fantastic. Good job there by motive. Making it happen. Dave C., are you doing NFL news in chat? Are you making that up, dude? What's up, Alexander Velasquez? Happy Sunday, sir. All right, look. So, Queen's on three bases. Queen's got some lings out. He's like, how much zealot pressure is there? I have an overlord parked to see how many zealots there are. They're not moving out. So these lings are not going to be able to get through here. Let's not overmake lings. Let's not commit to this too hard. It's just not, it's defensive, right? Dave C says we're doing news. Fine. I'll Google it. Mac Jones. Sources. Patriots to trade QB Mac Jones to the Jaguars. Details from ESPN. Involve. They're discussing a sixth round pick. A sixth round pick for Mac Jones is not good, I guess. Oh, he was born in Jacksonville, and he'll back up Trevor Lawrence. Dang, son. Oh, how Mac Jones has fallen. That's, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure Simmons is happy about that. He was really displeased with Mac Jones' play this season. Extremely mad, but it got him a better draft pick, so hey. So hey. Alright, 77 likes. So far, so good, everyone. This is Motive, and this is Queen Dude, right? This is excellent, excellent stuff. Stargate on the way. Three base in Zerg, though. Can't be too mad at this opening. Hydra Den, no lair. Hydra Pressure is in the future here. Cannons, Zealous with Speed are going to be the answer to this. Maybe don't go crazy on the Corsair count if your enemy has, you know, 27 Hydralisks. I suppose. Yeah, you're not wrong about that, Dave C. I don't know. I just felt like Mac Jones's was it his second season, is actually pretty good. Right? And then he regressed. Like, bad. Bad regress. But hey, I mean, if this means that the Pats end up getting an amazing quarterback in the draft, Mac Jones, terrible season, whatevs. Like, thanks for the terrible season, dude. It's better than a mediocre season. Honestly, let me tell you this. As a fan of the Jazz... It's better every once in a while to have a terrible season that gets you a generational talent than to be mediocre every freaking year and never get a generational talent in the draft, right? Right. I'd say that's a fair thing. Bunch of lings out, bunch of Hydras pushing in. Corsair's like, how many Hydras are there? A million more cannons. Citadel here. Zealots don't have speed. Denying this plus one attack upgrade would be sick. I don't like these lings attacking in range of those cannons at all. What are you guys doing? And they're buffering for the hiders a little bit. You have to keep this overlord alive because there could be DTs coming out. You don't know. At all. I know. Queen won two ASLs in 2020. He's a monster. For him to not qualify for an ASL is extremely concerning. But hey... You know, sometimes players, they wane, they ebb, they come back eventually. Dude, sniping that forge would be sick. The hiders have the range upgrade. There you go. How is this guy not in range of that forge? 
He's at the same latitude as this Hydralisk. He has to move up like an... And then now he's in cannon range. What the heck? Look at him. I'm trying to sneak these guys up. This upgrade fit... He's going to send the Zealots out to save this upgrade. It's too close for it to die now. Yep, sending the Zealots out just to buy a little bit of time here. Get it. Get the up... No, upgrade finished. Bonk. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Kyle! Thanks for the $20 super chat, man. Incredibly generous. Thanks for the dono Artosis Rage Fund. <laughs> That's good. You put a quarter in the Artosis Rage Fund every time he rages. We'll be rich in no time. So Forge dies, but the upgrade is complete, so no big deal here. The upgrade was what really mattered there. Speed's almost done. Now speed is done, and now we can chase these hiders off our front porch, right? Is it time to go, Motive? Time to send these zealots out? Oh, some of you guys are very injured. Maybe you don't feel confident moving out of here, out of the range of those cannons. Corsair hunting. Almost dead. Has no kills. It's tough out there for a single Corsair in a world of infinite hydralisks, I think is the general conceit here. Storm's on the way for motive, lurker, aspect, and a spire coming in. The scout, scout the spire? Where is the spire? Yeah, he scouted the spire. That Corsair was over there. Definitely saw it. And there we go. Zealots are chasing hydras across the map. Like they stole something. There's Mike the Mutalisk. Thanks again, Kyle. Awesome super chat, dude. Way to get this thing started. Yep, Storm. Overlord speed. More and more gateways doing all sorts of gateway things. Zealots jumping in here, but enough Hydras, no Link support, no Sunkins at all, just enough Hydra to do it. Lurker Eggs, gonna make that harder to do that next time, I'm afraid. Hmm. Gallons, what's up Gallons? Thanks for promoting the Discord server. Yeah, come join the Discord server, man. <laughs> Falcons live 12 to 15 years. Millennial Falcons. Nice. Good fact, Sean. How's it going, dude? Oh, mating pair of Falcons on the roof of your apartment building for a few years, Dave. That's very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Yeah, man. Falcons are cool. I think they're the fastest, fastest animal on Earth. They can reach speeds of 200 plus miles an hour when they're diving to catch prey. I was impressed by that stat back when I was a young lad. Ernestus joined the Discord server. What's up, Ernestus? Yeah, more people joining the Discord server is good. Storm is done! Hydra's learned that the hard way. Hydra Corpse is melting into the ground. What are Hydra Corpses made out of, man? Something. Queen's Nest on the way from Queen. Look, I have cast games where Queen's Nest or Queen has not gotten a Queen's Nest. But not many of them. He has to make Queen's Nest. It's in his name. I mean, he used to be Zero. Oh, it's Hurakami. Hey, nice. Welcome. Cool. Hurakami joined the Discord server. Very cool stuff. Okay, 186 miles an hour, not 200 miles an hour. There was a book, a children's book about animals that I read when I was a lad that said it was over 200 miles an hour, but maybe it lied to me. A lot of the stuff that I learned as a young lad appears to be untrue. Just the nature of, the nature of information, I think. How that works. What's up, Vincent? Yeah, I don't know, RJB. If that, yeah, kilometers versus miles. True, 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 true facts. Alright, what did Toy Cop always say? Critter says this too. 
Coming up a ramp that's defended by Lurkers and Sunkins and Hiders, as Protoss is impossible. So let's see if Motive can bust this. If he can, he's in a great place to win. If he can't, he's a dead nerd. Lurkers are dying. That's a good first step here, but there are like five more Lurkers to deal with. Okay, never mind. Three more Lurkers to deal with. And Sunkins and Hiders messing with you along this left side. Coming down the ramp out of the range of the Sunkins and the Lurkers is not ideal stuff here at all either. Yeah, Google says Falcon 240 miles an hour. That's what we're talking about. That's what that's what young Falcon remembers. Falcon Pun. Chad Terran joined the Discord too. What's up, Chad Terran? Welcome to the Discord server. Cool stuff, man. People I know joining the Discord server is nice. More Lurkers replacing the dead ones. Sunken got sniped, but enough Lurkers are here to make Motive fall back. Bit of a Zealot attack here with some Dragoon support here at the third base, but enough Zerg to make that happen. Fourth base coming in uh, left side here for Motive. Adrenal's on the way at 13 minutes. That is the benefit of the fast Queen's Nest. Always, always is. <clears throat> the Filer round coming in here too, which may be more important than Adrenal in this matchup. One fifty seven to one thirty six supply. Wings trying to bust in here, but that's why you leave make some cannons first, make some zealots first, and then expand. Maybe a High Templar or two would not be too bad to add to that mix. Absolutely. Love this doodad, by the way. Just quick distraction. One of my favorites. Very cool looking ship. Maybe Zeratul's ship. Kind of looks like it from the StarCraft II campaign. Yeah, Critter... I don't think you're wrong about that. Not a lot of places to expand on Neo Dark Origin. This looks like a blender, just missing the top part of the blender. It's probably the inspiration on that. Dude, Motive was trying to expand down here. That's a little gutsy, I guess. All right, Consumes on the way. Ventral Sacks getting researched here. Might see some beautiful drops. Adrenal is done, but guess what these links have? 1-1 one, one upgrades. Okay. 1-1 one, one Adrenal at 15 minutes is nothing to shake a stick at. How many storms are there? Enough. Turns out there are enough storms to save this little group of motives. Okay, and aggressive expanding again. Motive down this left side. Top right base taken, but if this map just gets split in half, that favors the Protoss. Queen knows this. He can't just be happy with this base. He needs to kill this or end the game soon because half economy, having even economy against a Protoss player in a longer game is just death. It's a death sentence. Dark Archon on the way, big fan. Big fan of the Dark Archon. Yeah, I do like the Carbot skin, Suga, but I think we're in the minority for the people that watch my channel. Carbot videos don't get nearly as many views as non-Carbots, unfortunately. Anyway, surround good. Storm also good. Zealot Archon against Ling also good. Nice snipe on that Dark Archon, unfortunately. Maelstrom was on the way, too. Motive's like, dang it. I was going to Maelstrom these, I don't know, Hydras, I guess. That would have been very cool. Maybe some of these lurkers getting maelstrom would be nice. Is this a drop attempt? Nope. It's an overlord. Yeah. Queen needs to accomplish something here. I don't... I mean, it's... Kill this base. Kill I base somewhere. But if he doesn't, he's on a clock right now. Catching some transferring probes is nice. There we go. Probes again. Wrong place, wrong time. Second time today. We've had a game with probes just transferring into an active war zone, into Hydroling and getting absolutely murderized. So at this point, all Motive really has to do is defend his bases, which against Hydro Lurker is not that hard. You've got Storm, 
if you've got zealots, if you've got cannons. I mean, there is no storm at this base anymore, but I assume Motive will transfer some down there at some point. That would be nice. Another Dark Archon, because we researched Maelstrom, we might as well make another Dark Archon. Yeah, I think Motive has this game. Unless we get some sick plagues, some really, really nice Dark Swarms, and Protoss bases start dying. Plague! Sick plague, good catch. Nicely done there by Queen. Can't argue with that at all. 53 to 61 workers. Again, nice you have 61 workers, Queen. Hats off for that, but at the end of the day, can't split the map in half. Really nice plague, though. This is tricky. This is really tricky stuff. Random Hydra's getting caught out, and some of them escaped. Drops would be good. Queen did research ventral sacks, right? He finished that. He didn't cancel it, did he? Reaver's on the way for motive. He knows. He knows. Like, a Reaver High Templar Cannon Zealot set up for a base is so hard for Zerg to crack. It's not even funny. It sure. Does it require a lot of Tier 3 stuff? Yes. Is it insanely good? Yes. But Storm... Yeah, one drone died. But going forward, I'm not going to complain about that. Yep, Ling's... Oh, the drop! Here comes the drop. Where are the High Templar? There are no High Templar! Beautiful Dark Swarm. This base is now forfeit. Beautiful. Beautiful play, man. Oh, okay. Reavers might be able to save this Nexus. It is taking direct hits from Cracklings, but 150 HP on that Nexus. It is saved. Not sure what those Scourge are going for. Maybe the Shuttle. Maybe the OBS. I don't know. That was big. That was almost a dead base. That's exactly what Queen needed. He couldn't quite pull it off, though. Didn't quite bring enough with him. The Reavers were clutch defending that base. Yeah, I think Motive might have this. The longer the game goes on, the worse this is for Queen. He wasn't able to take down uh, able to take down this base. He's on even footing. I keep talking about this, but it really is what matters right now. The fact that there are Reavers helps a lot, too. And by Reavers, I mean two Reavers, which is even better than one Reaver. Yeah, you got the Reaver, you got the Storm, you got all the pieces to the puzzle here. Queen's going to try to engage middle of the map. Nice play. That'll help. Feedback on the Defiler, though. All right, all right. Dark Archon in the mix. Another Plague. Ooh, did catch the Reaver. That's always very important to Plague Reavers. Maybe the most important unit in the game to Plague. Oh, hey, what's up, me or Cobalt? Welcome back to the StarCraft. It's been a long time. Hey, StarCraft is always here for you, man. Bit of a lurker counterattack. Just kind of setting up between the third and the second bases here as Queen. He's just trying to be annoying more than anything else here. Reavers and cannons. Plague catching the shuttle, not catching the Reaver. The shuttle dies, which makes this a very vulnerable Reaver, but standing in here behind... Yeah, yeah. Standing here behind is okay. DTs coming into the mix. Nice snipe on that Defiler with the DTs. Overlord's providing detection against those Dark Templar, though. Yeah, this Reaver sitting back here and just sending Scarabs into the fray. Not happening, man. Ling sniping a High Templar. Nicely done. That's what you're here for. Two, three upgrades on those Cracklings, too. Dark Archon, one kill. That's a Defiler with the Plague, but... This is just not, this is not Queen's game. Not even close Queen's game. What's up, Nintendo? Yeah, plagues are good, but 57 probes split the map in half. Queen, this feels like a last ditch effort here. They get a Reaver though. Reaver down, High Templar joining this party, storming in here, good. Where are the Reavers, though? Where are the more High Templar, though? Dark Swarm, Lurkers, getting some work done. This base actually might go down. All right, man. Queen, last gasp, ditch effort. Might have pulled it off, but four Reavers show up. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Ugh, did he save this? Oh my gosh. What's up, Dark Soldier? He saves the Nexus again. Another Dark Swarm attack here. Bottom left. This Nexus is very vulnerable and it's going to get targeted and it does go down. The Reavers show up again to try to save the day and they do. It's 178 to 123 supply. Queen is way, way, way up. A bunch of probes died in both of these attacks. This Nexus is not getting replaced. This Nexus is not getting replaced. Motive has the ability to replace one of them. That's a, is that another feedback? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's just what Queen needed to do, everyone. And he pulled... Oh, look at this lurker behind this mineral line, too. That had to have been dropped back here. Yep, drops alert. Okay, this was a big deal, too. These lurker drops getting tons of probe kills. 25 probes remaining, and Queen has pulled this off. GG, man. What a comeback. That was tricky. That was a very, very tricky win for Queen. He was even base count. The enemy had Reavers. The enemy had Archons and High Templar and all sorts of great stuff. But Queen was like, no. I will not go quietly into that good night. I will eventually take down this Nexus after the second try. Get this one and just do drops. Dropping lurkers in weird places. Killing probes. Probe death was way too high for Motive to keep up in this game. And that's a GG. Well done. That was fantastic. What a GG there from Queen getting that win. It's pretty good for a noob. Not wrong, Critter. End of the day. Getting out produced by 7 to 2 is not a great start. Your kill death ratio, not enough to keep up with that motive. 32 to 1 buildings raised. That was that one sunken that died for Queen and resources outspending by about 5,000 resources in 23 minutes. Good. Good enough, I'll always say. All right. We've got another little replay here between Light and Mini that RJB sent in during the stream. Incredible stuff. RJB replay number two. It's on Heartbreak Ridge, which makes it an older one. Generally. Right? Right. We got Royal, Snow, Mind, and JYJ watching. Hold on. No, 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 no. If this is Royal... Yeah, man. Royal's name is new. Relatively new. This is not an older replay. This has got to be a relatively recent one. So... Left side, it's Light. We like Light a lot. Maybe the best Terran player in the world right now. And right side, it's Mini. Possibly the best Protoss player in the world right now. Entirely possibly. Oh, Heartbreak Ridge got back into the map pool in 2023. What a throwback. Holy cow. Super, super, super throwback here. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the PayPal donation from Terrace. Nice. I'm just uh, falconpaladin at gmail.com on PayPal if you'd like to donate out there. Terrace with a dono about 45 minutes ago. Sometimes that shows up on stream. Sometimes it doesn't. But if you're still watching, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. I should look at my notifications a little bit, a little bit more often probably. All right, back to the game. What are we doing? Are there proxies? No. Is there cannon rushing? No. Ooh, a destination resurrection from uh, StarCraft would be cool. Yeah, and they're just obsing. You'll notice that they have nothing, which means they're obsing. Snow, 67 APM obsing, which is more than some players play at. True, true. Okay, gas steal means aggression. Right, as a Terran player, your gas gets stolen. It means there will be zealots showing up. <laughs> and the Protoss doesn't want you to get vultures out at all. Ever. So, uh, yep. We're going to make a zealot here in this gateway. Maybe more and more zealots. What is this? Sneaking a second barracks over here. Sim sitting well, right? You want to set your marines in between... Or behind, because the fat zealots can't get through these gaps, and your marines can. Mini uh, light, rather, is setting this up pretty well. This probe harass for mini is super good, too. If you like mini, I just posted a mini cheese comp on Saturday. That doesn't mean it's small. It's an hour and a half long. It includes players like Jadong and Barracks and who else is in there? 
I think Soma and Soul Key are in there too. Anyway, it's a lot of cheese. Every game features mini. It was an RJB special that was cooked up by us last week. And uh, check it out if you like mini and you like cheese, which you probably do. Yeah, and it's tough to see, but the option is red versus red. So uh, we got to do this, man. Ooh, Psychonauts missed the mini cheese comp. What the heck? Dark Soldier watched it. That's good. Ah, yeah, see Psychonauts. I was worried about that. By calling it a mini cheese comp, people would think it was like three games. But then it's an hour and a half long, so... Anyway, maybe I should rename it. People maybe are confused about what it is. All right, so the Zealot Pressure doesn't really do anything. Light's on the counterattack, bringing some SCVs and some Marines on the fly here. He's like, you know what? Fine. You don't want me to have gas? I won't have gas. I'll come attack you with SCVs and unupgraded Marines, and I won't make a factory. How's that sound? And the Zealots are like, that sounds great. We are Zealots. We are tough. We can handle this Terran garbage. Ooh, a shield battery behind it, though. And throwing up a bunker on top of it, too. This is tough. Eat. This is tight. Ooh, yeah, Dark Soldier enjoys the cheese comp for sure. Bunker, not up. Shield battery, up. Dragoon Zealot. Urgh, SCV's body blocking so well for these Marines. Marines are dying regardless, though. Bunker gets up. Now the goal is to not let any of these Marines inside that bunker, but there's only one Dragoon and a Zealot. Shield battery coming in clutch. Keeping that Zealot alive just for a minute more. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff, man. Marines do get inside the bunker. Well, they don't, but they could get inside the bunker. It's available to them. Oh yeah, if this gateway gets depowered, there's another gateway back here, but if this gateway gets depowered, which it will. There's no defending it here. Yeah, I think Zealots might have been a better option here rather than Dragoons. Just like so many hits from a Dragoon to kill an SCV. Deep powered the shield battery. Deep powered mm, that gateway. I love this from Light, man. He's like, nah, 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 nah. You don't steal my gas. You don't steal my gas. Max cheese compilation by Mini. Yeah, maybe that's the new name, Suga. Probes fighting in here. Look at this cheeky attempt at a bunker. This marine count is intimidating from light. They don't have any upgrades because they're... Well, there's gas back home now, but... Oh my gosh. Hang on. Probes are doing a pretty good job here. Bunker doesn't come up. That We went from like eight marines to one... Did Mini just hold this? Where did all these Dragoons come from? He only has one gateway. Okay, he repowered this one. <gasps> Mini clutched it out. He defended. He's actually doing okay. I thought he was dead. It's still 15 probes. Yes, some probes died there to that Marine stuff, but uh, that was intense. 87 likes. Hit that like button if you haven't already. All right, all right, all right. More factory, or more factory. Single factory coming in, trying to get a bunker up to defend against the incoming Dragoons. They will not have range. They might actually have range. What is Mini doing? Mini checking to see there's not a third base. Is he sneaking? <gasps> this version of Heartbreak Ridge doesn't have the minerals you have to mine to get through this back door. I mean, that bunker is empty, so I don't... Oh, but you can high ground up here. Goons do have range, says Toy Cop. Oh my gosh, they outrange the bunker. They're going after... They're going after it. They're going after that barracks. Must defend bunker from seven dragoons. That's a lot of SCVs. Machine shop is up. Siege mode on the way, but Mini's just like, mm, what if? What if we just get in here, snipe all the SCVs that are trying to repair this bunker, sneak past the bunker? No. 
Oh, deep inside the base. I think that's your GG. Wow. Aggression for Mini gets countered by Light, and then the counter counter looks like it's, yep, GG. Light taps out, Mini gets the win. That was fun. That was really, really fun. Thanks for the little ancillary replay sent in here today by RJB, but that was, man. What a back and forth. That would have been really good for the next cheese comp, but glad we got it today. GG, man. GG, Dragoon's good. Woo! Getting out produced by Light, but out killing him by about a two to one margin is gonna win a lot of games. Yeah, man. Repowering that gateway was huge. The one that was in the natural. That was really big. Okay, time for some Nibbler WK Cross stuff, all right? All right, let's go Nibbler in a 3v3 fastest map. Nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. My phone's doing this thing where it doesn't notify me of emails that I get to my personal account. But it does notify me of emails that I get to my Falcon Paladin account. I need to figure out what the problem is here. Anyway. All right, man, 3v3 fastest map, first fastest map of the day. Uh, nope, not left versus right, unfortunately, but left side gonna be a Brown Protoss, it is JPYYC. His teammate is Nibbler, top right, Orange Zerg as always, and that's you. That's your welcome, is a Protoss player. Team two is gonna be DLCGS12. We've got another Zerg, DXXD, and finally another Zerg player, Howard Howe. So two Zergs and a Terran versus two Protoss and a Terran. Just matchup composition-wise, I think Nibbler has an advantage here. Two Pro Protoss and a Zerg seem like a better team comp than two Zerg and a Terran, especially early, if there is some of that aggression. Ugh. Stretch, 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 stretch. Suga should make an Artosis cheese comp with chat messages is included. Not wrong. That an Artosis cheese compilation would be very interesting. I do have some Artosis games in some of the cheese comps that I posted in the past. Very fun stuff. Yep, ancillary is a good vocabulary word. I like it. Okay. Uh, it looks well. Oh, okay, Howard going for the uh, drone rush proxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to try to sunken rush Nibbler. Nibbler's like, ah, so this is bad. I'm going to pull my drones off. We're going to fight. Fight, 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 fight. Sunkens are coming up. It's hard to tell who Sunkens are whose, but some of these are Howard's. Oh, my gosh. Nibbler, are you a dead nerd? Okay, cancels that one. This sunken is... Oh, nope. Nope, that's an evac. You have enough money to... He has enough money to rebuild somewhere because his homeland is dead. That was very aggressive. Howard has nothing behind it, mind you. He is making some lings. He's got five drones, which means that maybe DL, yeah. DLCGS going to go defend him a little bit. Nibbler's like, well, what if I do this? Wow, he's not relocating. What's up, monster? He's... Wow, now there's Ling's out. Okay, so Nibbler is in a tough position here at two minutes. He's got enough money to make two hatches somewhere, but he also needs to be defended. So whether do we want to try to set up in a teammate's base or try to take 12 o'clock and hope nobody notices, that is an option too. Yeah, Nomad Zerg. Nomad land. Okay, he's going 12 o'clock and hoping that nobody notices or that his teammates can defend him. Right, right. Yeah, these four sunkens, maybe overkill for Howard. He probably could have canceled a couple of them. Honestly, that one sunken getting up was probably enough. I think he probably could have canceled these ones and been just fine. DLCGS is throwing up bunkers at his teammates' base to help defend him against the incoming zealots of... JPYYC. Uh, Lings of DXXD are here too, though. And uh, it would have been better if they'd been here with the Sunken. They were a little bit late to the party. But Marine Zealot. Yeah, Marines versus Zealots. The hatch getting focused by Zealots here too.
All right, main hatch goes down. That's not working. Uh, and he barely, barely has enough money to replant that hatch. Might have to kill his own creep colony to do it, though. Nibbler says 12. I'm at 12. Is he just announcing where he is? All right, so Howard decides to hatch over here on the left side instead of getting rid of that creep colony. Fine, fair enough, I guess. So Nibbler's alive, Howard is dead, but he's coming back to life. So sure, we've evened it out, right? Oh, nice. That's why W, that's your welcome, is canning up the front to keep Nibbler alive for just a minute at least. Would be nice, would be nice. Many, many hatcheries here from DXXD is at 25 drones, which is more workers than anybody else has in this game at five minutes. It seems like it's been a longer game than five minutes, but uh, definitely is. Definitely five minutes. Snibbler says we got to focus on seven. So that would be DXXD, who knows how to use SimCity correctly. He's got the Sunkins behind the hatcheries. got the spawning pool protected, too. Zealots from JP YYCR doing what they do, which is hang out, I guess, but also being aggressive is better. Yeah, DLC Edge S making sure that Howard uh, doesn't die all the way is also bunkering up his own front door for now. Hmm. Surprisingly passive, this stage of the game. Yeah, I'd like to see these zealots moving out somewhere. Just like putting some fear of Protoss into somebody would be nice. So Howard Howe's back on the board. He's got five workers. Nibbler's at nine. Everybody else is closer to 20. DXXD really macroing up with all these extra hatches. Double Hydra Den coming in. He knows what he's doing. He's going to have a lot of hiders with 1-1 one, one here pretty soon. And that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for people to deal with. Maybe less this, especially if there are a couple tanks behind this uh, choke for sure against those hiders. Nibbler's throwing up additional hatches. Is he finally making a pool? No, he says. He says, no, who needs a spawning pool? Not me. That's for sure. All right. Uh, pushing in to kill Howard. I need to step away. Oh, I can't step away now, though, can I? Nope. All right, I'll try to find a slower time to do it because DLCJS is moving out with his Marines. The Hydras of DXXD are moving out here, too. The Bunker's keeping Howard alive. As is tradition, and a very fast Robo Bay from That's Your Welcome. He's going to try to Reaver drop some fools. Which is always good in the fastest maps. Yeah, man. Dragoons fighting against Hydras and Marines with Medics. Not as good. Ooh, Medics healing Hydra is always fun. Make these Hydras like 30% better than they normally would be, dude. Yo. All right. So Hydras are out. Holding center. And I'll be right back. Give me a second.
Okay. Looks like I didn't miss much unless there was a drop of some kind. But based on worker counts, probably not. There is this pressure on that's your welcome, though. Hydras and Siege Tanks are a pretty potent combination here as well. A lot of Hydras are dying, kind of running into these cannons. I kind of prefer they sat back a little bit, but... Oh, the storm is so good against this, too. Showing up here, JP, YYC. Nibbler's got overlords in helpful positions to see things like DTs and whatnot, so that's nice. He is working on... Ooh, a double spire, queen's nest, pneumatized carapace play. So he'll show up here eventually. Maybe with a million mutos for a mutabomb of some kind. Yeah, monster's just now noticing the compositions, and yep. They are tough. Yeah, I mean, traditional 1-1 Mass Hydra here from DXX. Deep, nothing. Nothing too weird about that, folks. Never has been. Never will be. Yeah, Hydra's just crushing these Dragoons. Dragoon upgrades are 1-1. So, I mean, they're keeping pace. They're just hugely outnumbered by these Hydralisks. Not ideal. Siege tanks and marines continuing to join the party here from DLCDS. I just, once, we always say this, once Storm is out, maybe stop making marines. Maybe these should be goliaths or dragoons instead. Muta's on the way from Nibbler. Doesn't quite have enough to, like, super Muta bomb here, but he's up to 56 drones. Nice comeback here for our guy Nibble Nibble at the 12 o'clock. Overlord's continuing to go around. Get vision up. Lurkers are out from DXXD. Once again, Lurkers will do friendly fire splash. Watch out for that in your team games. As always. Yeah, man. Siege tanks supporting lurkers also pretty good. I mean, these are some nice little uh, duo combos getting set up here by the enemy team. Okay. Muta's gathering. Howard sees it, though. Good overlord positioning, but uh, what's in these bunkers? Two of the bunkers have marines in them. The other ones do not. So Nibbler's just going to kind of wander in here and uh, completely shut down all mining from Howard. He is up to 55 drones, but less than that now. Just kind of park his mutas here. Yeah, BJ. Six to seven minutes. That's this map. Sniping down the spawning pool would be nice. Howard retreating his drones down to the safety of DLCGS's base. Gotta do what you can sometimes. Yeah, I, that is not enough Marines to chase these mutas out. But Nibbler's like, I don't have any upgrades yet, so maybe let's just get out of here. Yeah, he does end up getting the pool here, too. Once again, these Marines... No storms means they're moderately viable, but not incredibly so. Siege Tang's getting some serious work in here. Nibbler, Muta diving. Diving on these tanks. There we go. Not enough Hydras to stop that from happening. Hydras are at two attack, but horribly outnumbered. All right. So Nibbler is officially participating now. He killed Howard. He's up here sniping tanks, killing lurkers. Muta's good units in certain situations. Not as good in other situations. Nice lurker hydra drop, though. Taking that's your welcome down to the Stone Age. Four probes remaining. Main Nexus gets sniped. Reavers dying to lurkers is never ideal. That is a reaver dying to lurkers, friend. The other guy manages to survive, but it's four probes remaining for that's your welcome. Muta's continue to not have the best upgrades of all time. That's okay. They're working on them. They're almost at 1-1. We'll get there eventually. Just 
kind of trickling hydras in here is not it, I'm afraid. Yeah, maybe don't attack into a concave of hydralisks. I think that would be something we don't want to do. Howard decides to expand to the south, where DXXD has a hatchery for some reason. Nibbler at 69 drones. He's just muta producing right now. I really don't see any indication he's going for anything else. And honestly, so far, so good. Right, Mewtwo is in conjunction with stuff. It's going to do fine against these Hydras. I mean, you're fighting Hydras right now. They can hit back. So sometimes you can attack stuff that can hit back. Just don't make a habit of it, I guess, is the idea. But yeah, 1-1 one, one done for these guys. 2-2 two, two would be a nice start, considering there's 7,000 minerals and 2,800 gas here in the bank. But Micro and Mewtwo is a pretty intensive... Yeah, I'm trying to keep all your guys together is a pretty intensive setup. Yeah, that's why W's got to rebuild his economy from absolute scratch here. He's got one Nexus to do it, too. It's going to take some time. And once again, fighting against Hydralists with can attack back, but horribly outnumbering them and wiping out a ton of Overlords of DXXD. Is there enough Mutas just to win here? There might be... Nibbler decides to try to go for the bomb. I don't know about this. I do not know about this. This is a lot of Hydras. That Hive has a lot of HP, but the Muta count is ample, and he's gonna get it. Nope, not gonna get it. Tried so hard, got so far. That is a 200 HP ha uh, Hive now. Not ideal. Finally switching in to the Goliaths instead of the Marines from DLCGS. That's good. Goliaths stand a lot better against Ragoons than Marines do, especially with the Siege Tanks. Howard trying to just get back on his feet here, but that's your welcome is fairly dead too. I mean, sure, he's got High Templar, he's got Reavers. He's got Shuttles with Reavers. So, I mean, he's not as dead as Howard is, that's for sure. JPYYC just kind of wandering. What the heck is this move command? Just wanders in amongst the tanks and the Goliaths, and I guess it. Okay, gave an opening. Gave an opening for the other stuff here. That's. Wow. Nibbler, 150 supply. JPYC, 184 supply. Turret count high. Turrets are not going to help against these Dragoons, though. Yeah, this might be worth Muta bombing. Maybe just get past the line of turrets and smash it. Ah, oh, good storm. Good storm on Howard. Howard, he was trying to mine from this base. He's trying to like have three separate places he's mining from. This isn't actually happening, but it could. Not coming back to the hive, the Mutas. Howard does have a bunch of zero zero Hydras out. Nibbler getting that greater spire. Just gonna snipe overlords for now. Yeah, so DLCGS is just dead. DXXD is doing okay, but he's only at 130 supply. Howard's at 71 supply with a bunch of stuff. Can they save their Terran teammate is the question. Mutos. That plus two attacks on the way. That plus one carapace is on the way. The greater spire is done. So if Nibbler wants to fire up about 12 guardians here. Or just brute force the bunker anyway. That might be totally fine too. Yeah, DLC I just leaves the game. Too much Protoss in his base. Could have been saved, I think. 2-2 two -two Hydra is going to trade pretty well here against these 2-1-2 two -two gateway units, but maybe not enough Hydras to save the day. Howard comes back to try to deal with these Mutas. He's down to 10 drones. Not really mining from this position at all. Probably should have been. Rather than trying to build over here at his original home. Maybe not the greatest of ideas. Ah, live for the swarm. Thanks for subscribing. Bunk resubscribing with Prime for four months. Asking, is there any BGH today? 
Nobody has sent in any BGH games today, unfortunately. So probably not. What's up, Gordon? Alright. Yep. So Howard's dead. DLC Edge is dead. And DXXD taps out. And that is a nice 1 1 mass muta play from Nibbler after being dead. Coming back. Getting resurrected. And looking good. Uh, so GG. Very, very well done. End of the day there. Nibbler. Let's see. Up there with everybody else. Killing about 200 units or so. And then resources. DXXD. Most resources. But his teammates really struggling. Howard struggling. DLC at yes, struggling. And let's go to the WK Cross replay of the day. Oh, got a kitty snipe. There's Bell. Screecher, screecher, screecher. Alright. WK Cross replay. Let's check him out. He's on Twitch. He's on YouTube. And he's an amazing, amazing player. So let's check it out. Nibbler's here too. He's also an amazing player. Team one, not a left side versus right side scenario. It's True Self, who's a Terran. We've got uh, Jayons, a Zerg player, and then Rust, who is a Terran player. Team 2, represented by That's Your Welcome, who's a Protoss. Hey, he's back. Nibbler's here. Orin Zerging, as usual. And then a Protoss named Habidake. I don't see anybody spamming 600 APM, but I th think WK Cross is Rust. He was Rust in a game last week or the week before, right? Either way, Nibbler is on a team that does not involve Rust, and I'm, yeah, 370 APM has got to be WK Cross here. Looks like Cross is on vacation, but we'll be back streaming Monday and Tuesday this month, he says. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he'll be back soon, but either way, check him out, man. He streams. He, mul he multi-streams like I do. It's good stuff. Step away for just a second. Got to look at one thing. Okay, we back, we back, we back, we back. Anything crazy happening here? No. Looks like we're just going to open Marines here from WK Cross. He likes that. A little bit of harassment here from True Self against Nibbler. He did lose a drone, which sucks, but it's fine. We've got a no bueno from WK Cross, intriguingly. Little marine pressure here from WK Cross. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have a sunken yet. He's working on it. The lings are out though, and unupgraded marines are not good against unupgraded zerglings in smaller numbers for sure. So sunken's up, generally safe here. Cannoning is that's your welcome. Maybe trying to contain WK Cross, to keep him from being able to do this stuff. His marine does get sniped. Habideke is actually cannoning in true self as well. Big zealot attack into Jayons, who doesn't have good Sin City, but does have sunken production. Ah, the zealots didn't attack the sunkens when they were coming up, and as a result, he does get cleaned up. The aggression here from That's Your Welcome, not quite doing it. Drone count gets obliterated for Jayons, though. He's down to one drone. And there are still zealots in his face, so that's not good. Not good, not good at all. Marines, medics. But there is a factory and there is siege mode on the way, so he knows. He knows he can't just go marine medic forever. Robotic support bay on the way from Habidake. So we're going to get Reavers out against Marines. They're insanely good. Okay, 
Okay, Nibbler doing his double hider den thing as you want to do. Generally. Yeah, hard to contain a Terran player when they have Siege Tanks. And that's exactly what WK Cross is showing us here. Ah, oh, True Self is also going Marine Medic Fire Bat. There's a DT, though. Who's got scans? Somebody had scans, and DT is wiped out. Whoa, 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 wipe out! Uh-oh. A big combination Marine Medic Fire Bat Siege Tank attack here from True Self and WK Cross is moving into Nibbler. Nibbler's not quite ready for that. These cannons defending from Habidake are nice, but they're gone now. And desperation sunken time from Nibbler. He kind of skimped on that stuff. And uh, Nibbler, dude, getting double teamed by Terran. This stage of the game, Sunkens are coming up. They're trying desperately to help here. But, oh, Siege Tanks targeting the drone count. Nibbler down to 28 workers. Could have been worse for sure. Zealots joining the party here from True Self, trying to save the day. They're going to help a lot. The Sunkens combined with the defensive Zealots might be able to save the day here. There's a DT in the mix from Habidake 2. Did we bring detection with us, Terrans? That's a question we need to ask. Wow. And then the Hydra's pop from Nibbler 2, and that was tight. That was a really, really tight hold. Really, I mean, crazy impressive hold there. I would feel very impressed with myself if I was Nibbler in that position. I mean, you got some help, certainly. That's your welcome is here too, by the way. So got help from his teammates. It exactly should happen in these team games. But uh, like totally, totally staying alive against a WK cross plus another player attack on you at that stage. Hmm. Hmm. That was good. That was really, really good. And yeah, Nibbler kind of skimping on those sunkens. It worked out in the end, but that could have ended pretty disastrously. WK Cross is making all sorts of things. Science facilities and engineering bays and dropships and upgrades and supply depots. And he's playing at 340 APM, so of course his production tab looks very busy. As it do... All right, DT's moving out from That's Your Welcome. It's a lot of DTs. DTs and Zealots from this guy. Also throwing cannons down to the south. But will shove away a tank drop of WK Crosses, so... Worth. Definitely worth. Storm drops! And Jayons is down to seven drones. Nice little storm drop there from Habidake. Who also has Reaver Tech available. If he wants to Reaver drop somebody, that's a thing too. Ah, it's the Siege Tank Across the Wall strategy, which Nibbler is dealing with. At least he's not letting any tanks show up on his side of the wall. Wonderful stuff. Habidake going for a drop on WK Cross. Gutsy, gutsy stuff here. WK Cross at 62 SCVs. Thanks for the follow. Shadow Phoenix 92. And the Storms are okay. Still 59 SCVs remaining. My Templar had another storm. Oh, if he'd waited, I think he could have got some more of these SCVs as they were on their way back. But sometimes you can't wait. Sometimes your High Templar are going to die. Nibbler goes for a nice little drop. Doesn't go super well. I mean, Marines, Bunkers, and Siege Tanks are pretty good against Hydras and Lurkers. Are you really just going to walk in this front door with a bunch of Zealots and DTs? Like, I appreciate the hoot spa here. That's, you're welcome, but... You're not getting through that wall. Maybe with a ton of Dragoons, sure. The DTs are all dying. It's like, I don't know. Oh, the Irradiate on Nibbler! Oh, that last one was brutal. Knocks him down to 49 drones. Could be so much worse. Also, True Self has dropped Zealots inside Nibbler's base, causing all sorts of havoc. Two Terrans bracketing Nibbler. 
He just evacs the base. He's like, I'm going to expand down here. Screw this location. Right next to WK Cross and another Terran player on the other side with Siege Tanks. No way. Fair enough, man. Let's expand down here. I'm going to support you with that. Certainly, yes. 139 supply. Number one is WK Cross. Got the Siege Tanks. He handled the Protoss attack. Lost some of his frontline stuff, but he's got more backline stuff. Jayon's joining the party. Helping defend WK Cross a little bit. Very good from him. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten dropped again. He's recovered his economy fairly well up to 39 total workers. But yeah, it looks like Nibbles is just like... Just forget about the main base. Let's not even worry about it. Oh, another tank drop here from WK Cross. Get some serious work there. Worker count from Nibbler is 36. Radiated High Templar goes down, and Cross is like, all right, let's take this guy down. What's up, Jinx? Happy Sunday to you. Another drop attempt on WK Cross. Bunch of stuff dies. Worker count is 98 for WK Cross. Reaver gets in the mix here. Still 93 drones. It might force a liftoff on that command center with the Reaver shots and the Archon shots here. But Reaver more interested in going after the Marines that are responding to all this stuff. Big hit. Reaver goes down. The repair is good. The Archon going after some of these SCVs, but then to finish off by the Marines. Still 66. So about 30 workers died there from WK Cross and all of that carnage. But 67 workers remaining is still pretty good. I love that Nibbler is still kind of trying to defend his base. Hey, Chi Jin, glad you enjoy the stuff. Welcome to the Sunday stream. We're having a great time out here. Die, siege tanks, die. Yeah, I mean, they're putting in some serious effort into keeping Nibbler's base alive, but at this stage... There are no tech structures alive, and I'm pretty sure there's... Okay, losing the hive kind of sucks. Making a new hive has got to happen. Dude, Cross is pushing on Nibbler's new 6 o'clock base as well. That's not good. Glad you're enjoying the replay, uh, Cyrillic character viewer. Ugh, big sneeze. I, man... Yeah, after the stream today, I need to go. I don't know. Take some daytime cold medicine. Go take a nap, maybe. Muta's on the way from Nibbler. He likes the Mutalisks. Once again, that's your welcome. Showing up to help save Nibbler. He's a great teammate. Is this somebody we know, Nibbler? Is that your welcome somebody that we've seen before? Nice Valkyrie setup. Oh, Valkyrie's against the Mutas, too. So, like, a teammate you play with a lot, it just has a new name. Nibbler down to 112 supply, 50 drones. Marines and siege tanks continuing to show up to destroy the Zerg player. We got a Muta Bomb on Jayons, though, completely ruining him. He's like, look, if I can't be alive, then Jayons can't be alive either. No, we'll do live games today, Toy Cop. Yeah, I am sick. I think I caught something from Middle Kid who got it from school because schools are uh, cesspools. Jayons taps out. True Self gets Reaver dropped into next week, though, with 14 SCVs remaining. Armory is getting sniped. This is a ton of Reavers out of Hobby Dake. This is amazing stuff. Upgrades being denied, but not really because it just got started. I'm not actually sure that counts. That's your welcome again. Trying to shut down all this tank stuff as Nibbler is getting scooshed. What's up, Steve? Happy Daylight Savings to you, too. They are, Mad Doctor. They are. Yep, Dark Soldier, you're right. The sickness finally caught up to me. It's not that bad, though. Just a little sniffly. A bit of a sore throat. 
sometimes this kind of symptom can escalate into like super bad stuff, but it doesn't seem to be doing it for me now, which is uh, something I'm very, very grateful for. Mutas, Ragoons, Zealots, is there enough to shut this down for WK Cross? There is enough to shut this down for WK Cross, but Valkyries against the Mutas always problematic as well. What else do we got here? Uh, another push from Master Welcome on True Self, who's at 87 supply and 4 SCVs. And has some tanks, but it's not a lot of them. Can Nibbler assist here? The science vessels are scary. They're using D-Matrix instead of Irradiate, though, so that's good. They oh, yes. Nibbler can help with these siege tanks very, very well. Looks like Nibbler maybe trying to build up here on Jayon's corpse because this is not happening for him either. He is cockroaching as hard as he can. Aw, a single Valkyrie shows up and the Mutos are like, okay, we're dead now. Not ideal. Oh, just kind of dropping Reavers on top of the Siege Tanks though. The Habidake getting some serious work here. Mm, there are two command centers remaining from two self. Not good. Rust, WK Cross trying to help his teammate. Again, Nibbler rebuilding in his third home. His main home is actually still around. But for how much longer? I don't know. WK Cross does save True Self. Because WK Cross is a good teammate in these team games for sure. That's your welcome is moving out. With his 2-2-2 two, two, two Dragoons. Any Zealots? I don't know. But that's a lot of Siege Tanks, man. Maybe don't go in there, dude. Or do go in there and lose all of your Dragoons. That's your welcome is working on mind control and air weapons and air armor. Is he going? He's got a lot of Stargates for what? I don't know. I don't know that I've seen him make anything that flies today, but he's got a fleet beacon. He could transition into carriers here. Pretty. He doesn't have a ton of gas, though. I don't know. That's tough. We'll see if that's your welcome can transition into carriers. It'd be pretty good. Okay, WK Cross trying to drop to the right side here. Nibbler trying to get some kind of income in this location, I guess. Uh, these dropships are all empty. Bummer. So those are the decoy ones, and they're the ones that survived. That's hilarious. Yeah, Dave C, you're right. They got something done. This... Okay, we've stopped getting something done. Maybe a Goliath died there, but that is not good trades. Ah, the Irradiate. True Self is really just keeping an eye on where Nibbler is and just ruining him. Nibbler, to his credit, has not rage quit yet. I feel like a lot of us would have rage quit if we were Nibbler. Habidake is like, I must drop WK cross. Is this even doable? Why is he? Oh, that... Okay, that Valkyrie missile turret combo is nuts. One Reaver unloaded. Which is fine. But that completely got shut down. WK cross, man. Hey, Lola Montero. Hello. Oh, and happy birthday. Glad you're watching some StarCraft on your birthday. That's a good way to celebrate it. Alright, man. Terran, many, many siege tanks. Gonna deal with Reavers. Ooh, a stasis up. Gonna deal with Dragoons. Not as good against Zealots, but if there aren't that many Zealots, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, scanning against the cloaked Reavers. Reavers are dying. They're taking units with them, though. Nibbler. No. Nibbler just spends a lot of the time down in this game. Again, gotta give props for not just leaving, because I feel like a lot of us would have left the game by this point, but he's like, no, I must not let down Habidake. And that's your welcome. They're counting on me to not quit. But Habidake getting pushed a little bit here. <laughs> uh, 
Andreas is back into WoW. Yeah. It does seem to happen every once in a while, doesn't it? Abidake is like, fine. I'll load my Reavers here, go after some Missile Turrets, go after some Supply Depots, kind of some lower priority targets, but Supply Blocking True Self is a decent outcome here. And does he? He might. He does! He Supply Blocks True Self. Nicely done. Okay, Nibbler's attempt at top riding dies. Nibbler's attempt at 6 o'clock looks like it's in a lot of trouble here, too. At least the cannons are buying him a little bit of time. Carriers are out from Habidake. And once again, oh yeah, uh, Arbiter production here from That's Your Welcome. Okay. So a lot of Arbiters for Stasis Carriers. The Siege Tanks might be out of style here pretty soon. Nibbler, 37 drones, mining desperately. He's making lings, you guys. Guys in chat, he's making lings. There's zero, zero lings, and these are three, three tanks, so it's going to be really tough for them to get a lot done here, but against Mass Siege Tank, it's the right answer to go Lings, even if you don't have the greatest of upgrades for him, you know? Re oh, he recalls some carriers up here into True Self's base. That's fun. That's really fun. True Self's like, there's carriers now. Yes, there are. Valkyries fighting. Not quite enough of them to really do this. Although one carrier did just die. The Valkyries are gone. The Goliaths are kind of joining the party. Another carrier does end up going down here. That's your welcome. Running 333 Zealots and Dragoons. Trying to get rid of these siege tanks. I'm assuming the Ling stuff didn't really work. Nibbler's down to 19 drones. His mining efforts here have been completely shut down. He is sneaking drones at the top right, maybe? Nope, there are siege tanks there from True Self. Well, what do you do at this point? Uh, why has That's Coke Zero Cherry. Coke Zero Cherry. It's backwards because my camera slipped, but... Yes, it is. They got new branding. Like, the new Coke Zero Cherry cans, like, go from lighter to darker shades. It's fine, I guess. Anyway, Carrier's not doing particularly well. I don't think Stasis is from the Arbiters are amazing, though. Nibbler, where are you, bud? Not down here. He's up here. He is up here. He could probably sneak over here and start mining again. With 3,000 minerals in the bank. Doable. Carriers sneaking top right against True Self's base. It's just... I don't know. I don't know why we're sending three carriers on these missions. Maybe you should send more than that, but... Uh, it's like a nice combination of Habidake and That's Your Welcome coming top left against a Terran player who's been making a lot of Valks. But man, look at this. He's getting Vultures out in time. D-Matrix is fantastic, too. Once again, another little tiny group of carriers arise from Habidake because that's what he does. He doesn't believe in giant carriers' fleets. It's like little carrier hit squads is what he's into. However, WK Cross has shown up at the front door of Habidake. And Habidake is in a lot of trouble. As we always say, if a Terran... Watch out. If a Terran gets siege tanks inside your base, you gonna die. Uh, and honestly, no, why has I am not. I think everybody's got their own poison, right? Sugar is really harmful. I'm sure there are some harmful aspects of fake sugar, but like... If you don't eat anything that's not harmful for you at all, what are you eating? You know? Are you having any fun at all? Is it like broccoli and celery and... Uh grass-fed, homegrown chicken. You know what I mean? It's 
Coke Zero have aspartame? Let's take a look real quick. That is so hard to read. I don't know. Someone might have to pull up the ingredients online. I cannot read that. The siege tanks are inside the base of Habidake. It's not a ton of them, so I don't want to say this is game over. There you go. Philly cheesesteak, Coke Zero. Good combo, I ass. <laughs> This is just WK Cross, man. He's at 51 SCVs. I don't know if he got dropped again or if he just killed some SCVs to free up supply. Probably free up some supply once you have 10,000 minerals and 13,000 gas, right? I'm just flooding. Just flooding. Pushing, 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 pushing. Carrier micro. Pretty good. And it's a bigger carrier fleet than it's been for Habedake for a while. And actually, not that many Goliaths. So Habedake manages to clear out the tanks inside his base with carriers. Not a bad way to do it. What's up, Bob? Nibbler is alive. Uh, looks like he got, I don't know, something bad happened to him. He's got 24 drones and 16 minerals. His teammates are helping him as much as they can. Alright, so now more Goliaths joining this party, but hey, your welcome shows up with Zealots. Training against the Goliaths is good. Yeah, this is intense, man. Push three, I'll hold five. Nibbler's down here, mining six o'clock two. I love this little Dark Archon DT Dragoon escort squad for Nibbler up here. That's very fun. Yeah, John Doe, I had to go 1080p for both YouTube and for Twitch. Twitch probably isn't going to give it to me, but either way, it really seems like nothing's complaining, so hey. Yeah, we'll get a Falcon Unrest today, John Doe, don't worry about it. It is time. Hey, we got 104 likes. So far, so good a great milestone 150 is always the stream goal this another oh my gosh the wraith showed up and shut this whole thing down but then spore saved the day all right fine nibbler's at five drones man nibbler this is maybe the most we've ever seen nibbler down in a game he has been so bullied today he has not been bad mannering he has not quit on his teammates. He is awesome. We love Nibbler. Ooh, good tip, PJ. Carrier group for Habidake not looking good that way. Habidake does have 209 available supply. He's, um... He is zerging his own way here, too. That might help here against WK Cross. Siege tanks continue. It's just the continual siege tank push of 3-3, guys. Into Habidake's base here. Zealots keep trying to clear it out. Carriers keep trying to clear it out. Carriers and Valkyries having a pretty constant battle here today. Nibbler back up to 20 drones. Might be able to participate. He's got a Hydra Den. He's throwing up a Spire. It's like maybe, what do we want here? Some Guardians? The Valkyrie count is high. Maybe some Devourers for the Guardians. That might be nice. Yeah, man. It's just been... Millions and millions of siege tanks dying trying to take down Habidake today, and they haven't been able to pull it off yet. It's 
Science Vessels getting all of the snipes in the entire world here. So many carriers have died from Habidake. Two more go down. Two of these, I mean, three, three wraiths. There are Valkyries in here too. Obviously, we keep talking about those. Habidake at 313 available supply. Ooh, that's your welcome. Has his own Zerg army going here too. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe the combined forces of Habidake and that's your welcome at more than 200 supply might be able to do this, but Habitake is uh, he's losing all of his Protoss capabilities, so getting over 200 supply for him is going to be tough. Also, Siege Tanks continue to push down here on That's Your Welcome. As he just threw up a ton of Overlords, he's got 400 available supply, but only 180 actually used supply here. Yeah, this is not looking good for Habidake. Siege tanks are in range of these Nexuses. Yeah, he's like, three is dead. Let's head down to five. The push on five is very real. Zealots, man. Three, 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 Zealots. They're taking tanks down with them. Mutalisks flying in. Zero, zero mutas against turrets, against goliaths, against potential irradiates, against valkyries. The mutas are going to have a tough time with it, but they're better against the tanks than the zealots are, which says a lot. Yeah, I mean, this slow, slow push here. Habidake building up top. If uh, every time that's your welcome, keeps trying to get above 200 supply, keeps losing it. It's like we got to take down 12, man. 12, he's rebuilding up there. Habidake is still alive here on the right side, surprisingly. A couple siege tanks trying to clear that out. Million siege tanks that WK cross down here in your welcomes base we've got uh some dark swarm lurker stuff up here against true self with nibbler though nibbler back in action man we got one carapace lurkers shutting down true self's entire economy factories getting sniped income for him has dwindled to zero goliath try to join this party another dark swarm he does get it up there beautifully executed i cannot believe Nibbler is getting work done here. He just knocked two self down to three SCVs. No income again for two self. He's got 8,000 minerals. It'll be a minute before he runs out, but that's a big deal. That's really big, and it takes a lot of pressure off everybody else, except that your welcome's main base is getting wiped out. Do And WK Cross is heading up north. I mean, this game is bonkers. It is bonkers. Nibbler finally gets cleared out, but the economy of True Self is as bad as it can be. Meanwhile, humming, humming up here. 37 workers for Nibbler. I don't think the worker count counts workers from races you've acquired. Ugh. Yeah, this is not looking good. This is really just mass siege tank, man. It is so tough to clear out with Valkyrie support, and if there's Goliath support, even better. Muta's jumping in. Valkyrie's saying, uh, no. How about you not do that? Yeah. So, I mean, Habidake and That's Your Welcome and Nibbler have Zerg armies, but uh, Habidake taps. That means Your Welcome's out, and that means Nibbler's out, too. Woo! Yeah, that was intense. What a great game from WK Cross, as always. Again, be sure to check him out. Check him out on uh, YouTube. Check him out on Twitch. He's got uh, channels on both of those platforms. He multi-streams. He should be back soon. He's taking a bit of a break now, but... 
He streams like five times a week normally. So he is always out there playing the fastest map, getting that grind, man. <sighs> Let's see here. So GG, that was great. Let's see how many factories he has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Just the classic 22 factory setup on fastest map. Classic, classic, classic stuff. So GG, Taryn gets that win. What was that? Enjoyed it for sure. Wow. Yeah, 1,180,000 points there from WK Cross. He killed 2,200 units today. That's a lot of dead stuff. It's a lot of dead stuff. That's your welcome out produced him, actually. But I think that a lot of that were the Zerg units he was making. He raised a bunch of buildings. And, I mean, Nibbler never really got off the ground. Neither did Jayons. But, I mean, Nibbler... Like that Lurker drop... Was fantastic. He was able to contribute to that game, and I think that's pretty much all you want, dude. Man. All right, let's head over to US West Battle.net, start playing some live games. You can join the Falcon Paladin channel by doing a slash J Falcon Paladin down here in the chat on US West Battle.net. You can join the channel with people like RJB, Toy Cop, Psychonuts, Hamsters in the house, Detroit, Bulk is here too. Come join this channel. Hang out with people like PJ. You can play with each other even when it's not Sunday. How's that sound? Phantom mode number one. Start off with the phantom mode because that is the most popular thing we do by far. Everybody loves a good phantom mode. The drama. The drama. Drama is always the best. All right, Corey, have a good night. Much love to you, too. Have a good rest of your day. Dark Knight, a settler, RJB, Toy Cop, Hamster, Puma in the house. Looking good. What's up, JTOX? Okay, let's rock. What do we got? Random Protoss, random, random Protoss, random Protoss, Zerg. Let's start it up. Guys are ready to go. Mm, got some dark names here for reading, but RJB. A Settler, Protoss, Dark Knight, Protoss, another Protoss here, Detroit, Bulk, Toy Cop, Gray, Psychonauts, Darker Gray, <laughs> Toma, Yellow, and Hamster, kind of this pinkish, tannish color, I guess, and I guess I didn't mention that RJB is green today. So let's get those names in the top left. Tootie Fruity, a.k.a. Brain with the follow. Welcome to the Twitch. Welcome to the Sunday StarCraft. Happy to have you here. Gotta get those names in the top left corner. Because that's just what we do. All right, it's Teal. Fair enough, monster. Ooh, man. Okay, names top left. The super dark blue one is Detroit Bulk. Hamster said he's a paladin. So if he looks scary, that's why. Uh, 
no, mint is a shade of green. Like, the plant mint is green, anyway. Where mint comes from. Yeah, I don't know. I'm no color expert. I see this and it's like, it's a shade of green. It's in the green spectrum on the color wheel. What it is, Detroit bulk taken center here. Doesn't have any gas yet. Throwing up a gateway and taking a nexus for that gas here. So he is playing the role of a real ultra today. Opening down here from Toykov is a little bit aggressive. Uh, I don't know if this is defensive, if he's worried about RJB coming to kill him, because that happens sometimes, or if he's planning on moving out and killing people. If he's the Phantom, he will just move out and start murdering folk. He, does, he will not wait around, he will not hide, he will not lie about it. He'll just go start killing people. And again, this could just be a response, right? A response to being a lot, uh, just not wanting to die. Ugh. Sounds good, monster. Yeah, daylight savings has screwed up our schedule, but this is what it's going to be for the next six months. And then it will go back to what it was for the next six months. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to get a 30 minute FME, right? Usually they're shorter than that, but maybe we can try to get one today. Just for monster's sake. Yeah, I hate daylight savings. I would definitely vote for it to be abolished. Not fun. Hamster, once again, looking scary, but Paladin means he gets extra income here to assist him in looking scary, but not as much money as the Phantom, or Phantoms will get to be scary. Three gates getting fired up here from... Dark Knight with a second base on the way here too still not Detroit Bolt is still not taking his own natural for some reason that I don't fully understand but he's like maybe I can just do that later blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, Dave. They did, but the Senate had to, or the Senate approved it, but Congress didn't. I think that's what happened, Dave C. Both the House and the Senate have to approve something for it to be a law, and the President can't veto it. So I'm pretty sure the Senate said no daylight savings, and then the Senate to Congress, and Congress, I don't think, ever ended up voting on it, because heaven forbid they do their jobs. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's an interesting conspiracy theory, why Haas? I wonder if RJB's heard of that one. He's our resident conspiracy theorist. I'm sure he has. I bet he's seen that theory before. I've just never seen him actually talk about it. What are we at? 113 likes. We are well on our way to 150 likes. Thanks, everyone, for doing that so far. You guys are fantastical. Fantastical, wonderful people. I love you all. Uh, sort of. Andreas, yeah. That's generally, uh, the general idea behind it, yes. Where are we moving? 
There was zealot stuff, but sometimes it's hard to see the grays on the map, so I don't know where that was. Dragoon pathing F. Are we fighting here? Ah, thanks, the settler. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, you can hear Protoss attacks from across the map a lot of the time. And a lot of the time it's them killing a cannon that's in the way or a pylon that's blocking them in. And it sounds like there's some kind of crazy engagement happening, but there is not. I've never gotten a strike on my channel for talking about politics. In fairness, I've never really gone super deep into it. It's usually just kind of a surface level discussion about something and then we move on. But seriously, I've never never gotten a strike for talking about politics on the channel. Even talking about COVID. Like I remember when COVID was huge and I would like just talk a little bit about it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't making a whole stream about it or anything and people were like, "You can't even say COVID. You'll get your video demonetized and I'm like really and it never happened so I, I don't know people I think are more sensitive about that stuff than than YouTube is possibly rude thanks for the five euro super chat man awesome stuff dude thank you so much for the generosity Mike the Mutalisk will be here shortly to celebrate your accomplishment I haven't said what they don't want me to say. I guess maybe that's it. I've just avoided saying things that YouTube would find objectionable, even though I am dancing around in the political stuff. It's entirely possible. RJB's been very quiet. Just happily been on two bases, hasn't accused anyone of anything, hasn't tried to kill anybody fast, which is sometimes a tell. RJB that doesn't try to kill people maybe means that he's a phantom. What's up, Sapcore? We're getting mashed in phantom mode. Toma has some thoughts. Toma's thoughts are, who is the phantom, which is something we should always be thinking about. Alright, so 10 minutes in, no one's dead, no one's been attacked. RJB's in here and no one's been attacked. That's a little bit strange. But I guess it's harder to harass, I think, with Terran in these games than it is for Zerg. Uh, sounds good, Real Ultra. Failed no Mew Mark today. One heck of a name. Thanks again, Rude, for the super chat. You're awesome. How many Coke Zeros? Six. It is six Coke Zeros a day, Why Haas. Dark Knight says taking center makes you sus, but I don't know about that. I don't think that has really borne out in the data we've gathered on Phantom Mode over the last years. Toma's got a bunch of Hydro Lurker here out at 10 minutes. He's really only got the two hatches. He's ready. He's ready to go kill somebody, whether he's the Phantom or not. He's got a pretty formidable force there. Not great against a big siege tank setup, though. Not a lot of things are that great against a huge siege tank setup. Toy Cop. You see, Toy Cop's not doing mass scout either. Which is a little out of character for him. It's not like he has to go mass scout or anything. Okay, hold on a second. I think it's Toy Cop. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine gates on two bases is too many gates. Isn't it eight gates on two bases? Plus, he's going to support Archon or Arbiters out of here, too. Uh, well, here's the thing, Waihas. I drink Coke Zero until about 3 p.m., and then I switch over to drinking water out of this giant mug. I don't know. I bet it's about equal. I bet I drink about as much water per day as I do Coke Zero. I'm insanely well hydrated. That's right, Hell Patrol. Hit that like button. 117 is good. We can do better than 117. I know it. 
And I'm also drinking water throughout the day, too. Just kind of as a palate cleanser while we're at it. Alright. Wait, no, it's hamster. Yeah. Hamster claimed paladin. And a settler didn't claim anything. Coke Zero is mostly water. That's a good point. So I drink a whole ton of water every day. I can't remember the last time I had chapped lips or I was dehydrated at all. I am the most hydrated person in the world. That's probably not true. Settler claims Slayer. Good, good. Fine, fine. Excellent. Ultralisks out here from our claimed paladin hamster. Toy Cop says... If you must know, I'm a slayer. Okay, fair enough, dude. Toy Cop says he's a slayer. Farewell says these colors suck. Yeah, there's a lot of hard to see colors here for sure. Not what we want, but can't really, can't really do anything about it. Hamsters interrogating people about their banks and how much money they have, because if they don't know how much money they should have and they're a phantom, it can really really be tricky to say what how much money you should have. Dark Knight not responding to requests for information from a claimed paladin. It's sus. Yeah, uh, that's Detroit Bulk, Dave. See, that dark, dark, dark blue is the most impossible color to see on the username list, certainly. It's easier to see on the mini-map, though, which is interesting. Wait, what? Who? How? Where? Oh, killing his own stuff again. Fair enough. And lagging out. Who was that? Whose name was the lag out? Somebody saw it. Somebody can tell me in chat who the lag out was there. Last chance, Dark Knight, or you're gonna die. Toy Cup's gonna multi-race on two bases as a Slayer? Mm, feel good about that, Toy Cop. Multi-racing when you're a Slayer is weird and not good? I guess? Who's got two races? Dark Knight? I don't see two races for Dark Knight. Unless he mind controlled an Overlord or something. I don't think he even has any Dark Archons. I don't know, save your sword. <laughs> but there's one claimed Paladin. RJB is spider mining up a Settler's base. See, this is more like RJB. This is more like the RJB that we know and love. Spider mining up a teammate's base. Maybe. Ah! Toma's on the rampage, folks. He's moving only specifically on... Well, it is happening. He's specifically moving on Detroit Bulk, and that's it. I don't think he's unallied everybody. RJB's freaking out. Dark Knight says yellow's the phantom. All he's doing is killing Detroit Bulk, though. But he is getting counterattacked pretty bad, too. He hasn't really accused anybody. He hasn't claimed anything. It's a weird phantom maneuver, but it's... Toma. Oh, see, now he says it's Detroit Bulk. And the Dark Knight's like, well, the guy trying to kill me is obviously the Phantom because that's what you say. Tons of storm, though. Yeah, I think Toma just ran out of steam. He's losing all his stuff. He's getting killed because he didn't do a good job setting anything up here. And, uh, Toma's down to nothing. Hey, what's up, IL? 
Uh, Dead Infested was here earlier today. Democracy and Amendment haven't been around for a while. Slicky Fat showed up last week, too. But you're right. We're Democracy and Amendment. Oh. Okay, so Toma moved out, tried to kill Detroit Bulk, was a slayer. Wait, we're still kill- who's this? Toy Cop is still in here trying to take down Detroit Bulk? Toy Cop's like, well, might as well finish the job. He's got nothing left. And I think I agree with that. The more people that die, the better. In trying to make this game not last four hours. What's up, Jeffy? Happy Sunday. RJB says, you're attacking the wrong person. Yeah, but you have to eliminate people. If we don't eliminate people, how will we figure out who this is? Who is Le Fantôme? Ah, what is this all about? RJB's up here taking a settler's money. Why are you allowing this, a settler? It's a settler. There's the accusation. See, it's classic RJB. He's like, yo, he steals, steals a settler's money. When a settler attacks the SCV, stealing the money then RJB accuses him of being phantom. Pretty, pretty classic move, man. Still got to finish off Detroit, though. What is the anti-air exactly from RJB, though? Well, he's firing up, I'm guessing, Wraith, maybe? Maybe, maybe some Valkyries here. A Settler not really moving with everything. RJB's got... How the heck did he get tanks over here? He got tanks over here, though. What the heck? He must have just dropped them. All right, so RJB loses the second base. He's pumping out Goliaths. He's pumping out Wraiths. And Detroit Bulk was a phantom. <laughs> See? That's why you gotta do it. That's why you got to kill people that are almost dead. So that in case they're phantom, you know. Oh, they're even cloaked wraiths, boys. Oh, too bad there's detection. All right. I don't know. If RJB isn't a phantom, he's in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. Oh, but also Dark Knight's attacking a settler. Hmm. So, Dark Knight says I'm a Slayer. He's making a move on a Settler here for some reason. A Settler doesn't have a lot going on either. Hello. I'm going to go with Japanese characters. Are those Japanese characters? All right, so it looks like a Settler might just straight up die here. I mean, if the combination of these Goliaths and these Dragoons can't kill these carriers, I don't know what can. <laughs> what the heck, a Settler? <sighs> yeah, so all those carriers die. Dragoons trade so well against carriers. It's not even fair. So a Settler is toast. And I don't even think Hamster's been involved in anything today. All right, Settler taps, and he was a phantom. <laughs> All right, so I think Detroit Bulk was kind of an accidental phantom sniff out. Way to go, Toma. Toma is vindicated there. And then RJB said it was a Settler. Even after he like he harassed him first, a Settler counterattacks. RJB says he's phantom, which usually means he isn't. That's so weird, man. What a weird phantom mode. All right, cool. So, uh... Let's try it again, I guess. Maybe we'll get a phantom win here, but who knows? No one knows. That's who. Can I play, please? Is in. Save your sword. Chad Goose. In. In. RJB's in. The Blair Witch. Who the heck is the Blair Witch today? I was going to steal. You did steal his minerals. 
Ah, so we saw there were few workers. Interesting, interesting. Uh, put him in over Detroit Bulk. Who's Blair Witch today? I did see Dune 2 again, and it was great. I saw Dune 2 twice. I saw it in regular theater, and then I saw it in IMAX. Blair Witch, who are you? Ah, John Doe branching out into movies from the year 1999, apparently. Yep, I saw Dune 2 plus Dune 2, so I saw Dune 4. Alright, cool. So we got maybe T-Rex in here, a Settler. Uh, Real Ultra is in the house. RJB, Chad Goose, can I play please save your sword? Good group. I like it. I like this group. But yeah, Falcon recommends Dune 2 and Dune 1. You should watch both. They're fantastic. Uh, some people do think part one is better. That's fine. I think they're both excellent. I'm actually undecided about which uh, which Dune I think is better, which I think says a lot about the quality. Maybe T-Rex, Zergen, Chad Goose, Protoss. Can I play please Terran? Another Terran here is Real Ultra. We've got an orange Protoss RJB. We've got a brown Terran Chad Goose, a, a yellow Protoss, a Settler, and a green Protoss Savior Sword. See, this is green green, right? What are we selecting, guys? Yep, Gallons thinks they're both the same. The Dune movies are based off the book. Part one and part two are based off of Dune in particular. Pluribus Rex is in the house. I, I, don't, I have not watched the David Lynch Dune. No, Deploribus, uh, Dave C. Yeah, that's fair, Andreas. Uh, we'll get an FME out here today, PJ. Don't worry about it. You want one, Monster wants one, RJB, and can I play please want one for sure. Can I play please? Is turning it up in the top right here, walling off against incoming potential harass. The chitter chatter, let's get at her is happening. What do we get? Three paladin claims. Paladin for John Doe, paladin for a settler, and paladin for can I play please? Alright, so it is red, gray, yellow paladin claims. One of them's lion. Which makes it interesting. Probably John Doe. John Doe's lied about being Paladin just because a bunch of times before, so. Probably him. What's up, Max Tyler? Alright, Dark Soldier. Sounds good. He also wants the FME. Oof. Stiff, stiff, stiff. Congestion, congestion, congestion. Yeah, see, John Doe likes to confuse people by saying he is a paladin when it's impossible. All right, I'll be right back.
123 likes. Looking good so far, folks. Somicron in the house. What's up? Nobody takes me seriously except for Red. Uh, can I play please takes you seriously, John Doe? I guess. Maybe T-Rex is throwing up some Queen's Nest and Macro Hatchy type stuff. Little bit sus here. I don't think he's one of the people that claimed Paladin. So we're going to do a Falcon Paladin dot store March Madness code. I'm not sure how long it takes Somicron to set that up. Not long, I know. So we'll give him a second and then we'll give it a... Oh, there we go. Use code March Madness for 15% off while these guys are chitter-chattering about who on earth the Phantom could be. Let's take a look at ye old Falcon Paladin dot store. Bum -ba -dum -bum. Great place to get merch, man. Falcon Paladin branded merch. Starcrafty stuff here, too. We got Steve the SCV shirts. We got mugs. Falcon Paladin branded Terror of the Overlord shirts. We've got super extra warm embroidered hoodies, which is nice. Robert the Zealot shirts here, too. I mean, it's just stuff after stuff after stuff here. Including beanies. If it's getting colder where you are... Maybe a beanie would be nice for the colder season. We got all sorts of mugs. Steve, Robert. We got Falcon Paladin getting chased by an emu with Somicron on there. But for today, anything you order on checkout, if you do March Madness as the discount code, March Madness is 15% off your order. Bam, there it is. No matter what it is, no matter how much it is, 15% off. You can use Shop Pay, PayPal, Google Pay, and these major cards Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Union Pay, and JCB. We will ship pretty much anywhere except for North Korea, I think. It's a long list of countries here. And you can even choose to shop in your own currency. There's a currency selector up here. Look at all these currencies. I don't even know what half of these are. What's XAF? No idea. Why are there four currencies that start with X on here? No idea whatsoever. But check it out. Falcon Paladin dot store with the coupon code and discount code of March Madness today. Get your merch now. That's right. Double linked. Will we not ship to Syria? We don't ship to Syria. You're right. We found another country. Huh. Good job, us. All right. These yahoos figured out who the phantom is yet. Look at my SCB falcon, says John Doe. Okay. Oh, this guy? This guy's having a great time. Yeah, I probably don't ship to Cuba either. Good call, Dark Soldier. And yeah, the super warm extra embroidered hoodie is thicker and warmer, yes. It, uh... Yeah, I mean, that might be the best reviewed product on the store. People who get that are really happy about it. They really make sure to, like, come to the Discord server or 
come to the Sunday stream and tell us how much they like it. Lex really loves it for sure. He might be in here later. Oh, looks like we're moving out. We are syncing up our interceptors on that pylon. For RJB. So where's he going with it, though, after the sync up? Baby T-Rex says it's red, yellow, or black. Based on the claimings here, right? Real Ultra has been pretty... Real Ultra has fired up a gajillion factories. But it also is on three bases. Let's kill black and yellow at the same time, says RJB. Glad you think the merch looks cool, Dark Soldier. Again, use the code March Madness, as it is March, for 15% off your order on the store today during the stream. We've only got a couple more hours to use it. It is a limited time offer. Yes, kill each other. RJB says, I want chaos. Holy Wraith Ball. Where is Can I Play Please going with this Wraith Ball? Uh, okay. Straight at John Doe. Fair enough. So John Doe's going to die. Can I play please? He's like, I don't think he is. No, but I don't know. He's just sowing chaos into the whole thing. He's calling Pal for no reason. Yes, accurate. He does that all the time. But at this point, whatever, right? <clears throat> Our settler's in the mix. He envisioned everybody. Yeah, because he's being attacked. Chad Goose is coming down here with a million, million Dragoons. Baby T-Rex is accusing Chad Goose of being sus with his four Stargates and two, three, four, five gateways and two bases. Well, I've got this base down here. Hmm. Makes it trickier for sure. Slayer. Oh shoot, RJB's wiping out the carriers of a Settler and moving on to a Settler. RGB just killed carriers of a settler for no reason. Yeah, a settler's like, RGB just killed all my carriers, guys. And everyone's like, huh, oh well. Classic RGB just taking shots at people who are probably slayers for no reason. Yep, 
He will do it for fun. Him and John Doe are the biggest agents of chaos these days. Rondo had a good time lying about being paladin and getting executed. Carrier Dragoon Army, Chad Goose is at 131 upgrades. Carriers are at a 231 situation. Now everybody's also worried about uh, Real Ultra over here. His maxed out mech army sitting at 1-1 one, one upgrades. Once again, everybody hates on Savior Sword for having good upgrades, but he always goes three forges. <laughs> he always rushes 3-3. Three, three. And every time, people get freaked out by it. I Yeah, I'm not going to use that as evidence. Play please in here sniping Savior Sword. Hey Kevin, I was here last week. What are you talking about? I'm eating wheat thins today, Jay Talks. No nuts. I'm out of nuts, but I've gotten more coming in a grocery order later today. Uh yeah, Kevin, there are four separate streams from last week on the channel. For each like each hour of the stream effectively, it's very annoying. Save your sword, counterattacking on can I play, please, because his sense of honor was injured, which happens all the time. Snacks are good, Ganon. I can definitely recommend snacks. Maybe T-Rex is like, don't just walk into siege tanks because your honor has been impugned. That's a good vocabulary word, impugned. It's spelled like this. I think. Can I play please? Still fighting. Again, save your sword. Good times. RJB is very, very sus of Real Ultra over here. It is making his sus known by flying over his stuff, but not attacking him. Yeah, J Talks. Basically, I talked to Streamlabs uh, support, and they were like, yeah, if you try to stream at enough bitrate for 1440 and you're sending that to Twitch and YouTube, it freaks everything out. Twitch especially hates that because they don't even support support 1440p, I don't think. Um, so they said, just try going 1080p to both YouTube and Twitch and see if it's smoother and not crashing, and it's not. So, I don't know. I'd like to be able to go back to 1440 for you guys, so I think I'll try to find another streaming solution that allows me to do that. Because apparently Streamlabs does not. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. There are more fish in the sea. I'm very proud of the 1440p stream. What the heck, RJB? Can I play, please? That. Wait, no, he identified as a paladin early, dude. JB lagging out a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, Kevin. So YouTube notifications are notoriously not reliable. I'm here. That's it. If you show up at youtube.com slash falcon paladin at like 10 a.m. Eastern on Sunday, I'll be here. That's all there is. Do it. Even if notification doesn't push, I'm here anyway. Don't rely on notifications, man. Maybe set up a calendar event on your phone that repeats on Sunday. Yeah, JTOX is like 1080p is fine, and it is. I just think 1440 is nicer. That's what I'm used to. I watch YouTube on 1440p when I can, but I guess I do watch channels that aren't at 1440, and it's fine too. Got some money stealing here from, well, it's John Doe's base, so I think these resources are kind of a free for all. That makes sense. Ah! Still fighting? Man. RJB. No, sorry. Can I play, please? Is still fighting Xavier Sword. Okay, Arbiter dies after getting a pretty nice stasis off. Another Arbiter comes in. Gets another stasis off. Dies. Not really enough for Goons here to do this, Savior Sword, but he's trying. Yeah, Suga's at 360p anyway, so who cares what quality it's at? Fair point. Real Ultra is accusing Chad Goose straight up of being Phantom. Four gate carrier production off of two bases. He's got this base too, but it's not gas. What is this can S Savior Swords? attacking RJB now? Yeah, Saber Sword's attacking RJB and can I play, please? Saber Sword is feeling his oats today. You attacked me, says Saber Sword. So Saber Sword's living on a eye for an eye Law of Moses type thing here, Old Testament style. If you attack him, he will kill you. But when the people that attack you are can I play, please? And RJB, it's tough. A Settler making a move on Savior Sword up this left side, though. Good grief. Hey, what's up? Uh oh, Kevin. What's up, Fisher Wang? Wait, it's the same Kevin I was talking to earlier? Yes. Good deal. Glad to hear it, Kevin. All right, Stasis up. Savior Sword does not know how to defend against carrier fleets. RJB is here too. Oh, Savior Sword outs himself as the Phantom. It was Savior Sword. Oh man, and he picked fights with RJB and can I play please? All right, well, Savior Sword's dead. Oh, Fisher Wang is 32A, what's up? Yeah, there's a lot of eye for an eye in the Law of Moses and Leviticus and stuff. Gallons. Ooh, a plague on Savior Sword, too. How is it Savior Sword every time since Toy Cop? I don't know, man. Random sometimes doesn't feel random, but it is. Man, someone's going through my super old... Oh, they're going through my Flash playlist and leaving comments. <laughs> That's great. I do have a Flash playlist, everyone. If you like Flash games and you haven't seen all of them already, maybe you want to watch them again. Uh, yes, 32A. We will have a Falcon Unrest today. All right. So Savior Sword's getting executed. The other Phantom is hiding because uh, there's nothing left for Savior Sword anyway, I suppose. I'll leave you a spot, 32A. You're always fun in those free-for-alls. 
Point Cop's gonna start executing Xavier Sword for no reason just because he's always Phantom. <laughs> uh, Chad Goose is like, I wasn't involved in that. All I'm doing is getting resources. That's fair. Whoever you are, you suck, says Savior Sword. Well, I don't know that the way to play Phantom Mode is to pick fights with Can I Play Please and RJB and then be like, let's go. Right, right. I'm not sure that's a pretty good strategy. Uh, yeah, that's fair, Gallons. You're right. Hammurabi's code. Eye for an eye. Super, super old stuff. He picked the fight first. That's true, but then you could have let it go. But you didn't because of pride. Is the code of Hammurabi the first legal code? Uh, no. The earliest code of laws was created by the Sumerian ruler of Ur-Namu, of the city of Ur. It dates back to the 21st century BC. Okay, so the law of Hammurabi, not the first legal code, but an old one nevertheless. Sounds good, save your sword. Can I play please? It's like, let's take down Chad Goose. Okay, great. Here we go. Chad Goose. Bam. Chad Goose is like, I think it's white. Who the heck is white? Oh, tan. I think it's the baby T-Rex, eh? The code of Hammurabi is 1700 BC. It's the sixth king of Babylon. Which I think is modern day Iraq or Iran. It's in that area where Babylon used to be. Okay, so Chad Goose getting executed by everybody. The settlers in here killing. Chad Goose defending with his own carriers. Battle cruisers do defeat carriers straight up if you micro properly. Chad Goose says easy win for the Phantom. Iraq. Yeah, okay. So, yep. I figured it was Iraq. That was my first guess where Babylon was. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Okay, so I mean, oh, we're making steady killing progress here. John Doe's gone. One of the Phantoms is gone. And save your sword. Uh, maybe. Chad Goose is out, and Chad Goose says he's a Slayer. Nobody's arguing with him, and the game's not over, so he's not a Phantom. <laughs> All right, good macro, Chad Goose. You terrified everybody with your insane macro and gathering of resources and spending of resources. Brown is still... Oh, Brown is alive down here. You're right. Good call. True, true. And it was Chad Goose. <laughs> Sneaking those pylons down south. All right. Save your sword and Chad Goose. Yeah, I don't know. I think Chad Goose could have maybe maybe popped out when Savior called for it. Maybe gotten something done, but... Tough. Tough situation for sure. All right. We got time for one more Phantom Mode. Try to get people in here who were not in previous ones. Silver Wolf is in chat now. What's up, Silver Wolf? One of the Silver Wolves is here. I don't know which one it is, honestly. The Roswell Alien? Rafter. Roswell, who? 
are you? Man, John Doe. Yeah, I know I know what Roswell is, John Doe, but yes, correct. UFO crash in 1947 in Roswell, New Mexico. Exciting. 133 likes. We are creeping up on that 150 like situation, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks everyone for hitting that like button. Thanks for subscribing too, people who have subs. And if you're watching and you're not subbed, you're probably in the minority as far as the Sunday streams go. But subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subs this year. I feel like it's doable. Okay, let's rock. 32A, save your sword. John Doe, gallons. Wait, real gallons? Gallons is in chat, so it's probably gallons. And he's not... Oh, there's no stats. Gallons. Is that you? Well, you can say you're the real gallons in here. <laughs> Why do you not have a record, Gallons, on this account? Maybe it's a different one. It must be a new one. No, he identified with something that only Gallons would ever say. All right, random mode active. We've got, my gosh. Okay, so yeah, that's Real Ultra zerging it. Dark Knight zerging it. Gallons, Protoss. 32A, Protoss. Save Your Sword, Protoss. Psychonauts, Terran. John Doe is zerg. And then Exton Rector is Protoss. We got some claims here. Hey, hey, hey thanks for subbing, 32A. <laughs> yeah, there's always someone who's like, I thought I was subbed to this channel, and then they're not. Okay, so Dark Blue again is just Real Ultra. So if you're like, what's Dark Blue Real Ultra? Just remember that, and you're good. Uh, yeah, we'll do it, Save Your Sword. That's the play. Okay, got, got the names up there. Excellent. Again, Super, super Dark Blue is Real Ultra again. It's uh, Star Trek, the motion picture director's cut, basically. Dave C. That's his uh, hey, Detroit shirt. Sure, that's Gallon's favorite movie. He watches it like every week, if not more often than that. <laughs> I know Dave C. We try to correct him from his horrible opinion about this movie, but he cannot be dissuaded. What's up, pinheaded Larry? You know, sometimes the heart wants what the heart wants, and Gallon's heart wants Star Trek the most in picture director's cut, or addiction, edition, or whatever it is. Gallon says, no, K Wrath of Khan is best. But. What's up, Andreas Holby? Happy Sunday. Hey, guys. Indeed, long, long, long time channel member. Andreas Holby. Real Ultra wants to know what he should mass. Infested Terrans it is.
So Hakonauts has to step away for a minute. That's not good for him. Ah, nope, lings are out. Guess whose lings these are? John Doe's lings are moving out. Who are they going to kill? It's always the question, isn't it? I think they're going directly after Real Ultra. Forcing a cancel on his second base. Hey, what's up, Ara Ara? Uh, yeah. No, we'll have a couple more games here. You'll have an opportunity to play. Yeah, there's no pool because he went three hatch before pool, and um, he's being punished for it. So Real Ultra, not happy about this. If, I mean, maybe somebody will defend him. But no, people are just letting Real Ultra die. Unless these drones are good fighters. They're not fighting, they're harvesting, which seems problematic long term. Gallons is like, why isn't anyone defending me? No, don't save real Ultra. He's dead already. Oh my gosh. And he has an extractor you have to kill. Oh man, I am tired. All right, yes, just get the extractor, get real Ultra out of here, eliminate a player. And see what we get. Okay, that elimination. And he was a slayer. All right, so John Doe just wipes him out. <laughs> I like that Savior Sword is just casually building on Real Ultra's corpse before he's even dead. That's fantastic. Like, come on, creep, proceed. I want to put a Nexus up here, dang it. Hamster says, let that be a lesson to people who are super greedy. Fair. All right, stepping away. Let's super zoom out and keep an eye on... Uh, Keep an eye on John Doe, I guess. See what he's all about. Be right back.
Have we been good? So no aggression. Looks like John Doe was pretty happy just killing real Ultra and getting away with it. Like, nobody seems to be mad at him about it, which uh, makes it exciting for sure. dollar PayPal donation. Aw, thank you so much. Man, some good PayPal donors today. Appreciate all of that stuff. Oh, never mind. John Doe is not getting away with executing Real Ultra. It appears that, in fact, Gallons maybe wants to take him down, but then he's like, oh, there's like a million lurkers there. Never mind. Uh, it doesn't seem like a... Okay, I was going to say, it doesn't seem like a good position, and it's not, but Gallons is kind of sneaking on in there anyway, which he should not do. Gallons is trying it. Maelstrom! Maelstrom! It's time for the Maelstrom. Catching a couple lurkers there is good, but... Then it wears off, and two of the three lurkers don't actually even die. This sunken Hydra lurker combo, man, it is tough in a choke like this. Dragoons are pretty much the answer. Sniping that OBS would be... Oh, there's two OBS, folks. Sniping both the OBS would be good. This OBS is going to die. That OBS dying would be... Huge, and he is target firing it, but then oh, there's a third one. Uh, see, yeah, man, obs are good. Obs are good. 142 likes, man. We're gonna get 150 likes in four hours today. That's pretty good. Muta bomb. Here comes Dark Knight. Muta bomb in the left side, and uh, John Doe might just be dead. So everyone's like, yeah, this guy. The bomb. how Gallons comes in here just to assist. I want to lose some units. Unnecessarily. The Mutas have all this. Like, there's no reason to walk into Lurkers and stuff. And these Mutas are fighting Spores, which they shouldn't really do either, but whatever. Alright, so John Doe taps. Nuclear launch detected. What in the name of Fergus McDudson? Who's even Terran? Blue is Terran. Blue has ghosts. Blue's nuking this. Psycho nuts. I think he killed one of his own marines. Maybe a it wasn't a ghost death sound though, was it? Anyway, we gotta get rid of John Doe. Yeah, Jeff H, you might be right about that. And John Doe was a slayer, so two slayers down to start us off. 
Ah, we're not surprised by that, Dark Knight. John Doe, uh, marches to the beat of his own drum. You want Fergus McDootson merch, Trevor? You want it on a mug? A shirt? What are you thinking here? The ghost killed an itself and an overlord. Well done, ghost. Just a reminder, falconpaladin.store, merch, high stream, says the store. If you go and check out and put in the code March Madness, you can get 15% off your order. Whether it's a Steve the SCV t-shirt or a Steve the SCV mug or a Terror the Overlord, Robert the Zealot, Thingamajig, whatever you are into. Maybe you just want a nice beanie. Those are nice. And again, the super warm embroidered hoodies are nice. People love these. Got different shades of greens and blues here. A lot of options. Payment options. PayPal, Google Pay. And again, code March Madness for 15% off your entire order during the stream. What's up, Chucky Prime? <laughs> oh, man. Smithly today, but voice is holding on. That's always good. Toy Cop recommends the black color for the super warm embroidered extra warm Falcon Paladin hoodie. I heard of mind control too, a settler. I'm going to guess that it was Gallons here. What did he pick up? Gallons have any? Oh, Gallons has a hatchery. All right, so Gallons is going Zerg. Oh, he's got Terran too. So Gallons is going. Th nope, 32A is going three races. Gallons might be mind controlling two here, but 32A is definitely going three race and taking the natural base of John Doe in the process. Hey, happy Mario Day, McLennolm. Uh, Chucky Prime, I don't know. This is, uh, it's basically Among Us in StarCraft. One or two of these players are phantoms, which means that their job is to kill everybody else and betray them. And then you gotta figure out who they are and kill them first. <clears throat> Sound of units coming in and out of cloak. <laughs> One of my favorite sounds in StarCraft, certainly. Jeff H says that shop pay gives him the, says he has cash to use, but never gives him the option to use it. I don't know, I don't know what shop pay is. I feel like it's like a Chinese option. Okay, this guy's doing something. What's up, Psycho Nuts? Nice! Jeff bought a shirt using the coupon code, I hope. Certainly. Psycho Nuts is just putting some fear of Terran into folks. Kind of play please says that both Savior Sword and 32A are sus. Ah! Ah! Gallons is going after 32A? Is that what this is? Who started it? It looks like it was Gallons that started this engagement. So Gallons going after 32A. Uh, Savior Sword is going after Gallons, though? Who's he hitting? No, I think he's attacking 32A. Oh, say, so Savior Sword and Gallons are moving out against 32A without really announcing anything at all. 
It could be that they are both phantoms working together. 32A is upset about this. <laughs> this turn of events. I like it. Uh, yeah. Are we? I mean, man, if it's Savior Sword again, Toy Cop's theory that it's always Savior Sword has more merit to it. Yeah, that's true. 32A has gone on rampages before without really explaining what's going on either. That stasis choke is pretty good. Is that ghost still here? Dude, if that ghost hits this choke, that'd be massive. But I don't see any... It's hard to see the blue. Everybody's scrolling around looking where on earth this is. Ah, where was that? Oh, no. Here? Must have been here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Look at that. Kitty stop by Sakunut says seven. What is he saying about seven? In fact, Gallant is throwing up some additional stuff. Oh, Chucky Prime, that is my oldest Mega Falcon. Nuclear launch detected. this nuke. <clears throat> Carrier's poking in here too. So 32A still being hunted. 32A says I'll help the phantoms out. <laughs> well, looks like Gallons is uh, feuding here with Dark Knight. I'm not sure the Dark Knight has enough to deal with this. 143 likes looking good. Where'd that ghost go? Oh, I think Ghost died. I think it was this guy. So, nuke canceled. Psychonauts, yeah, not happy about that. Losing that one, certainly. Yeah, so Gallons is just basically like, I'm getting attacked here by Dark Knight. With Guardians, which... Not a good unit. 32A still getting executed here. 32A is still insisting on their innocence. Which I tend to believe. And 32A is a slayer. That's three slayers down. Real Ultra, John Doe, and 32A are off the board. Gallon's just... Casually trying to take down Dark Knight without really going after these Guardians. Which you, I mean, if you're going to kill Dark Knight, I think you got to take down the Guardians. How can I be dead and still have a building, says 32A. Beats me. I have a whole base at 9. Oh. Said I'm dead. It's not done yet? Maybe your base has to be actually done instead of in progress? Are you King of Castle? No. Not King of Castle. Stasis, but Ling's against the Dragoons here. Dark Knight is holding. Holding on. A 
this counterattack. Oh, man. I don't think there's enough for them to kill each other. <laughs> Saber Sword's like, we gotta finish off Can I Play, please. Dead men tell no tales. That's great. What's this all about? What the? Psychonauts is just sowing chaos at this point. I'm not a screenshot. But what if you were a screenshot? Ow. So Gallons gets nuked. 32A is totally dead dead at this point. Still a slayer, mind you. I guess maybe Gallons might be the next one to go down. The next Phantom, I'm going to rush save your sword no matter what. Yeah, that was, was that all of his High Templar? That's not good for Gallons' future prospects in this game. He has a bajillion gateways, though. Are they all running? Can't tell. This is a lot of Guardian production for somebody who is on one gas. But also, I don't know what else he spent his gas on is the whole thing. Hmm, that's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, I don't know. Dark Knight still keeps making stuff. There's really only one basing. But these guardians keep replenishing. Gallons is like, I'm pretty sure it's Dark Knight. Dark Knight's like, no, it's not. Red is also sus. He doesn't fight at all in this game. It's true. Yeah, Rector's always, is always quiet. the one guardian pinging a nexus. I haven't picked numbers today, that's true. You've done a good job killing each other. That's certainly the case. 146 likes, looking good. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Psychonauts and Gallons are working together to take down Dark Knight. Savior Sword's not sure who to assist here. But it looks like Dark Knight's going to die anyway with the combined forces of Siege Tanks, Goliaths, Dragoons, Archons, Zealots, all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, these links are not really getting anything done whatsoever. They've got zero armor, one attack. I'm not even sure if they have Adrenal or not. I think Dark Knight's been focusing on Skyzerg for the most part. Is that a nuke up here? Gotta be, right? I don't see it, though. Oh, it was over here. ally him? No, they're just moving. They're move commanding in here to get more surface area on the units. We've definitely seen scouts in Phantom games. Are you kidding? had tons of scouts in Phantom games. Toy Cop's gone, gone mass scout at least 20 times in Phantom games. I mean, not today. All right, Dark Knight is another Slayer. So we are at the point where we've killed four Slayers. 
We've got four people remaining. And nobody knows who anybody is. Psychonaut says this is dumb. I think I can agree with that. So let's throw up a poll. It is poll time, friends. Who Phantom? Pull time! Green's got 3 3 3 ground and 3 3 air units. It's because Saber Sword always prioritizes upgrades. Nuclear launch detected. Oh gosh, what are we nuking, man? This guy. No, you are not, says Savior Sword. You are not nuking my face, my entire carrier fleet. Absolutely no. Looks like most of you think it's Savior Sword again. 65% of you are choosing him for now. Savior Sword's going after Psycho Nuts for daring to paint a nuke on him, which is, I guess, understandable. Dark Soul just says it's going to be a phantom win. Maybe. There's not a lot left here. Rufter's like, I don't know. I don't even know who to help at this point. It does get tricky. Nuclear launch detected. What are we nuking this time? Psychonauts? Oh, right here. The evac is almost complete, but not quite. High Templar, Fort Dragoons go down and a Nexus. Not enough real anti-air here to handle these carriers, though. Lockdown would be nice. Nice. Okay, x -Turn Raptor decides that, yeah, it is Savior Sword. Drops on him. Decides, finally commits to something. So Savior Sword might be able to finish off Psychonauts, but it's going to lose a ton of his production down here, too. Uh, carriers will be able to handle a Reaver Zealot army. There are a couple Corsairs here, but not really. Is Savior Sword maybe going to try to go back home? deal with this or are we I'm just gonna try to kill psychonauts and call it a day hundred forty seven likes Saber Sword says it's a 1 0. Oh my gosh. Is it Saber Sword? Saber Sword again! Holy Hannah! Saber Sword's got four Phantom modes in, or four Phantom selections in a row? Saber Sword, I don't think, even likes being Phantom. That sucks. That was nuts. Alright, so that's a GG. Unless we can't handle the carriers of Saber Sword, which is. Possible. Saber Sword has effectively as many minerals as he needs to keep making interceptors. So, what's the anti carrier army? It's going to be another round of dragoons from Gallons. His upgrades are 3 2 2, not quite as good as the 3 3 here for Savior Sword. But yeah, we need some scouts to be produced. Scouts and Dragoons are going to be good. Arbiters for Stasis will be good, but the Arbiters are just getting wiped out without really getting much done there. I'm not sure they have the energy for it anyway. A million cannons could be good, but again, the Interceptors, they're never running out. Savior Sword probably has, you know, 60,000 minerals in the bank right now. So Rector's losing all his stuff. His ability to Remax 
gonna be something for sure. All right, so here comes Gallon trying to deal with this. I don't think Psychonauts, he's making a couple raids to try to go for it, but man, I don't know. Yeah, it needs to focus on these Dragoons instead of trying to kill Zealots at this point if you're Savior Sword. But also, Savior Sword's buildings die. He's out, even if the carriers are alive. Ah, uh, so yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's any way Savior Sword's keeping these pylons alive. That one's gone, that one's gone. This one's very reverted into death, and that's GG. Bam. Oh. GG. It was Savior Sword. <laughs> Man, Toy Cop, Toy Cop's theory here. Looking good. Yeah, mined 67,000 gas and 92,000 minerals today. No phantom wins today, that's okay. We'll try again some other time. Time for FME stuff. We'll try to get a good game here. FMEs can be a little bit tricky to balance. We've had some games that are kind of ruffle stomps. We've had some games that are good. Can I play please in gallons? Hop in here too. Ah, fake gallons is here. We did it. One's lagging. Save your sword. The four phantoms in a row. Imagine that. Gotta get RJB in here. So we'll do this. Hey, what's up, Daniel AF? Uh, yes, we do. Aww. It was the wrong one. Sorry about that, Gallons. I was gonna put you in the lob or in the obzing anyway. Hmm. All right, what do we got? Can I play, please? Baby T Rex, Chad Goose, and Rude against PJ, Silver Wolf, RJB, and Hamster. That's a really good team. Really good team. Wait, who scavengers? Who are you? That's one of Gallon's alts. Gallon's came back in under a scavenger's rain name. Oh. So we split those guys up. Yondo is waiting. Got our 150 likes. Nice job. I think that's the first time we've gotten it in a couple of weeks. So thanks everybody for the 150 likes. Really appreciate it. We got the 150 likes stands in chat too from Toy Cop. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so can I play as baby? 
Can I play please? Baby T Rex, Chad Goose, Hamster, PJ Silver Wolf, RJB Rude. What's up, Boo Man? Okay, let's rock. Let's see what we get with this. Doing our best. And yeah, thanks everybody for hitting the like button, especially if it was a little tricky for you. If you're on YouTube TV, wait, if you're on, I don't know, like a Roku or an Apple TV or something, appreciate it. All right, so it's gonna be, yeah, left side, right side, team one is rude. We've got PJ, Taryn, RJB, Protoss, and then a Zerg player, Silverwolf. Or Sliverwolf, sorry. Team two is going to be Chad Goose Protossing. We've got uh, White Protoss, Baby T Rex, a Blue Terran, Hamster, and a Red Zerg. It is Can I Play Please? What's up, Jurlano? Happy, happy Sunday. RJB coaching his team up. Eight depot, eight gas. Can I play please request ally chat as usual? Thanks for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Yes. We cannon rushing down here. We are. So Sliver Wolf getting cannon rushed by Chad Goose. Spawning pool coming in. It was a hatch first to Rooney, so these pylons are problematic. Sliverwolf has dealt with cannon rushes before. We'll see if he can handle this from Chad Goose, who actually throws up a cannon defensively before he throws up a cannon over here. And actually, where are the probes? Did we lose the probe? Losing the probe is really detrimental to the cannon rush, y'all. Well, he's going for it anyway, but the pool is done and there are lings on the way, and there are sunken, so this was pretty ill fated from Chad in general. Alright, yeah, just fall back. There's a zealot coming in here from RJB to deal with the cannon rusher personally. Silverwolf's like, leave him alone. I'ma troll him. Hmm. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Looks like Rude is up here. Maybe trying to cannon in. Can I play please a little bit? That gets scouted. We'll see how successful that is. Uh, Chucky Prime. It's just... Someone's lagging. Sliverwolf is lagging? Uh-oh. Sliverwolf is lagging bad. This is just an RJB map. Uh, if you just use map settings with it, it just puts all of your teammates next to each other, which is nice. That's about it. I don't think it changes anything else. Huh, so Sliverwolf is out, and I'm guessing Chad Goose is out. That kind of evens it up. See you later, Sliverwolf. That sucks. Monster, what happened? <laughs> the anti-trolling. I'm going to troll that heck out of him and then, like, just dies. 
No, let's see. We keep it going. Let's see what happens here. RJB moving on baby T-Rex down here. A little bit of defense from baby T-Rex though. These cannons coming up would be super nice. RJB is jumping on and maybe try to kill them first, but really distracted by the defensive zealots here of baby T-Rex. Can he hold it? Is the question. Probes are fighting, zealots are fighting, cannons are finally warping in. More zealots keep coming in from RJB. Okay, it looks like maybe we've stabilized. It's not a ton of workers here. Obviously, the probes had to fight, which is never good for them, but maybe T-Rex stays alive, nevertheless. Hamster's got some marines and medics. He's trying to defend his buddy here. Baby T-Rex against the Zealots. Stimmed Marines, Medic Support, going to do pretty well there for sure. Somebody else lagging out? Who's that? Oh, someone. Rude. Ah, rude get... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Internet is hard, guys. Internet is difficult. Let's try it again. Goodness gracious. up real fast again. All right. Who did we lose? We lost Rude, but I think everybody else is in here. Striker pops in to say hello. What's up, Striker? Okay, so these teams, RJB Hamster, can I play play Silver Wolf is really too strong. So let's start moving some of this. Oh, PJ got kicked out. PJ's not. All right, let's start booting people. Death by cats. The cats kicked my PC and turned off the router. <laughs> yeah, cats don't belong in computer rooms, unfortunately. PJ, you want back in? Where is PJ? There's PJ. All right, PJ's in over Kokomi. Okay, so look. Let's... Let's talk balance. PJ and Silver Wolf can handle RJB and can I play please, says Dave C. Uh, cool. I don't know about that. I don't feel good about that, honestly, Dave C. RJB can, uh, RJB and can and Hamster can 3v5. Uh, that's pretty good. So swap RJB for Toy Cop? Sure, we can do that. Wait. No, I did that. Okay, I did it right. Uh, sure. Ara, ara. We've got a couple more things to do here. We're not done yet. T-Rex wants to get in because Gallons took his spot, I think. Somebody did. Dark Knight did.
RJB got dropped? What does that mean? RJB, come back. This is tough today, guys. What is going on here? Chat juice in. This is a weird FME, man. C Prime stink at SC. Oh, Chucky Prime. What's up, Chucky Prime? Sorry, Chucky Prime. Now he can't get in. Sometimes. Some crimes. Oh, he's in. Is he in? I think he's in. RJB goes boom. Who? Silver Wolf swap with baby T-Rex? Okay. Man, there is lag on swapping people out. That's not good. Okay, we good? We good. Silver Wolf RJB, PJ Dark Knight, Baby T Rex, Can I Play Please, Hamster Toy Cop. Yeah, no more cats. No more cats allowed near the router. No one's whining about balance, so let's give it a shot here. All right, we're back. Let's try this again. We've got RJB. Playing Protoss on a team with Dark Knight playing Protoss. Also, Silver Wolf's here, zerging it as usual. And then PJ is here. Uh, sorry, White Zerg player PJ versus Teal Zerg player Baby T Rex. Orange Protoss, can I play, please? Brown Terran, Hamster, Blue Protoss, Toy Cop. That's it. That's it. These are the teams. Dave wants Hamster PJ, Silver Wolf, Toy Cop versus RJB, Kind of Toy Plays, T-Rex, and Dark Knight. We're close. It's kind of close to that. I don't know, man. Maybe T-Rex pull firsting down here. Uh, hatch first on the bottom left for PJ. Another hatch first for Silver Wolf. A lot of Zergs. Oh, okay. Going to step away for a second. But let's keep an eye on this scouter. Be right back.
one's dead yet in three minutes, which is good. People are cannoning up, sunkening up, defending up. Some are being aggressive. RJB does have cannons to defend and also zealots for aggression as usual. Can I play plays is also doing the same thing. Let's see if there's anything crazy happening here. It looks like Silver Wolf. Gonna get absolutely just crushed here. Can I play please? Calls it out and it happens. Can I play please? Coming in. Hamster coming in. Medic support for zealots. There are two sunkens. Ah, I think Silverwolf was planning on making more. RJB coming in, trying to be like, hey, 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 leave Silverwolf alone. And okay, so they do go for the bait. They're going after RJB now. Just buying time for more Sunkins to come up from Silver Wolf. That's really good teamwork stuff here. Man, buying time for those sunkins, is it enough? Yeah, not looking good for Silver Wolf here. Dark Knight might come in and here assist. Some lings are popping out to fight here from Silver Wolf too, but man, hamsters, marines, and medics are doing some good stuff. Trying to get up additional sunkins to replace the ones that died, but man. Yeah, RJB's in here. Doesn't really, these Marines have been doing some serious work. Like crazy, crazy amounts of work here. The medics are healing like mad. Silver Wolf needs to. Oh, it doesn't have the pool. Can't sunken up. Oh, that's brutal. Ah, the drones are e back in. All of these creep colonies are getting wiped out, and the concerted effort. I mean, even Hamster Toy Cop is here. See you later, Silver Wolf. Rough stuff, man. It happens. A lot of DTs out from RJB. You try to sneak in here and take down Hamster? Yeah, but looks like there was detection and enough stuff to shut it down here. RJB says we gotta go somewhere else. Does Silver Wolf has anywhere else that he can go? Yeah, he's trying to build down here. Gonna build in PJ's base and try to make a home in this position. Uh, my thought on Zealot, the player, is that he's just funny. He's always fun to watch, but man, does he always go for crazy rushes. And so, like, you expect craziness out of Zealot. He brings the craziness. It's easier to stop because he always does it. Like, he did a super fast lurker rush against Light in ASL a couple weeks ago, and Light's like, I know it's coming. He just made five bunkers, and then he won. There was a crazy game with Zealot versus Scan that I cast that RJB sent to me. Let's see if I can find a link to that. Yeah, this one. He's can take down this Nexus, but not really get deep into here because of that cannon positioning. That's pretty good. EB, thanks for liking the stream. 158 likes so far. What's up, Ebster? Man, Hamster is monstering it right now. He is just busting. Oh my gosh, Dark Knight might just be the next dead one here. 
Boykop is in the mix here too, assisting. Not a lot here from Dark Knight. He's got a bunch of cannons. He's got a bunch of Dragoons here too, which is nice. Man, look at baby T-Rex making a move on PJ. With a ton of Hydras. No upgrades on the Hydras uh, on either side. So zero, zero Hydras. They probably all, everybody has range though, would be my guess. Yeah, Dark Knight's dead. So if Dark Knight's dead and Silver Wolf is dead, and PJ is dead, PJ's mad at Dark Knight for not being great. All right. GG. Nice storm, by the way. Yeah, look at this Marine. 12 kill Marine. But yeah, 13 kill Marine in the house. Good stuff. All right. So... Hamster does get storm dropped, Donks him down to 100 supply. <laughs> RJV says everybody sucks. Tough stuff. Tough stuff with the FME, man. All right. We're going to get a different team up, different people in for the next one. We'll get Ara Ara in there. Maybe we'll get Suga in there if he wants to play. Who else was asking? Yeah, baby T-Rex. Million Hydras. 177 supply in 10 minutes is pretty good play, sir. I think he even went pool first. Didn't even have to go hatch first to have this good macro. supply at nine minutes is pretty good and then maxed out just a minute later is not too shabby at all rjb does have high templar with some good energy levels here the mass hider is going to be able to bust it in hey what's up mad mark a little bit under the weather today feeling kind of sick but having a good stream otherwise rjb leaves and that's it blah all right, well, we tried our darn best there, but Silver Wolf getting attacked early and not being able to hold on was really problematic. But I mean, that's that's how the FMEs work sometimes. Looks like RJB's arguing with Monster about how to play. That's always fun. Okay, we're gonna get people in here who were not in the last games. So I must be booting people who were involved in that last one. Toy Cop made scouts? Nice. Saber Sword wants to obs. So put Refter in over Can I Play Please? We're actually just gonna boot Can I Play Please? Get people in here. Is Kokomi Ara Ara? Yeah, we're doing an FFA after this, certainly. Silver World was in the last game. I'm just gonna boot Hamster. Wait. Okay. Thanks, Toy Cop. Anybody else want in? Looks like nobody else is trying to get in, so I think we're good. Chucky Prime, get in, dude. I'll get you in. Sock. UED Sever is in. Okay, good enough. PJ out. Okay, Chucky Prime is going to be in over RJB. 
We're just totally mixing this up. And for more spots, though, we got... Okay, we're just going to boot both these. You guys can continue your conversation somewhere else. John Doe just left? Hmm. What the... Chucky Pro... Oh, all right. Cool. So we've got uh, two empty spots now. Dang it. Chucky Prime was like, I want to play. And he's like, nope. I don't. I hate fastest map. Toy Cop, get back in here. Who else wanted in? Okay. Kyra Lonis. Sure. Detroit Bolt takes the spot. I'll take it, man. Exton, Toma, Chad Goose, Kai. Uh, sure. I don't even know if this house is going to work. That's fun. I'm down with it. Okay. Let's go see how this works. None of the high profile fastest map players are in here. So this could get interesting. Dave C is rooting for Team One with Kyra Alonis. Okay, Team One is UED Sever. Thanks for subbing. Flip Bambino with a Prime sub. Nice, appreciate it. Welcome to the Sunday Brood War. We've got Sever. We've got Gallons. We've got Kokomi. We've got uh, Detroit Bulk. And then Team Two is going to be Kyra Alonis. X10 Rafter, Chad Goose, and Toma. Woo! Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff here. What's up, Flip Bambino? Thank you so much for the sub, and hey there, StarCraft fans, no doubt. The Sunday stream is in the house. Sniffly, so sniffly. Must rest. Teal, no. Out. <laughs> Chad is freaking out about a pro being in there. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice that we don't have super big names in here. We got some 70 APMs, a little bit of a 20 APM. A couple 200s rocking it, though, as well. So forge gate gate at the choke. Interesting. I mean, there are optimal ways to open with each race in StarCraft, but I don't know in this game if it really matters how optimal everybody is. Not even close. Overlord Purse from Kai to see what's going on. Got a hatch, got a pool. Toma is getting sunken rushed. Yes, getting sunken rushed by uh, UED Sever, but he's got sunken out. in the house, but it looks like a hold. Okay, good. That was a really solid hold by Toma. Good advice to pull the drones off to attack that, too. What's up? Cushed out. Hey, welcome back. Hope you're having a great Sunday. And Lloyd is here, too. Lloyd versus God StarCraft. Also back. Names I recognize. Popping up today. Good stuff. We're doing 4v4 fastest map here. Top versus bottom, Toma, Chad, Exton, Rector, Kai versus Detroit, Kokomi, Scavengers, Rain, and UED Sever. That's Gallons. Gallons is saying hello to Cushed Out. 
fellow uh, fellow weed enjoyer, I guess. Looks like Gallant wants to make a little bit of pressure here on making. Well, actually, let's see, Gallant versus yeah wants to do a little bit of pressure on Toma with his two sunkens and handful holdings shouldn't really be able to get anything done with this how do i join your clan uh join the discord server and then ask for a Uh, Clanager, yes. I believe that's an accurate way to say it. Toma's getting a Hydralisk done here on two hatches, one gas. Getting another macro hatch up. Zealot count big, but enough lings and enough sunkens to be... I think you're okay, Toma. Unless... UED severs in here too. <laughs> in which case, this could get pretty hairy. Okay, lings need to buffer. Sunkens getting some serious work done. Once the Zealots are dead, maybe... Oh, this is so tight. Uh-uh. Nope, too much. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. And it does look like Toma might just be dead. He's trying to get additional Sunkins here. Ah! Kokomi is here as well. Goodness. Yeah, man, Kokomi joining this party, like everybody is going after Toma today. Hydras are popping out with the sunken support, should be good. Hey, Exton Raptor is here to help, and so is Chad Goose. Hooray, finally somebody here to help Toma. Uh, Cyan Papish in the house. What's up, Cyan Papish? Welcome back. Having a great streaming day. Some really fun games for sure. I'm a little bit sick, but otherwise, this has been a good one, I would say. Good. We've gotten some aggression, but nobody's dead yet at six minutes, which is definitely what I like to see. It's like more aggression from Kokomi just showing up here with gateway units against defensive gateway units here uh, from Exton Refter, which is nice. I did not toy cop. I totally missed that. Lex, what's up, man? Ah, moving's the worst. I hope it's over for you soon, sir. Uh, yes, we've got free-for-all coming up later. We're going to do this. We're going to do a little bit of UMS, and then we're going to finish with a free-for-all. Correct. Zealot versus Zealot. It's kind of hard to see who's who sometimes, but it looks like Gallons is winning... Yeah, man. Poor Toma's just been abused today. There is a nice little counterattack against Gallons, though. Kai's in the mix. Chad Goose is in the mix. A little bit of a zealot, or rather, a zergling dragoon army. Kind of weird to say, but that's what it is. Looks like Toma... No, Toma gets saved again. Thanks to the power of Exton Rector showing up and saving his butt just at the last second. Very nice. However, the push into Gallons is pretty good. Gallon, his front door gets busted. He's got a couple cannons to fall back to, but it's not a lot of static defense. Trying to get in some more cannons, but... Gonna lose his Stargate, which he's okay with at this point. I mean, I really think these guys need to get up here and get on these cannons before they warp in. If they allow those cannons to come in, it's gonna be pretty bad news bears. 
Yeah, Gallons is just buying time, buying time, buying time for all of these cannons to come up, and he did it. Successfully managed to pull it off. The enemy wasn't quite able. Plus, a round of Zealot showed up from Gallons, too. That helped a lot. Who the lurkers are these? Oh, there's several lurkers. Okay. Cool. Unburrow, reburrow, unburrow, reburrow. So we've gotten some really nice teamwork here. People have been helping each other. No one's dead at eight minutes, which is also really cool. Kai sending a bunch of overlords out. They might be out here to die, though. I don't know if you want soul overlords just kind of sitting in the middle of the map. Spazzing out probe is spazzing out. Kokomi just really wants Toma to die. Exton Refter up at 140 total supply here. He's got a lot of production. He's looking pretty darn good. He's been able to assist his teammates. Hasn't really been attacked all that much either, which is nice. Sever's running around with some Hydras, which makes sense because we saw his Lurkers. He is throwing up more Macro Hatches to spend his money. I wonder how many workers he has, but it's a live game, so we don't know exactly how many he has. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good 4v4. Sever, once again, really wants Toma to die. Although, Toma's got his own decent Hydra army here. 0-0 zero, zero versus 0-0 zero, zero on the Hydras. Toma's recovered quite nicely from the early aggression that almost killed him a couple times. Uh, yeah. No, you know what? It's a team game. It's tough. I mean, what it really came down to in that last game was Silverwolf dying early because of the intense, intense, like, team-up that murdered him. And from there, it's just tough to 3v4, no matter what's going on. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame yourself for it. Hey, what's up, Jack? Welcome back. Hamster's Terran was really good. It's true, monster. That is tough. Marine Medic showing up that early is just like, you need a lot of suckins for that. Okay, everybody, once again, really wants Toma to die. These lurkers could finish up. It really helped. Probably a lot. Hamster's not in this game, Toy Cop. He's probably in chat, though. He is in chat, though. Looks like a bit of a counterattack down here. Chad Goose and Exton Refter making a move on Detroit Bulk. Sever's like, Blue's under attack. Yeah, but also we want Toma to die. We're willing to trade. We'll trade Detroit Bulk for Toma. I kind of want to call Toma dead, but I think I've done that a couple times already and I've been wrong about it. There's enough cannons here from Detroit that I think he can survive it, although... Refter's bringing some Reavers, which would be really good against these cannons if they just moved up a little... There you go. Wiggling up a little bit. 
Gallus has got a bajillion Dragoons he's fighting with. 1-1 one, one upgrades on those dudes. Picking off reinforcements as they try to come in. Somebody's lagging out a little bit here. I don't know who it is. Yeah, so Gallon coming in to defend Detroit Bulk. Should be able to do this. A little bit of Storm, though, from Exton Refter on those would be good. Ah, Ling's taking down a Reaver. Not ideal. Both Reavers die. Not ideal. All right. It's not the greatest reaction times. Oof, yeah, that lit. Oh my gosh, he survived again? He got some lurkers out. Toma is just refusing to die, and I respect it. Incredible stuff. Yeah, see? Uh, this is just a. It's just a take on fastest map. I think it's a take on space, but RJB has done some edits to it. Particularly, I think this is just an RJB Team League map that he created and sent to me a long time ago. So, Toma's at 42 supply, but he's not dead. Detroit and Kokomi are both around 50 supply, too, so it's not like he's alone down there. Sever's got a million hiders with 1-1. One, one. Carriers are out from Kokomi. 1-1 one, one upgrades from Gallons here, too. Like, Toma defending, oh yeah, defending his front door with Lurkers, just massacring these enemy lings. Lurker versus Lurker battles are a ton of fun, too. Wop, 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 wop. bit of a push here on Chad Goose, maybe? These carriers want to go in here, or are we just, my gosh, we're just going after Toma again. Yeah, I mean, Toma made it to the 15 minute mark, so I mean, doesn't really have, not like he died immediately, but this is still super frustrating for sure. done there and yeah this might just be it the lurkers are doing work but i don't think you can save all the buildings you can't kill everything nearly fast enough detroit bulk is down here again just getting overrun by kai and by exton refter these cannons are doing some good work though that's a good setup so toma is out that leaves chad goose exton and kai alone not good. Not looking good for them at all. Uh, Saiyan Papish. A lot of it is because you need a fleet beacon for the upgrade, and it's not a cheap upgrade. And, I don't know, we've seen a couple times players attempt to use Disruption Web on Terran, and it doesn't really work out. Sometimes we see Disruption Web used against Zerg on Outsider, particularly with the Sky Toss fleet, and it does seem to work. We've seen that work a couple times in the hands of Elite Protoss players, but... It just, it just doesn't last long enough, I guess, is the play. And the reasoning here. Sever's got uh, zero attack links with two armor, running into a bunch of Zealots. With 2-2-2 two, two, two upgrades, that's not going to work well for them at all. Pyrolonis is getting attacked now by Kokomi. Some carriers, some Dragoons. Gallons is in the mix here, too. Kai just needs to make stuff. Oh, but he gets Storm Drops. Never mind, it's harder to make stuff now. 
Yeah. Kai's down to 10 supply. Has an Ultralisk Cavern. Could make a whole bunch of lings right now, but I don't know if he's AFK or what. Never getting pushed by Exton Rafter, but also having to deal with Gallons on the other side too. It's Kokomi AFK. Maybe. Could be, could be. Uh, Joker says, what do you think of Legion? So, oh, the book. There's a lot of things called Legion. It's a very generic title. There was a TV show. There's a MCU character, Marvel character named Legion. There's a TV show that I watched a couple of years ago called Legion. But you're talking about the book. I really liked Legion. I think it was pretty good. I just finished um, No No Fear, which is the battle of Kalf. Is that what the planet is called from the Horus Heresy? Yeah, the battle of Kalf. Man, I like that a lot. Really enjoyed Cal. Yep, and a Mass Effect character named Legion 2. You are correct. Anyway. Yeah, I really think No No Fear is one of my favorite books of the Horus Heresy so far. But they've all been good. I thought Legion was pretty good. Certainly. Maybe not top three so far in my Horus Heresy reading, but I liked it. There you go, Saiyan Papish. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a player that doesn't really know how to micro out of Disruption Web very well, then certainly you can... You can win with it. I'm not going to tell you it's not viable. It's just harder to do at the pro levels, right? Uh, I don't know book titles very well, Somicron, but I really enjoyed... How I loved the John Grammaticus Alpha Legion book. That's probably in my top three as well. And then the last one. I don't know. I'm not sure what the third one in my top three would be. I have to look at it. What's up, Chad? Chad Chair Charrington. And Guns Grim, what's up? What's up? Happy Sunday, all. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Fulgrim. Fulgrim was really solid, but I'm not sure if it's top three either. Joker says first heretic, no no fear, and betrayer are his favorite. Fair enough. We'll get get there eventually. Anyway, what's happening here? Gallons is in the carriers. He's maxed out. So is Refter. Kai is being slowly, slowly pushed here. His money is gone. His economy is gone. Kai or Alonis is dead. So if Kai is dead and Toma is dead, it is not looking good for their team. Yeah? Yeah. Gallons pushing on Chad's attempt to do stuff on from the top side. Chad's kind of out across the map. And Sever's going to show up with a million guardians too to assist these carriers. A carrier guardian composition going after a Protoss is kind of interesting. <laughs> Somicron is cheating with his top three. Fair, fair. Or not fair, as it were. Yeah. Shad's dead. Refter's doing his best here. Got Reavers trying to make his own carrier fleet to deal with this stuff, but he's dealing with a Sever Gallons Detroit book, uh, Bulk Army. And the dominoes fall, as always happens in team games. All right, Joker gives us his top three 40k books. 
Nice, nice. Very good. I don't think I've read any of those, but probably will at some point. Unfortunately, Medi, I think we are not. We will not be doing any more today. Not any more FME today. We'll be back next week with more. If you want to join the Falcon Paladin chat channel on US West Battle.net, then maybe we can find people willing to do fast snap during the week too, or later today. Uh, Reavers certainly do that, Joker. Reavers love drifting in towards static defense like idiots. They'll do it. Those are the big ones, which is funny because they're both siege units, right? You'd think they wouldn't have this drift problem, but they do. Oh, it's kind of play, please. What's up, dude? I always forget your medi for some reason. I guess you don't talk in chat a lot. <clears throat> Gallons is sad he doesn't have a recall. Yeah, Raptor getting crushed. Balance is hard, Rafter. Sorry, man. We do our best out here. Sometimes we don't know the relative skill levels of the players involved, and that mm, screws things up too, but. Bup, bup, bup. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a steal the bacon game, and then we're gonna do free for all, and then I'm gonna go take a nap. That's the play today. We're gonna go over time on the stream because I love you, but only because I love you. If I didn't love you, I would not go over time. Nice job, Sever. I mean, Zeus. Z-E user? I don't know. How do you say your name? Steal the bacon. Password sock. Use map settings. Only four players can do this, though. So first come, first serve on this one. Save your sword gets it. Makes sense. Zeus. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. I don't know, Ara Ara. That's weird. Tomo wants in. Kind of play pleases here. And Striker gets the spot. Nice. Yeah, this is basically capture the flag. Joker. This is it. This is it. We'll see if people like this. We can do it again next week, possibly, but uh, we'll give it a try. We did do a replay of it last week. That was a lot of fun. So you got to bring the bacon back to your bacon beacon eight times. So it's a score of eight to win. We've got a score in the top uh, top left here. So top left corner is save your sword, playing as green Protoss as usual. Top right is can I play please with the red Protoss. And then Toma's in the bottom right, playing white Zerg. And then Kokomi, bottom left, playing pink Protoss. So save your sword, pretty strong. Can I play please as a monster. Toma, pretty good. Although it did get beat up in the last game so much, it's hard to tell sometimes. And then Kokomi... Not really strong in fastest map, but we'll see how this goes in more of a standard. Although they get two gas, so it's a little bit of a faster situation. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if Can I Play Please just wants to like kill everybody else. I mean, that's a way to win. Yeah. Yes, it is.
worker fights in the middle. Agreed, Toy Cop. So here's your bacon beacon to return the flag to if you can get one. Is it a seven minute timer for the first? I guess it is. Seven minute timer for the first flag and then from there it pretty much immediately respawns as soon as it's been captured. So you can just kind of park on it. If someone's already taken the flag, park on the beacon and then once they capture it, you can just pick up one and go. like the northern players are expanding southern players not so much which I'm not all that surprised by Toma just waiting 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 all right so there's about five minutes here before that's up let's just get a wide view on this see who comes into the party and I'll be right back Uh, yes, the 15-minute no-rush. Good times. Look at this, though. Toma. Nope. Kokomi's in here building cannons around the spawn point. That's kind of interesting. Interesting strategy here from Kokomi. Hydra's running in from Toma, trying to deal with this. Yeah, 99, 2000, 2001, there was a lot of No Rush 20 back when uh, the Brood War online plaything was in 2001, certainly. Save your swords like, hmm. Kind of play please is like, hmm, what's he doing? He's going to throw up double Stargate. He's going to go like mass carrier here off of the three gas because you get three gas, right? Two in your main base and then one in your nat. Not exactly optimized. You have to get an extra probe down there, but that's okay. And then you just, you know, go ahead, let people take a couple steals, and then you just get a maxed out carrier fleet, park here, and then, like, nobody can do much about it, you know? I'm feeling that's, like, going to be Can I Play Please's strategy. Hmm. 
Yep, people used to respect No Rush 20, it's true. Okay, that's it. Flag up. I don't know that Kakomi has a probe to go steal it. Maybe this one's gonna try. Nope. Kakomi's just like, if I can't have it, nobody can. <laughs> yeah, fleet the. Oh, no, it's scouts. It's kind of play please memeing with scouts today. I know the Sunday Falcon Paladin stream scout guarantee was already fulfilled, but I don't think I looked at it on screen. So this is the technical fulfillment of it because people can actually see it. Yeah. Toma. Ooh. And then in all of this chaos, Kakomi tries to steal the flag after all the stuff is dead. That's funny. Anybody else have a probe around? Saber Sword's bringing one in. Toma's got a drone in the general vicinity, but he's not going for it. And Saber Sword's like, huh? Nope. <laughs> drone, go! Go, 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 buddy. Come on. Go, buddy, go. Richard's back. He remembers 15 minute no rush. I think I always saw a 20 minute no rush back in the spring of 20, 2001 when I was doing a lot of that stuff. Back in the day. And looks like Toma gets a point. Here we go. Run. Run, little drone. Pull that flag for all you're worth. Yeah, Windows 98, Pentium. Mmm, yes. The good old days. And Toma. Point. Nice. Now the flag immediately spawns. I'm surprised Saber Sword doesn't have a probe ready here to grab it. Toma's trying to get some lurkers out. Like I said, can I play please? He's like, you guys do whatever you want. You have a good time. Eight. Eight steals to win. And he does. Okay, so Saber Sword gets a steal here too. There's a lot of him. A lot of engagement in the middle, but there's no detection, so these lurkers are reigning supreme at the moment. Uh, no. Nope. For some reason, the I think the beacon shows up. Yeah, the beacon shows up as white. Toy Cobb. Oh, no way. And then Toma gets a point next. So we're just going back and forth here. At some point... These scouts will have speed, and they'll be way more effective. But, yeah, can I play please is memeing even harder than I thought he was. He's just going to go for a mass scout shenaniganry here. Hey, what's up, Franklin? Long-time member Franklin. What's up, dude? Betting on Save Your Sword, it's... I mean, it's got to be can I play please, though. Lurker burrow in. Toma, come on, bud. There we go. Does burrow in. Getting some nice spines off. Oh, he's tried to lurker siege and lost a lurker. F okay, lost two lurkers for it. Lurker sieging is dangerous, man. Just, you're good. Run! Ugh. Okay, lost a Dragoon for it. And snipe. <laughs> All right, the Mask Scout snipe is here. We've got OBS. And then the Scouts are out. Where is the speed upgrade? It takes forever. This is, he can't be going for anything other than the speed upgrade, though. It's the best upgrade for the Scout. The Like, the sight range upgrade is like, whatever. Hardly matters at all. Okay, so flag hotly contested here. Hydras, dragoons. Toma is supply blocked. I think. Ooh, I think that show. I think that was speed is done. Speed is done! Hooray! Scouts are viable now. Yeah, too bad scouts can't pick up the flag. That would be nice. Scout ball. Plus one attack and plus one uh, plasma shields here. He has enough to one volley down. He has enough to one volley down Hydras, I think. Ooh, 
tried to... Oh my gosh, lost the probe inside the shuttle, too. It was a good attempt to get the old flag, but the old flag is unclaimed. We got quick three points. This fourth point has been really contested. There's still Lurker sitting here. And Savior Sword is trying to maybe cannon his way in here. I don't know. Just make an ob, then come wreck it. It's only two Lurkers, man. Okay. Can you pick it up? You can pick it up once... No, we saw that. We saw that in the game that we did last week. You can totally pick up a worker with a flying, carrying something and get a point that way. All right. Good, good. Why is he hiding it? Is he... Can I play please just stalling? Yeah, Lurker's burrowing in a range of cannons. Not going to work out for them particularly well as they all go down here. Why is Can I Play Please parking this shuttle over here? Can you even see that? You can see that. Scout army looking pretty scouty. Can I Play Please? Why are you parking this shuttle over on the side of the map, sir? What is the play here? He's like, I want to clear this out. I don't know. He's down here trying to supply block Toma, and he does. He gets the supply block off. It's not a huge supply block, but a supply block nevertheless. Spores and Hiders defending against that stuff. Kokomi's got a bunch of Dragoons out, a bunch of Dragoons and Zealots here from Savior Sword. Kokomi's still on one base, trying to go two gas. Two gas carrier, big time sneeze. I hope I muted for that. I'm pretty sure that I did. Woof, woofity woof, woof, woof. It's a free for all capture the flag. Yeah, I. Pretty sure there was a capture the flag UMS that shipped with Brood War back in '98. So if you never saw it, I guess maybe you just never dug into that folder or never played everything that was in there like I did back in the day. So the problem is, Joker, is that the replays for Wings of Liberty do not work anymore. In fact, there are a bunch of oh, as of okay, Saber Sword makes his own scout. There are a bunch of Legacy of the Void replays that don't work in the game anymore. The client will not load them at this point. So I don't know. I'm not even sure how to view older replays at all. I think it'd be fun. I wouldn't mind doing it, but I haven't found anybody who's come up with a solution for that problem. Like, there's a solution to that problem for Brood War. You might have seen me posting some videos about, uh, like, 1.08 replays and stuff from 2003. 2001, 2002, like super old stuff. And that's because somebody did invent the StarCraft uh, switcher, it's called. It lets you just install different versions of Brood War and load the replays for that. But I don't think there's a way to install different versions of StarCraft 2 is the problem. Uh, maybe if somebody has an old executable of Wings of Liberty, you could install that and load an old replay, but I don't know. He's still parking this. Where is the stupid flag? I don't know. The Can I Play Please has infinite plus two scouts at this stage. Ah, Storm is good, though. Anything splash dammy is going to be good against these guys. Splash dammy, splash damagey. I guess the flag is in one of these shuttles. Shield batteries up. I'm guessing there's a probe in this one. And then the flag's in this one. So what he wants to do is unload here, cap, and then have a probe ready to go to get it again. But now save your sword from marching on his door. Oh, man. 
Under six hours, not enough for Falcon. out here <laughs> how how did he end up out here exactly okay that's really funny kokumi sees it with the obs but i'm not sure kokumi is watching the, the mini map that close look at this chasing 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 run run all right here's the flag Scourge. <laughs> Both. You just can't just walk in here with a worker. Good snipe on the heights of far. Don't want to fight these dragoons, though, still. And no, say the scouts. Absolutely not not getting that. He's trying. Once again, that probe gets sniped. I think the DT sniped it, actually. This is, man, really hotly contested. So, 2-2-1. Two, two, so, can I play please has two. Save your sword has two. Okay. It looks like Save your sword might at this point. Saber sword staring at it. High Templar is getting a storm off before getting sniped. That is an injured little group of six scouts for sure. Saber sword says, "All right, bring a ton of probes down. They can't kill all of us, and they can, but I'm not sure the attempt is going to be made. Can I play please even following this? Kokomi's carriers are here. Got four of them." Four cannons don't really stand a chance at that point, do they? No. And Savior Sword just walking back, getting the point. Not a big deal. Interceptor count not particularly healthy because this is only four carriers to cap. Saber sword caps. And then grabbed again. Ah, uh, and then grabbed again. Alright. Three stills. Gonna get up to four here. Halfway to eight. So far, so good. Can I play please? Getting a third base on this right side. Still has a giant ball of scouts. And by that I mean not even twelve. Uh, but does have actually three up there. So it does have twelve. Just not all part of the same group at this point. <clears throat> Some lurkers wander in, but... DT, Zealot, Dragoons, wipe it out. Toma not quite able to pull that off. And is it another return for five? Savior Sword is unstoppable. Savior Sword is on a killer streak right now. Where is this probe going? Probe. Probe, buddy. He doesn't want to return it yet because he doesn't have a probe down here yet. Now he does. Now is the time to return it. Save your sword. Buddy. Okay. There's the return. And there's the pickup. And there's the retreat. Let's f and by that I mean we go. There we go. So, man, six. So, save your sword. Just kind of sort of going to win this, sir. Got the three bases rolling. Kokomi still has... Uh, nope, still on two base. That's okay. Totally fine. It looks like Toma wanted to expand up this right side, but no, not allowed. Oh, no, Franklin. What'd you get pulled over for? Gotta hate that.
Okay, fine. So I guess Savior Sword just wins. I mean, unless somebody wants to contest this middle in some way, Savior Sword's gonna get eight points. He's got seven. Well, he's just pretty much got seven already. I'm not sure what Can I Play Please is waiting for here. You can see the score too, right? Does he know that Savior Sword is one point away from winning this thing? Savior Sword could just blanket this with cannons and just make it virtually impassable. Alright, here we go. Carrier battle happening. Probe cares not for your carrier battle. Your friend ran a stop sign. Ah. Well, she didn't get pulled over then. Her friend got pulled over, I guess. All right, GG. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. That was weird for sure. Randolph the Gray and eight raiders have joined. Welcome to the Sunday stream for the Brood War, Randolph the Gray. Hope you had a great stream. It's been a good one here too. We are on hour six right now. And we're just gonna wrap this thing up with a free for all for the last one of the day here. Last thing, it's probably gonna be about an hour. It's usually what they are. Falcon Unrest is the name of the map. We've been there for a minute, so let's go ahead and grab it from the folder. Falcon Unrest Four, as edited by Litany Against Fear. Brood War always goes burr, Randolph. Thank you so much for the raid. Carriers are not invincible, says Ara Ara. Is true. Definitely not. Okay, so we go ahead and free for all this sucker. Extended unit limits password is sock. Let's see who's in here. 32A made it. Gallons made it. Savior, Baby T-Rex, Toy Cop, John Doe, Kyro, Lonis, RJB. Detroit, Bulk, Strikers down here. friend doesn't have a license. Oh, someone's going to jail, possibly. Yeah, driving without a license and running a stoplight or stop sign is, um, I don't know. I feel like that might be some jail time, honestly. Like, driving without a license is one thing, but doing that and getting a moving violation is bad news bears, dude. That's horrendous. Let me go give you a follow, Randolph, real quick. Bam, following Randolph the Gray. All right. Thanks for the follow, Randolph, as well. Good call, Suga. That is advice. All right, look. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Striker in because he hasn't played today in over Kai. Detroit bulk we're gonna put over in over can I play please if he's offering it to okay good fair oh t-rex wanted out well too late wait 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 your friend was driving the whatever your girlfriend's friend was driving somebody else's car without a license and around a stoplight? That's insane. Alright, rock it up. We good? We're good. 
He did not make the map. I'm pretty sure. Okay, here we go. Free for all. Let's rock. Free for all. Falcon unrest. <sighs> With a lot of good names in here, too. Alright, so left side gonna be a red Terran player. Can I play please? We got a purple Terran player right next door. Striker. Brown Terran. A lot of Terran. Your mom, China, who is John Doe. A dark blue Protoss is Detroit Bulk. Should have guessed. We got a pink Protoss on the right side, 32A. A blue Protoss right side, Toy Cop. A teal Protoss player, RJB. And another Protoss player, Gallons. So right side is nothing but Protoss, which is interesting. And left side is basically, yeah, it's three Terrans and a Protoss. So left side is Terrans, right side is Protoss. No Zergs at all, which is annoying. RJB is mad about this. I don't know. I feel like this spot never dies first. This spot dies first all the time. This spot dies first all the time. And I think these two middle ones generally get ignored for the most part. The aggression is not not as much of a problem. can't do two FFAs today, Toma. I'm sorry. I am already at six hours. I am already feeling it. Again, less than six hours of sleep last night. I slept less last night than I have been streaming today, which is not great for me. Also, I am sick. I need rest, but this is going to get worse for tomorrow, and nobody wants that. So, unfortunately. Why is there a sand crab on a space station? Nobody knows. RJB is going to make no units. I mean, you're making probes. Don't lie to us, RJB. Yes, I am old and I do need a nap, Somicron. Sleep when recovering from illness is important. I was sick yesterday and I didn't sleep last night. That's not good. <laughs> Striker's got an SCV doing a bit of a breakdance back here. Detroit Bolt defending against early aggression. Who is being early aggressive, though? Is that the wrong color of guy? No, that looks like a guy. It looks like a toy cop guy. Is that coloration difficult to tell sometimes? I uh, was casting Professional StarCraft 2 last night. Uh, it was awesome. Stats is back, like the best Protoss player of all time in StarCraft 2. So that was really fun to cast him. And it's late because we're casting Koreans and it needs to be a good time for them. So I cast that until about 1 a.m. And then it was daylight savings, so I lost an hour there. And then I was up at 7.30 to cast this at 8 o'clock my time. So, yeah. I mean, I got maybe five and a half hours of sleep. But tis the nature of trying to juggle StarCraft 2 and Brood War and everything. Yeah, no zerg. Sad. Sad face. RJB got scouted by somebody or he scouted somebody? One of the two. Man, people are not happy about Kung Fu 4. 
I've seen a lot of people that I follow on YouTube and Instagram say that it's like the worst kung fu movie so far. But what fourth movie is the best of a four movie series, right? Ah, oh, thanks, Sap4. Thanks, Toma. Can I play please kill the critter? It's over. We got a oh, we got a C T V T left side, PvP right side. Are we surprised by any of this? No. Can I play please has his marines and medics? Oh, see look! Toy cop dead. What did I tell you about this spawn location? Did I tell you this spawn location is cursed? It always dies. Yep, this spawn every time, and this spawn gets double teamed every time. I told you. It's a horrible spawn location. Rocky 4 is good. Mad Max 4 is the best. What the heck is Mad Max 4? Goblet of Fire? No. Goblet of Fire is not even, like, top four best Harry Potter movies, I don't think. Nope. Then Toy Cop is back into his argument about who you're supposed to attack in a free-for-all. Yeah, so 32A is in here ruining him. Gallons was in here causing problems too. Who gets the resources though? Is Fury Road Mad Max 4? There are three Mad Max movies before Fury Road? I didn't know that. I thought there was one Mad Max movie and then they made Fury Road. There are three of them? Dang, son. My understanding of the Mad Max franchise universe franchise is woefully out of date. Fury Road is great. I really like Fury Road. There's a uh, Furiosa movie they're making with Anya Taylor-Joy starring in that. I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Look, if it's this spawn that dies first and then this spawn that dies... Oh, I don't know. Striker holding. Striker holding. Can I play, please? Push it on gallons, though. Somebody's lagging. Huh. Mad Max Road Warrior and Thunderdome. Fair enough, Joker. I am now educated on the Mad Max cinematic universe. Holy smokes. And gallons is out. Striker's not going to take down Cannon Play, please, is he? He's got some bunkers to fall back to. That's going to be really tough for these Marines to break, so no. And right side deaths are dead. What's up, Flip Bambino? Shot, reverse shot. Oh, but guess we can break bunkers. Dude, if Stryker takes out Can I Play Please, I'm going... Man, whoever put money on Can I Play Please is really mad right now. He is usually a favorite in these free-for-alls. But... I don't know about this, man. Play Police is probably working on his own siege mode. Striker tries to bust this bunker and does. I don't know if he needed to do that, though, is the thing. 
More tanks are joining this party. Siege tanks pushing here on Detroit Bulk 2. Detroit Bulk getting killed by John Doe. What else is happening over here? I don't know, hamster. Just because people are dying early, I don't think that means it's going to be over super soon. Like, we've definitely had games where four or five people are uh, die early, but then it kind of turns into like this stalemate <clears throat> across the board. thing I'm working on, but stuff's happening here, right? Right. He's cockroaching to the corners. RJB's expanding to the corners. It's not a cockroach to the corner, so it doesn't really count that way. Can I play, please? Is cockroaching to the top corner, which is good. Hey, Jakey. Sorry, man. All right. What do we got here? I guess we're just kind of cleaning out what's left of Toy Cop. Not a big deal. <laughs> Massacre of the Bear. He's talking about Can I Play Please? He's not dead yet. He has not been massacred entirely at this point. This map is good for cockroaching. Which, I don't know. If we want to make... I don't know. If we want to make this a situation... A thing where it doesn't take forever... Maybe we'd get shorter free-for-alls if these island corner bases just didn't exist. I don't know. 32A is up here. Just Why did RJB build cannons on Gallons' base? That is such a confusing setup. All right. Fair enough, I guess. Like, I don't want to... Oh, did he say he wasn't going to... Oh, he's making carriers. Like, does he just say he's going to make units? I don't know. Very strange, though. Ah! Can I play, please? Got found. And can I play, please? Does tap out thanks to Detroit Bulk's single carrier finding him. That's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. That's what took him down. What's up, Simon says. 
Uh, hamster likes the cockroach potential. I can understand that. I don't know. Maybe we'll take a vote. Like I said, we've s we've settled down here, right? Some people died early, but I don't see anybody else dying all that soon. Unless it's Detroit Bulk. He's pretty vulnerable, but also he's cockroaching. And thanks for calling out that John Doe's going nukes, because someone always goes nukes in this these free-for-alls. Without a doubt. Oh, we do have RJB kind of carrier pushing 32A down here. I don't know if there's enough <laughs> enough to stop this from happening. Right? Right. Hamster could have allied with Can I Play Please. I'm not sure that Can I Play Please... Oh, nice drop. That Can I Play Please is someone... I don't know. I'm not sure if he's someone who's allied before. He is cockroaching up this left side. Yes, his other cockroach base is totally dead. RJB. Oh, but what's in danger? The nuke silo is in danger by these carriers. The Ursodon? Suga? Sorry, you said that like a while ago. <laughs> the Usu. Usu. Ursadon. 32A as usual. Mining everywhere. 32A likes taking as many bases as humanly possible. And RJB just doing RJB stuff. Okay, so I mean, at this point, it's basically RJB at 145, 32A at 155. John Doe's pretty big, but being harassed. Striker pretty much owns this top left corner. And my gosh, John Doe is just hunting, hunting Detroit here. Yeah, if nobody stops you from stealing, then why not? All right, I think Detroit Bulk might just be well, hiding a pylon, but not worth it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, GG out here. He does see GG, but he doesn't leave. Somebody's lagging. I think 32A could get a whiff of where this is. 
Can I play please this last command center getting destroyed? Uh, not very often, Simon. Not really anymore. I used to kind of play every once in a while, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm a little bit too slow these days. Lockdowns. Love a good lockdown. Striker's having a good time. I'm glad. I'm glad Striker got in here. Where do the toss warp in their buildings from? And yeah, like Toy Cop says. Depends on where you are in the timeline in the StarCraft universe. JB, just carrier harassing as per usual. But yeah, we've got some big chunks going on here. 32A is maxed out. Just cockroaching everywhere. Four Dark Archons are up for 32A, which is pretty fun. to take back iron? So yes, bottom line, the end of StarCraft 2 kind of ends with higher cities getting rebuilt. So it was reclaimed, it was retaken, and with Amon destroyed, it can be re reclaimed. gets reinfested. Ooh, that's a nice nuke dot. I like that one quite a bit. Yeah, but he sees it. Certainly. got destroyed um yeah they basically fled back to earth and i think the official lore is that they were all destroyed by kerrigan before they made it back to earth at all so the uh the well okay 
So the United Earth Directorate, as it exists back in our galaxy, right? Back in the whatever sector they call Earth is still around. But the expeditionary force that was sent to the Caprulu sector is dead. Everything is dead. So, yeah. There, I mean, there could be another chance for another expeditionary force from Earth, from the UED to come out to the Caprulu sector again. High ground carriers, man. Like, how many times are we going to see high ground carriers today? This is like the fourth or fifth time. It's really good. Why 32A is Detroit Bull gets wiped out? I like that RJB is going DT carrier. That's really fun. The French sounding general was uh, De Gaulle. Wasn't he? Nuclear launch detected. Or am I thinking, yeah, Gerard de Gaulle. He was the military leader as the commanding officer of the UED Expeditionary Fleet. He, nice nuke, he underestimated the Zerg, he underestimated the Protoss and got his butt kicked. Um. I think there was some Russian going on, but de Gaulle is a pretty French name. Yeah, I think Stukov. Stukov was Russian. Yep. Save your sword says it was the Stukov. Let's go ahead and throw up a poll here. Who wins? 32A is pink. RJB is teal. John Doe is brown. And Striker is purple. It's a good one. It's a good result here. Carrier <laughs> kind of taking it to Striker here. Stukov was very betrayed. The story of Stukov is a sad one. Yeah, the writing in Brood War was good. All right, so that means I think I found our ghost, which means I think I found our dot. We did find our dot. is kind of just getting picked apart at least in this main base D the DT setup is nice a couple ghosts get wiped out by RGB's carriers what does striker have I mean that's his production right he's trying to rebuild it down here but if its production is toast his ability to produce off of this 2000 mineral 900 gas bank is tough <laughs> is he still Detroit bulk is still down here or is he gone I think he's gone. I'm pretty sure his last... No, his building is here. But he has zero supply remaining. Nuclear launch detected. Does this feel like a defensive nuke to anybody else? Although I think a ghost died. So I'm not sure. Six o'clock-ish there's a nuke? 615, huh? I have no idea where that was. Okay, cool. Dark Archons died. That's worth. That's a good nuke. A couple more Dark Archons down here. Lockdown catches that Arbiter. This battle between 32A and John Doe is pretty intense. 
Man, and this carrier fleet just kind of sweeping through Striker is a major problem for him, too. Okay, hold on. Siege tanks, Goliaths doing what they do. Americans in space, nuclear launching. Don't like where this is going, says Ara Ara. No, I imagine not. Dave C's on board. He's on board with nukes in space like the good American that he is. 32A has 18,000 minerals and 10,000 gas. And, yep, I agree. Way more gateways are required. Running on four stargates is nice. Four gateways is something here, too. Thirty-two A is the Phantom. Look at their bank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good call, Hamster. Yeah, specifically targeting Striker here is RJB. Is always a W, even in L's. That is some philosophical belief, isn't it? I don't know if Striker's gonna be able to hang on much longer. I mean, if we fly our carriers directly into missile turrets for no reason, that might do. Striker mad about it. Who won the last one of these? Is it Can I Play, please? No, there are a lot of people out here on the map. Nice, Jack. We have rain fire. Rain it down good, dude. Okay, so 32A got the win the last time we were on Falcon Unrest. Good deal. A little bit of harass here, but again, 32A has enough of a bank and is working on two armies, too. RJB's trolling. Accurate statement, RJB does troll a lot. We did what we did a different free-for-all map last week. Was it I think we did critters last week, didn't we? John Doe is going after some of the stargates of RJB. RJB, I don't know that really he could care any less than he does. His are previously injured. I don't think that's enough to wipe this one out, though. But it is enough to wipe that one out, and this guy too, and bring this guy down super low. My goodness. Oh yeah, did Kaya Rolinus officially win? Ah, it was Turbo last week. That's right, Toy Cop. That was a phantom mode you're thinking about, Dave C. There was a phantom mode where Kai won because Toy Cop went after John Doe. We had a big old discussion about that. RJB accusing people of stream cheating as per usual. Detroit's like, I'm just happy I killed Can I Play Please? As you should be. That is a happy moment for sure.
Gallons just made a sick dink meme and put it in the uh, Brood War channel on the Discord server. So if you want to see it, join the Discord server. Yeah. Yoshirio, that is a great scene, certainly. <laughs> Yeah, 32 A's in here trying to take down John Doe. It's just, it's PVT's galore right now. Striker supply blocked. He's under 100 supply. 81 supply here for John Doe, too. It might just come down to carrier versus carrier battles, which are not a ton of fun, I guess. Ugh. <clears throat> getting pushed by 32A a tiny bit. But like, nah. I love this tank wandering past a cannon. Just, there's so much chaos going on. It's just like, Murph, 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 Murph. No one ever attacks RJB, says Striker. <laughs> oh, the complaining. I enjoy the complaining in free-for-alls on some level. RJB is like, soon. You mind this map out yet? No. There are still some minerals here. There are still some minerals here. So no, definitely not mined out, but we're working on it. We're trying to mine this map out. It's a tricky one sometimes. Looks like most of you thinking, I don't know, 45%, 32A, 40% RJB on the poll results. Nobody thinks John Doe or Striker have it. Again, Terran's struggling. Struggling mightily. Poly Optimize says 32A is the Phantom. Yes. That's a good, good consistent joke that's being made right now. Nicola, greeting to Bulgaria. What's up? Hope you're enjoying the StarCraft. Hamster says it feels different to be in the game than watching the game. That is true. Truth be told. RGB's down here. He's got a 322 upgrades. 321 upgrades for 32A's carriers. Hey, 32A and RJB are finally meeting. This is going to come down to stasises, though, isn't it? Not a huge fan of the stasises. When carrier fleets meet, there's a reason we don't see carrier versus carrier in PvP ever in Brood War. RJB says, I don't need Arbiters. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Has some thoughts about this.
Is there a tentative alliance here between John Doe and RJB? No. I think he just said, I don't need arbiters. That's all that was. Okay, fair enough. JB back on the murdering striker. Well, this DT on a mission, like fully detected by striker here. Just like, I don't care. I'm a moving. Let's go. It's wiped out. <laughs> What's up, Vesselin? I mean, RJB's losing some territory here. That would be funny if 32A saves for Yeah, 32A saves Striker by killing all his buildings. Gallons, I agree, but like, remember that game where 32A was Zerg and had a ginormous bank and lost? Like, banks can be depleted here, man. Yeah. Yeah, gallons. I think I just remember specifically 32A was a Zerg, was like up here, had like a lot of queens and defilers and hiders and lurkers and stuff, and a huge bank, and then in a blink of an eye. Striker is so mad that RJB is murdering him. Is 32A going to join this party?
here it is, man. No arbiters from either player. Can I play, please? Has taken the bait. Has taken the challenge. And it is looking... I can't even tell, man. Whose carriers are winning this? Oh, definitely 32A. It's like 10 to 4 carriers. RJB is plummeting down to 77 supply. His carrier fleet is down to 1. And can I play... Or, ugh, I'm so used to can I play, please. It's 32A. Gets it, man. Oh, RJB sniped the Arbiter. Oh, well, it turned out that we did get the carrier versus carrier battle anyway. Fair enough, fair enough. Lockdown. Hey, you came. Oh, you didn't. I was going to say you came into John Doe's house. No, you didn't. He came into your house and he locked down your stuff. Yeah, it looks like 32A has the Save Your Sword just taps out. 32A is like, well... This game's over, and it is. I really don't... It's not over till it's over, says Kai, but I don't know, man. RJB all up in here with six carriers, 4,000 minerals, 9,000 gas... No Stargates to reproduce carriers, but a bunch of shield batteries to fall back to. So, John Doe hanging out. He's still got some minerals. His gas bank is basically nothing here at 95 supply. He is doing some mining from expired refineries, which is good. 32A has 32,000 minerals, or did, up until he spent a whole bunch here. Yep, RJB has no production. He can make probes. He's making cyber cores, trying to rebuild his tech tree here for sure. Two A making a final push, maybe a final push here on John Doe. Really worried about lockdowns again. Understandably so. I mean, RJB has a bunch of pylons on the right side and a gateway, so that's it, man. If you can get like ten scouts, says Dave C. doesn't have that three air armor 32a doesn't maybe that will be a problem yeah i mean it helps that 32a spawned in a location that is traditionally pretty good i mean didn't spawn in like one of the three or four horrible spots you know how does he have 218 supply uh, i'm gonna guess he's been mind controlling and has like some tanks or something i don't know Let's see if we can find if he's got any sneaky hatcheries or command centers anywhere. But first of all, oh, he's going to snipe down RJB's. Oh, RJB's uh, shield batteries are going to go down. That's not good for him. He needed those. Straight 3 o'clock is literally just a nexus and some pylons and a gateway. You can kind of see it there.
Yep, Toy Cop, you got the wrong spawn for that, bud. I'm sorry. So we're kind of base racing, but RJB has a million times less than what 32A has. Back up to 32,000 minerals, by the way, and oh, 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 the stasis. The stasis. Oh, it is glorious. And I hate it at the same time. More stream snipe accusations as per usual. Um, I don't, where do you want to move it, hamster? Is the question. Is RJB killing his own? Yeah, he's killing his own pylons to make room for a cybernetic score, which is fun. Alright, RJB. Individual carriers being targeted down. it. I think RJB is dead. John Doe on the final stand here. Lockdowns are coming down. Catching Arbiter. Ooh, the Arbiters get locked down. That's Pretty solid hit, except there's so much detection from these turrets, I'm not sure it matters. Unless you're trying to prevent lockdowns or something here, but this is just, it's money, right? Not a lot of money here from John Doe, and infinite money from 32A, so even if you do manage to defeat this carrier fleet... I'm just not sh you just can't remax, right? There's just no way. Are these dropships empty? That's what I would like to know. Yeah, John Doe taps out, and that's it. 32A is your winner in 51 minutes in a free-for-all on Falcon Unrest. Who the heck is still here? RJB? Somehow? No? No. Detroit Bulk? I keep seeing some blue over here, but I don't see any blue over here. Okay, now Detroit gets eliminated, and that's your GG. Woof! GG. Yeah, I'm surprised that many people survived the Hindenburg, Suga. That's crazy. I'm glad you had a fun time, though, RJB. That's exciting. Moving out. And yeah, 32A just economically murdered everyone out, produced, out, killed. Everything was good. I mean, outspend everybody by like 30,000 resources. It's just macro wins, man. Yeah, so 32A, that's just RJB's way of saying he loves you if he accuses you of stream sniping. I think that's how that works. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for me. I got to go. I got to go. But thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Love you all. Thank you so much for the likes. We ended with 182, which is Thumbs up, killer. We got super good raid from Randolph the Gray. He followed as well. Got some new subscription on Twitch from Flip Bambino. Thanks again, Flip. Root super chatted five bucks. We got follows out on Twitch. We got subscriptions out on YouTube. A resub on Prime for four months. Bunk. Kyle super chatted twenty dollars. Suga cheered a hundred bits. Thank you for that, Suga. And Bovine resubbed at uh, for nine months in a row out on the uh, Twitch as well. But I think that was a couple days ago. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go get some sleep. You're welcome for the stream, Suga. Uh, and who should we raid? Does anybody have any ideas of who we want to raid today? Let's see who, if anybody I'm following is out here doing some Brood War stuff that you guys can go check out. Yeah, this new there's a new thing on the stream dashboard that allows you to like raid and see who's online and everything really easily. It's awesome. DeWalt is streaming. I 
have to speed to Walt here. Some people are playing Elden Ring and stuff, but that's not really going to work out for me. Yeah, check out the merch. Again, coupon code of March Madness today for 15% off at falconpaladin.store. Use it or regret it. All right, so we're going to raid DeWalt. Thanks again, everybody. Had a great time. Send me your replays to falconpaladin at gmail.com. Subject of Brood War. We'll catch you next Sunday. Hopefully I am less sick and we have a good time because we always do. All right. Love you all. Have a great week. Thanks for resubbing with Primer of 28 months. Da hammy. You can watch the VOD on YouTube if you missed it all. But yeah, until then, stay safe and stay healthy and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.